and we are live. Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. We are coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California, every Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. She's somewhere back there. She's a bit shy. A few quick announcements before the show begins. This podcast is viewer-supported. Heavy YouTube demonetization, so please consider donating through Streamlabs instead of super chatting as YouTube takes a 30% cut. That is streamlabs.com slash whatever. The Streamlabs link is in the description. So basically, if you super chat 100, YouTube takes 30. If you donate 100, Streamlabs only takes three. Donations and super chats $10 and up will be displayed in stream overlay. Donations and super chats $50 and up will be read answered at intervals throughout the show. If you want to interact nearly instantly with us and weigh in on the conversation, consider sending a TTS, text to speech message. That is $99 and up, triggers TTS. TTS is via Streamlabs only. See the description for all other triggers in full details. Guys, please keep these super chats, donations, and TTS respectful. Playful roasting is okay, but if you go too far with it, we reserve the right to not show or read it. Guys, we have channel memberships. To become a channel member, hit the join button. We have six different tiers of support. Check out all the perks. Tier one is just $5 a month. You can also gift memberships, 50 gifted for Fit Check tonight. We're also live on Twitch right now. Guys, do me a favor, pull up another tab. Go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. And uh, yeah, there it is, you know, so uh, we'll check back in here on this page if you drop us a, uh, you know, prime or a follow. Thank you, guys. We got merch, shop.whatever.com, stuff you can wear to not be naked. Follow us on Instagram, at whatever. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, bd underscore atlas. Check out my nonprofit, Big Labia Matter. If you can't catch the full shows, we have three clips channels. Links in the description. If we get our main clips channel to one million subs, I will reveal the uh what the seven lapel means on my lapel go subscribe without further ado we're gonna have the guests introduce themselves so please tell us your name age and occupation go ahead hi my name's Eilina. i'm 24 and i'm a bartender all right welcome thank you i'm audi aka audi drip i'm a fashion designer musician and i'm trying to make a living living age i'm 22. 22. okay audi drip is that your rap name or? It's my clothes name. Drip is a clothes, so good. Clo yeah, people call me Audie's Drip with the clothes, with the music, whatever it is. Audie. Audie's Drip. Sorry, I'm, I'm like really white, so I don't know what <laughs> Drip is. What is Drip? Can anybody tell me? Like clothes. Swag. She looks yeah, good. Swag. Yeah, you get the okay. Drip. And yeah. by the way, she she very graciously made some art for us, so I'm gonna hold it up to the camera here. It's it's good. Check it out, guys. She's a talented DM artist. DM for customs. Let me see if I can. Oh. Oh, Look at that, that's nice. cool, right? Beautiful. Wait, what's what the, did you put a heart here? Hello, is that, <laughs> what's that signify? Are you, is this like a? Is it a love note? Just a, a, love, just a little, just a little love doodle? A love doodle? A loodle. Instead of a love poem? Okay, well I expect a poem later tonight. Um, uh, okay, what about you? Hi, my name is Andrea. I'm 31, 32 in a couple of days. And I do YouTube, OnlyFans, streaming, pretty much anything content creation. Okay, um, and I actually detect a bit of an accent from the both of you. Are you, where are you from? I'm from the Midwest, born in St. Paul, Minnesota. Born and raised. <laughs> Do they have accents in Minnesota? Yes. Yeah. Does she have a Minnesota accent? No. 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 <laughs> uh, what is your accent? I'm trying to detect what it is. People tell me I have all different types of accents, so. I don't know. You, you, could, you, could, you could be the judge. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll get some more samples later on in the show. Well, I'm actually from Canada, Quebec, ah. Canada. So, well, that's kind of French Canada, but I'm still English. Tu parles français? Oui, un bien petit ça? peu. I didn't know you spoke French. <laughs> but Minnesota is close to the Canadian border. Yeah, so. they speak kind of similar in some degrees. Okay, uh, what about you? My name is Endesa. I'm a hair model and a social media manager. Hair model? Yeah. I didn't know there were hair. Oh, I, I've heard of hair, hair models. You got good hair, so okay. Thank you. Uh, age? 23. 23, okay. So like Maybelline? Cream of nature. Head and shoulders? Knees and toes. Cream of nature. <laughs> so like, do you, have you done any shampoo bottles or? No, I'm more of like their poster girl. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Hi, my name's Rosanna Pfeiffer. Um, I'm 
from Buffalo, New York. Um, I'm a nurse practitioner, and I also model and act. Age? 34. 34? You said nurse practitioner? Yes. Okay. Okay. And you, you, do you do content, too? You make content? Content creator? Like, what kind? <laughs> like, I well, model and act, so okay. I guess kind of. Okay, yeah. gotcha. What about you? I am Mal Palpatine, and I am 27, and I am a content creator, and I also do marketing strategy full-time. Is your last name really Palpatine? No, I, I was just about like to say, Palpatine. Man, I was like, <laughs> what? Is, is, I is, wish. Is that your stage name? Or yeah. Do you have a... Should, so we should refer to Mal is at your you stage can call me Mal name. or Mallory is your real name Gertrude no it's just Rogers it's boring Wait, and I don't really like your first name is Roger no my last name is Rogers <laughs> Mallory is her first name yes. right? oh that's okay. your legit first name yes oh okay Mallory okay got yeah. it what about you hi my name is Mia Lynn I'm 26 years old Into the mic please and um, in the interim of getting my PhD in psychology I've been an internet personality for about five years and um, I'm starting a male dating advice platform called oh. Men Ask Mia. Okay, uh, men, men? Ask Mia. Mia. Yeah. And you, you're you gonna provide dating advice? You're gonna I coach, do. coaching? Yeah. yeah, essentially. I started off on TikTok and then it kind of became popular and it's gonna grow into like Patreon. And what was your like, like breakout that? piece of advice that you provided to a, a guy when it comes to dating? When you mean breakout, what do you mean? Well, I mean, you said you post on TikTok. Typically, mm -hmm. like, someone will have, like, a video that gets in the algorithm or goes viral. Right. Have you had one of, the, like, a video that just got a lot of views where you were no, giving I, advice? Oh, okay. Usually, I'll just, just be like, hey, if you're a guy that dates a girl, ask me questions. I got the insight. Like, tell me what's up. And they'll just start asking, and I'll start responding. Do you date women, too, or are you... Are you... I've been with women in the past, but I'm, like, strategically... That's crazy. That's, I've never um, heard of that. With men. I'm pretty much heterosexual, but I experimented. Okay. Got it. Okay, we'll come... We'll touch back on that later. Cool. Uh, Kelly, what about you? Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm 21. I'm a student, and I'm a personal stylist and shopper. For Nordstrom, and I do social media and content creation for them as well. All right, welcome back. Thanks, Mike. Me? Yes, you. Uh, my name is Michael Sartain. I'm a retired uh, U.S. Air Force captain. I flew a KC-135 uh, as a navigator, That's and nice. I did special ops, and I did counter intel for a while. And now I'm the uh, founder of the Men of Action Mentoring Program, uh, and I also host the Michael Sartain podcast, and I host a show called Access Vegas with my good buddy Rollo Tomasi. Very cool. Uh, did you see your age, by the way? I'm 45. What? Really? I am 45. Oh, I spent my 30s in, uh, okay. with Uncle Sam. Good times. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were younger. I think I said that last time. Yeah. But uh, you, your, your uh, moisturizer. That you must be great. what it is. That's what it's must be. It's doing good. Uh, Priya, what about you? Hi, my name is Priya. I'm 22 years old. I'm a full-time student at ASU. Uh, I'm an athlete, and I co-run a family business. What? What, what kind of athlete? I'm an equestrian, so I ride horses. Are you a horse girl? <laughs> Brian, am I a horse girl? Yes, you are a horse girl. <laughs> you are definitely a horse girl. How many horses do you own? I own three currently. Three horses. Okay, I'm writing that down because that's going to be useful for later. Okay, um, very cool. What's that? Oh, sorry. I didn't. Okay, I got it wrong. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to go around the table once more. So please tell us your current relationship status. So are you single? Are you talking stage? Situationship? Friends with benefits, relationship married, polycule. Um, how long have you been single, if you're single, and what's your longest relationship you've ever had? Go ahead. Yeah, so I am currently single. Um, men are welcome to come. Um, <laughs> around me? Okay. Okay. I, think, sorry, I, was, like, I was confused. No, so I know. I was like, uh, yeah, Come anyways. <laughs> But yeah, I've been single. I've always been single. Like I've never been in a relationship. I've only been in a situationship, like one situationship that doesn't count. Okay. You, so never been in a relationship. No. One situationship. Yeah. How long have you been single, properly single, or maybe you're not properly single? I don't know. No, I'm single. I'm single. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I'm out of since I've been out of the relationship. It's been two years. You sounded a little distressed there when you were. Do all the guys that you're dating know that you're single? I don't talk to people. I, oh. I am a solo dolo person. I feel like it's really hard to connect with someone. I can't just connect with anybody on the streets, you know? 
on the streets? Yeah, <laughs> like outside. The means, are you, you live in LA? I live in LA, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha, okay. Uh, one, so you had one situationship. What's the longest period of time that you were seeing a guy? What, even if it wasn't official, boyfriend, girlfriend, what was yeah. the longest whatever It was uh, four years. A four year situation. Oh yeah, I think you provided that for us before the. Yeah. Um, okay, four year situ. And was it pretty con like because some people are on again, off again, even with situationships, or was it like pretty consistent situationship? It was an on again, off again thing, like maybe two to three times a year, being on and off, and just doing the same thing over and over How do you for four years. Explain that. How does? I just feel like when you're young and you're like a girl and you date someone that's a man and they're older than you you just kind of like um connect at a different level especially if it's like a first love situation so it's a first mm. love situation those things are really tough to navigate especially if you didn't have the tools growing up on a healthy relationship on how to deal with that so you're just kind of like two kids playing this game with each other but haven't had the tools to really know how to be a functional healthy relationship so yeah okay um and you said it was an age gap relationship? Um, it was five years. Uh, I was 18 and they were 22 when we met. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, but you haven't talked to this guy in a while. It's been over for a minute. Yeah. Okay. So 18 to 22 is when you're, okay. Mm -hmm. And you're 24 now. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, rock and roll. What, so you, when you were saying it was on again, off again, were there like periods of where you guys would fight and then there'd be like a pseudo breakup even though you guys weren't technically together, I suppose? And yeah. Then who, who more often than not was initiating the, I don't want to see you? Was it him or was it you? I, it was, it would be me leaving and me coming back almost every time. But um, he, was he asking you to come back or? No. <laughs> oh, so you would leave him pissed off. Yeah. And, and then, then you I, missed him. Yeah. Because he was talking to other girls. I mean, yeah, it was. That's why it was a situation ship because he was with other people the whole time. Did he never told you he wanted monogamy. Um, he would just say that he couldn't do commitment. Okay. That was always the thing for the span of four years. Like, oh, I can't be committed. But he just meant to like one punani. What one? I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying to like punani. give a PG thirteen version of punani. Okay, got gotcha. punans. Okay, all yeah. right. Well, what about you? I put in the singing single, shout out Lizzo, shout out Minnesota, yes. Um, I, I'd be really focused what? on... <laughs> Wait, can you, I'm sorry, that's, single, that's single, Liz, that's, that's, that's shout out Minnesota. Liz, Liz, Lizzo said, sing, people that sing in single. Single, wait. The sing, okay. the sing, sing in single. single. Oh, people who <laughs> sing are single. Okay. Um, um, you, I'm, not, I'm not saying you can't focus on a career of creating an art and also see people, but I have chosen as a young, when I was young, to really focus on creating at first. And I really didn't feel like at a young age I had the tools to be in a proper relationship. So I have seen quite a few people, but never even escalated to the point where I'll say, like, we could date, we could be exclusive. So have you ever, you're 22, have you ever had a boyfriend or relationship or? I'll say more relationships. I had boyfriends when I was in high school and middle school. So I started- What about over 18, after 18? I, I would not say um, dating. I would say relationships. What? Question what's, mark? What's the, what's the difference specifically I mean, You could for spend you. time with somebody and be more than just friends, but never, never intentions to be more. At See least that? I had never had t intentions with... So no, no romantic relationships. Correct. Got it. Friends with benefits. Okay. So no commitment. Correct. So were you seeing several people? Was the guy seeing several people? What was... I've been in a couple relationships. Um, one was a more poly relationship where the man had lots of females around the house. And um, I, I really enjoyed that relationship because... That was the one where um, I felt most um, that I could be myself mm. because I really do feel like not, I can't really cover one person's all their needs. W where in Utah was this? <laughs> Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. 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 Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm Minnesota. Honest. Wait, so were you living in, this, in the house with the guy with the multiple 
girlfriends or whatever. Correct. Was it multiple dudes too? No, just women. One dude? How many? How many women? Depends how many women want to be around. Like at the peak, what was the most? Like five women. What was, I mean, real talk, he was selling dope. What was he doing? No, no. Um, this guy's a how Minnesota old was this pimp. man? Yeah, it sounds like he was it. living off SSI and just basically had his stuff Social paid Security? for. Yeah. Is, it, no, is he disabled or? Right. Correct. He had um, mental problems. Was this, was this oh, so he would he would uh, they uh, weren't even y'all weren't even having sex it. with him. Y'all were just living with him. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, it's to say it's cold in Minnesota, so I get it. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I understand. But. Winters get long. Yeah. <laughs> was this an, this was an older man? I'm assuming. <laughs> Correct. Was it a cult? Like no, an old no, old no, no. He was an old dude who just paid for a house and a bunch of girls just yeah, stayed at the house. There. But oh, he he, he was getting. You said he was on disability. Correct. But what I will say is that I don't go places that I can provide pretty good for myself, except financially, except financially. So, so I want do a documentary. No, no. I want a documentary about this motherfucker with a fucking yeah. wheelchair who's yeah. special right there. Who's got five girls living with him, living on Social Security. I would pay to see every episode of that. Wait, so how, make a how documentary. old were you when you did that? <laughs> Starting at like 19. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh, okay. So but, I mean, this is a person that would um, <laughs> really care for the people in a, in the house. That I'll say I never had a man cook for me. This man cooked for every woman in the house three meals a day. Wait, he had six, five, <laughs> five women in the house, <laughs> and he was paying for the house off of Social Security. Was, maybe he was a good cook. Did you guys sure. have to pay bomb rent? cook? Bomb. I never. I have. I have never been vegan my whole life. I've never been vegan. He was vegan. Yes, he's vegan. <laughs> I, my favorite food used to be There's chicken wings. Food. Chicken wings. I would eat chicken wings every single day. But I started, when I moved in there, they cooked vegan. And it but you were so... eating chicken wings every single day? That was my favorite food, yes. <laughs> From KFC or were you making it yourself? Oh, I, can, I can't cook chicken wings. I can't fry oh, so very good. <laughs> Chick-fil-A? No, no, not Chick-fil-A. Like, B-dubs. Wingstop? Um, yeah, those are like, you know, what? you got to try some places. Those are like the average. Like, anybody can go to Wingstop, B-dubs. Those are like the chain restaurant. Yeah. You want like the mom I like and pop spicy shops. wings. Like, I like you. to try out the hottest wings. So, yeah, Wingstop only got like atomic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like more. <laughs> like, a little more. <laughs> like hot Wait, wings. Okay. Got it. Um, I'm just now. I don't even want to talk about dating. I want to. Eat, I want to talk about your eating habits. So every day, every day you would eat chicken wings. I used to. Yeah. You're not exact. Like every. Every day. Some that days was my you'd meal, have it that, for two meals. For real. For yes, breakfast you'd yes. have chicken wings. But my body Dinner, started feeling depleted. Wings. Yes, I got addicted to hot sauce because <laughs> one of the one of the people that invented some of the hottest peppers they used to be addicted um, to heroin. So they started manufact manufacturing. The hottest peppers they would go out and you know that would it be was the, a, the, the kicker the, it would be because oh, the, um, the like hottest the foods throw you off your senses so, so that feeling i wait, um i really hold on one thing one thing hold on okay so so you're saying that in order to detox from heroin people got on peppers correct okay the can we? This actually might be true. Yeah, yeah, actually might be true. Yeah. Like, Go for it. Okay, let's, uh, yes. So, well, but the chicken wing was more the way to get the hot sauce. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was just like a delivery method for the hot sauce. But what was the transition <laughs> like from eating chicken wings multiple meals a day to becoming vegan? It was good. If the vegan food wasn't oh. good, the vegan vegan food was busting. So I did not mind at all. Welcome to it. the Whatever Food Network, yeah. where we okay. <laughs> um, let's get back to the relationship stuff. Okay, so you're living in a house with a dude. There were the five five other women. Um, were you all? Were you all? No. And she said no. Nobody's fucking. Nobody was fucking them. Some people were, but some not you. But you. But you see, the thing is, is um, it's people. People were looking for different things. So yeah. if you came into the house, everyone is very respectful. Like if you yeah. was looking for an intimate relationship se sexually, you know there'd be people in the house that would fancy you, whatever. But so were it, you paying no. to live here? Or? No, no, not okay. at all. Did the girls? Um, I, I was making my my album there, and I was um, doing all my music, my art, and doing. I was learning how to um, mix and master, sure. record. I did that. I learned all that to do myself. So, so what? So what was in it for this man that was housing all of you women? If there was no having um, a bunch of females sort of around that, it's that like care. Hugh Hefner. It's like Minnesota Playboy oh, Mansion. No, Hugh Hefner no, no. was getting, it's not like get, getting some. <laughs> I've, been to the play, I've been to the Playboy Mansion several times. It's not like that. Wait, so There's no the social girls? security check. Hugh Hefner ain't making no chicken wings. There's no. Man it's not like that. It's not the, anything yeah. like that. It's movie night with 17 playmates. That's what mm -hmm. Hugh Hefner was like. 
Is somebody shaking their leg? The whole table. Is there an earthquake going on? The whole table. <laughs> I just asked whoever's like vibrating. Oh, I feel that too, man. Yeah, it's. An, it's an well, how crazy would that be if we had an earthquake? <laughs> that, on that's just crazy. Okay. Or whatever. Earthquake. All right. Uh, what about you? Uh, my date. My dating life. Um, so okay, current relationship status. Currently, I'm single, and I've always been in relationships. And if I wasn't in a relationship, I was dating. But I, I really enjoy dating. Um, just like going out and meeting people and getting to know them. And usually, you can do really fun stuff with a guy that you can't do with like a woman, like romantic stuff. You know, um, that you can't just do with your girlfriend. So even if I'm single, I'm always dating and hanging out with guys. That sounds bad, but. In the most innocent way. <laughs> I'm sure the audience will understand completely what you're saying. No, they won't. They probably how, won't. How long have you been single? Uh, six months. Six months. Okay, what was your longest relationship? Um, probably I was on and off with a guy for about six, seven years. And okay. then we broke up. And then I was actually recently married for the last two years mm. and divorced. And now I'm single, single for the last six so, months. Okay, divorcee. Yeah, my divorcee. Did you... Did you divorce him or did he divorce you i think it was me that called it off but it was me he oh my god you know how men i asked like the smallest things like he would never check the mail like i know it sounds kind of ridiculous but mm. like one day i just lost it like we had been mail living checker. together for two years and please just go what? grab the mail <laughs> wait so hold on hold on just a point of clarification so i mean i i asked perhaps the reasons why you divorced him and the first thing that came to mind was he failed at getting the mail? Yeah, it's those little things, right? Like, um, he would never change the Is bed that... sheets. Like, I would have I'm to never be the one. Married, I'm I never would have to be the married, one. To, you know, it's that typical, like, he would... I guess just assume because I'm like I think the wife. that was an abusive relationship. You yeah, it sort of is, even though it's small things. That was things. really abusive. Can I ask, would, would you say that was just the wrong person? Because if, to me, if it was the right person, the little things is not hard at all. Like even even if you forgot or didn't do it day and day again, was it just the wrong did, did person? You, I, I have a different question. Did you uh, entertain the thought of seeing another man before you got divorced? Uh, no. You weren't with anybody. No, even else if to... I was like upset about the mail or what, I never thought like, oh, I wanted to. So what see was it? Someone other... at the same time. What was it other than just the mail? Because nobody gets. The oh. worst uh, yeah. for that reason. So I think no, we're trying to get at the underlying. Yeah. Um, I guess it was just everything. No ambition. I mm, guess okay. that was that ah, was oh, it. Okay. And that leads to smaller things, right? Like not doing the laundry as much, or not doing chores, or little things around the house. It bothered me so much when we would go to his like mother's house and we'd have to bring like a gift. Like it was, it fell on my shoulders. Like I didn't like those roles where it was like the woman that you know, makes the gift all pretty and I'd have to go buy it and make, you know, put the effort and he would just show up and... Can I mom. ask why you would marry him then? Um, these were kind of minor things that don't seem big at first and then slowly as you get to know the person more. Was he know? employed? Yes. Well, you said he wasn't, <laughs> you said he wasn't ambitious. Um, yeah. What, if you don't mind me asking, what was his uh, career? Uh, like worked retail. Or like Retail? in warehouses. He didn't really Where? have so much a career as kind of... Was he about your age? Yeah, he was like 34 at the time. But okay. I keep in mind, we were together most of the time during COVID. So that also, you, ah. you're not able to see the full person, right? Like he wasn't working when we first met because of COVID. And right. Okay. So yeah, but now I'm single and happy. <laughs> okay. So you were the breadwinner yeah. in the relationship. Okay. There Did we go. you... Uh, <laughs> So did you have to end up pay him, paying him alimony? No, no, no. You weren't together long enough for that? Uh, no, I don't really know if it applies because we just were very, that's the thing, we never fought at the end, so we, we just oh, split just, each, okay, it was, like, it went was, our uh, own way. So I don't even know what he divorce. was yeah. um, illegally. It was allowed. amicable. Yeah. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about you? I am newly single. Uh, my longest relationship was four years. Four years. Uh, when you say newly single, what was it like, earlier today? You got two it? months. Oh, two months ago. Okay. Yeah. Who broke up with who? Um, he cheated on me. So good times. Yeah, love that for me. Love it. Um, Gotta love it, right? Yeah, that was the end of that. Okay, so how'd you find out? Oh, <laughs> you'd love to know. Um, I kind of like. Send me, send me his IG. I bet you I know. Him. Send, send oh my, yeah, I bet you don't. He's from Jersey. Oh, okay. um, walked in on it because I had like. There we go. Walked in on it. What? Walked in on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Caught Shorty on the corner. So, of the so bed. like he he thought you were gonna be gone for a little while. And oh then, yeah. Okay. So mm. what happened exactly there? 
Um, yeah, so I was babysitting at the time and I had work later that night, uh-huh. but he texted me, he missed me. I'm like, hmm, you just saw me an hour ago. You never text me, you miss me. Oh. Uh, Let me see how uh, much you really yeah, that's miss what, me. That's what they like. We like to text right when we cheat. Am I crazy yeah, or am I always job. right? Yeah, exactly. So I pulled up. <laughs> Walked in his room, shorty on the corner of his bed, and his sweatpants that I bought him. Oh, oh, yeah, but, she, yeah. but maybe no. she had a flat tire or something. Mm, no, I took her for a ride. I was like, tell me what's going on. She <laughs> gives me the spiel. And that what was, was the, the end spiel? Of that. What, did, what did he tell her? Oh, so I was, he was like, oh, he said, you guys aren't together because you're moving to L.A. next month. You know, it took me a minute to get this all together because I'm like, wait, uh, the next day I whooped her ass because it was like, Wait, he said I was moving next month. It's this month. I'm all on his Instagram page. My clothes are in his room, and you just twirling your hair on his bed. Ooh. So, yeah, I ended up whooping her ass. And then I moved to L.A., so. So it worked out for everyone. Yeah. Except her. Yeah, yeah basically. Did, did you, were you living together at the time, or no? Uh, no, oh, no. We live like five minutes down the street from each other. Gotcha. I don't know why I thought my soulmate lived in my hometown, but <laughs> they don't. <laughs> May I ask a question? Yeah. Um. Why would you beat the girl's ass? Oh, okay, boom. I'm so glad you asked that because I whooped his ass Good first, question. right? Oh. You, so then, so okay. the next day, like I said, I realized she played in my face. She lied to me about them having sex. Said she didn't know we were together. She liked the post of us that he just posted. What does she owe to you? Oh, oh, nothing, but you lied to me. Even when I asked you straight up so what, what was going on. So you resort to physical violence? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Get touched. Okay. Look, half gotcha. holy, half hood. Pray I mean, me, don't play with no, me. if she if she's okay. out here lying to you, if you were a woman enough to go take her for a car ride and everything, and she still straight up lied to you to yeah. your face. Sound valid. like a, that literally valid. spells ass whooping to me. I don't know, mm-hmm. valid. like valid. right in the dictionary. Not valid. Okay. What would you do? Um, be civil and take it up with the man that I'm in a relationship with. And but not then, the what woman? if you went to the other woman and you were like, she doesn't owe me anything. Oh, so you just let people disrespect you? Mm. No, I, I think just don't resort to physical violence. You're tripping over um, somebody that don't want you. You're tripping over a dude Spending that doesn't give up. I wasn't want tripping you. over him. I don't do well with disrespect, baby girl. So it's like, you're not about to disrespect me and not get beat up. But she doesn't know you enough to respect you. And she know these, she, she knows left hook and right hook now. Wait, did she, know, <laughs> <laughs> did she know you? No, I didn't. Know, we didn't know each other at all. Did she know that you, the uh, your boyfriend was in a relationship? Yes. Oh, she knew. Oh, okay. yeah, absolutely. But she didn't know you. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So I guess that made it okay, right? Some women get off on being know. the other woman. Like they oh, yeah, enjoy exactly. bringing pain valid. In. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of women yeah. are like that. A lot of women yeah. literally reach off of like men who have girlfriends just so they can feel the the void of like, oh, I stole your man. Yeah. Which women do you guys hang around? Because a lot of women. That's not the type are. of women I hang around. LA? No, I'm from New York. That's why. <laughs> well, she's I'm from, from New York City. Streets. Yeah, she's I'm from, from New York streets, City, baby. So New York, are so you Bronx? That, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, okay. Yeah, You're so. from Brooklyn and you don't think about throwing hands? Absolutely no. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Wait, show of hands here. From, yeah, it's New from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. It's you not probably never had it. Well, like, like, well, like hip, like she's hip, never had her hands on her, so that's why she doesn't want to do that. Did you ask me? Oh, are you. You got something to say? <laughs> you didn't ask me, so you're just making assumptions. Yeah, but no. yeah, but you. First of all, we came on here and they said that we don't need to be like coming at each other, and you over here getting very personal. No, I about said her you made an assumption. That's all about her putting hands on people. Like I would never do that. <laughs> all right, let's chill, New York. Let's chill. I have an right, opinion. Right, okay, okay, you guys can. You guys can talk about it. Talk about it on the, later. <laughs> okay, Good. just show of hands here. Show of hands, guys. If you were in that situation that she was in, you walk in on your boyfriend getting... Everyone's oh, getting yeah. beat up. Right, Everyone. Everybody. 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 Your mom better not be in the room. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's about be I want a show of hands. Do you... Okay, show of hands first. Do you just walk away? Show of hands if you just... You, you walk away, Aww. you move on. Aww. Okay. Y'all never been in this situation I don't, I don't before. Now, hold on. Some yeah, more okay. options here. Exactly. Some more I'm options. I'm not raise my hand for something. Through. I don't know what's I going on. Or... Here's here's option two. Do you start whooping on the dude? That's that's option B. I, option C. Do you stop start whooping on the chick? And then option D. You start whooping on everybody. Can I can I give an, can I give another option? You pretend like you don't know and then cheat on his friend. No, cheat well, with his friend. Rule oh, yeah. number one: uh, be a boss ass bitch. Yeah. Okay. But you don't know until you're in that situation. Exactly. I would hope no, I would just absolutely. walk away and be like, F right. you. Oh, but the same. first day I did walk away. I didn't beat her ass till the next day when I sat with my thoughts and really thought about what I was about to do. I'm small, so I can't really fight people. <laughs> so, but yeah, I fight real but good. But violence is not good either. Like, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I felt horrible after. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fighter, so it just like something came <laughs> over me. <laughs> what? I would go with more like the psychological. Yeah, it was the next trait. day when she was like, "Yeah, I'm done with him," and I pulled up to the bar that he goes to and she hopped out his car 
So was that not worthy? You lied to my face, told me you was done with him, and then you hopped out the car with him. So, so he it's not. You. I don't know. That's I don't know. So you <laughs> fucked her up, basically. Oh yeah. Did wait? Did you? I forgot if you mentioned this. Did you also go for the the guy too? Oh yeah, of oh, course. You, okay. Did Double you just whammy. Take it? Did you just take it? Yeah, he had to. Oh. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh man, God. Okay, up with me. Uh, good times. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. Kinky Sprinkler oh, donated one hundred dollars. Oh, that's Scott. My that's sprinkler that. goes like this. Kind of satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. ASMR. It's like ASMR. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Start thank rapping you. over it. Kinky yeah, it's a beat. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, here we go. Comes back like. What? Wait, what? it's cut off? There's no foul. Oh. It's supposed oh, wow. to be... There's, there's, no, okay. there's no vowel, so it didn't work. Uh, okay, um. that's too bad. Okay, well, what about you? Uh, relationship situations? Um, I'm in a relationship currently. Okay, how long have you been in that relationship? Um, two years. Two years? Okay. Mm -hmm. Rock and roll. Uh, what about you? I am taken. And taken. for six years. All right, six mm -hmm. years. Rock and roll. What about you? Um, I'm currently dating. Um, platonically, and um, I my longest what? relationship was. <laughs> you are dating <laughs> like, platonically. Physically, like physically, there's no so intimacy. Yeah. So you're ace. Like, no, no, not at all. But <laughs> 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 but like we're in the beginning stages. I. It's just one dude. No two. Okay. Do they yeah. know? Wait, Do they know it's yes. two? Okay. Well, because they know now. Yes. Wait, <laughs> oh, okay. So you you're not intimate with either of these two gentlemen. Yes. But you're dating both of them. Oh. We're like, yeah, beginning to like know each other. Sort and you're of a dating deal. coach? Courting, more so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. with the, yeah. Well, what's ah. the problem? I don't understand. <laughs> Wait, can you, uh, this can is you just, do that again? Oh, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't even know oh, the press for that shit. one. Yeah. Um, you could you could save that and use it for future oh, okay. references. Good shit. Um, wait, so okay, you're I'm dating. I'm not committed to either of them. But like, they know. Yeah. Well, See, it was not my like. It was not my idea. I'm very okay huh. with like dating men that want to be with other women, and like. Sure. I'm okay with like taking it slow before we make any sort of commitment to each other and waiting to see if we have a bond before we're intimate. Sure. So it could be funny to some people, but I consider it as self-respect. Wait, so um, are you a dating coach or relationship coach or, cause isn't that ironic that? I'm, no, that's just the way I date. There's different types of dating styles but for why, everybody. Why, why do you think you're qualified to give dating advice and mm. relationship advice if you're not really in a traditional relationship? Mm. Well, I've been in three monogamous relationships in my life. What's about now? I, well, if, can I not get cut off before I talk and finish my sentence? Thank you. Um, what was your question again? My question was, why do you feel like you are qualified to give relationship and dating advice, but you're not in a relationship yourself? Um, because I've been in relationships before. <laughs> I grew up around uh, concentric circles that involved men. Um, I grew up with men in my family. Um, I Same. surrounded myself basically with men I was like the girly girl in the group of men that would have to partake in male activities and um, I feel like I have an insight to men and an insight to women that I can sort of bring together and to make sort of a full picture for men so so what would you be like your best dating advice right now there's no singular piece of advice everyone's life and journey is different it depends on where they're at and what's going on with them and what their values and moral systems are and their belief systems and it's about taking it as uh, upon an individual basis mm. and what they need. Wait, so, okay, hold on, just a thing. Sure. Uh, you, so you're seeing two guys. How how long have you been seeing both of them? A couple weeks, a couple months, or? Um, co like a couple weeks for one, of, well, let's see, it's July. Um, I'm dating, like, one guy who's Catholic that I met at church, mm. um, and then one guy that I met um, around my area in Williamsburg. Who Wait, you're... Okay. Who lives in Arizona? Williamsburg used to be ghetto. It's not ghetto anymore. It's so gentrified now. <laughs> it's not now. ghetto anymore. Yeah, no. It's yeah. super yeah. gentrified so, wait, now. Twenty years ago, I wouldn't be fucking around at Williams. I know. And are they? They're aware of each other. Or they just know that you're dating other people. Yeah, we. There's an agreement that, like, since there's no commitment right now, that like it's just the dating. Phases. Do these guys know each other's IG? <laughs> no, uh, the, one of them doesn't really even use IG. Oh, uh, red flag right there. That's a big old. <laughs> oh, no. uh, me, me, well, okay. Just, uh, just me personally, well, if, older, if so I knew different. a girl was seeing another dude, well, even if there's not been a conversation about commitment, at least for me, that's a, I've lost interest. Yeah, for sure. 
Well, yeah, I understand. I've that. Well, other thing, but, 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 you, but they see other girl, they see other yes, girls though, yes, right? Yes. While they're waiting to see if it works out with you. Uh, well, to to be fair, yeah, yeah, that it we're it's like mm-hmm. consensual on all sides. So like, now, now, if you got into a relationship with one of them, could they still see other girls? Yeah, I would let that happen. Okay, so you have, you actually, believe poly- yeah, that happened recently. Po- polygyny yeah. is that what you're looking for? Oh, you or would polyamory. be exclusive to them. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so okay. she's saying absolutely. a polygynous relationship. Yeah, I, as okay. a matter of fact, when I wrote about my relationship status when I came into the pod, mm-hmm. I said I was dating but only sleeping with one person oh, at the time. That's changed. Um, yeah, that has changed. So now you're at yes. back to zero. Wait, so you <laughs> you were at three? <laughs> well. You had three. Mm, there was the yeah. dude you're sleeping with, and then the two dudes who you'd not been sleeping with. Yes, basically. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. <laughs> why? Why were you not satisfied with the one dude who you were? Uh, I, was, with I was. I um, was. Uh, he was actually. Um, he wanted you to see other dudes, or no? <laughs> okay, but you were. No, but like not at the same time. There was like a cutoff, and then I started. Seeing okay, so you that. were. But it was close together enough. I you were just with him, but then that ended. <laughs> then you started seeing two dudes. Scott, correct. It. Kelly, yes. it sounded like you had something you wanted to uh, add there. It's, I, I I just thought it was ironic that like, it's just so con- I, I was just confused. I was con- I was, it was a little. Yeah, you kind of came at me there. It I don't know why. Little, yeah, you guys are of, sitting right next to each other. I know. Too. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Place, it was just sounded a little something. complicated. That's why I was. Yeah, it is okay. complicated. There's a little complexity to it that happens in relationships. Sure. That's quite normal. All right, Kelly. What about you? Your uh, situation. Um, I've been in a relationship for a year and six or seven seven months now. Okay. Got it. Uh, Still going strong. Mike, what about you? Uh, I've been in a relationship since last October. Uh, it's uh, and my girlfriend is significantly younger than me, uh, but it's worked out pretty well. She helps out with the business, and uh, she understands my lifestyle. And yeah, it's worked out pretty well. Do you Wait, mind how old is she? Business and yeah. pleasure. What, what is significantly Ooh. younger? Do you mind She's twenty four years younger than me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I didn't know when I met her. She was like, "Yeah, I graduated college or graduated high school." Blah blah blah. And we met, I was hosting a bikini pageant in uh, Mexico, and she was one of the finalists. Okay. And she, uh, she did not, uh, I could just tell she wasn't, like, I, could, I thought she was the hottest girl there, but I knew she wasn't going to win, because she, sure. had, she had a boob job, and because they, those girls just don't do well in pageants. And also because uh, she did not, like, deal with bullshit from the fucking, uh, from the judges. So I was like, I know that this is going to work out. And she's yeah. from Arkansas, I'm from Texas, so it just kind of <laughs> worked out there. And, and she's, uh, yeah, she's been great since then. Cool. I will say this, I want to talk, because I was talking about this before. She had uh, the uh, birth okay. control thing taken out. Hmm. Totally oh. different, bro. Totally different. It was something I want to talk different about. Like, yeah. Different person? Yeah, different part. Yeah, totally yeah, different. She had the birth control thing taken out like uh, maybe uh, in June. Man, that, all that shit. I, before it was theoretical. I'm telling you right now, the shit is for real. The birth control thing makes, mm-hmm. bro. I mean, it's just so it's night and day. So Which yeah, the, one? You keep going like this. The one right here, inside the left. You want to feel it? <laughs> was it <laughs> next <laughs> next Plenon? I don't know what it was. I, don't know what, one, I saw yeah. them pull it out. I was holding her hand yeah. when they pull that fucking thing out of her yeah, like an alien. Yeah. It was all bleeding yeah. all over. the Wait, so pro- when she was on birth control, she was one way. After they got it got taken out, her personality changed. Yeah. In what? So in what ways? How was she before? How was she after? So before. Before, remember, she's 24 years younger than me, and so yeah. there's a there's a thing where like I'm I'm a U.S. Mili- there's also the part where I'm a U.S. military officer and I run my own company, mm. and so the way I communicate with my employees and the guys who were in my squadron was very different. I'm very direct. When I communicate, I look at you. I speak very loudly. There's pauses in between the words, and for her, she's from Arkansas, and they just you know they talk some shit, you know. And when, when, when she got the thing out, like the highs and lows just weren't there as much, which I've had with every relationship I've ever been in. But mm-hmm. with her, I'd, afterwards, he was just, she's just fucking fun now. I just can't even explain it. Mm-hmm. Ladies, I'm, I'm, I, before I was maybe 30, 20, 30% on this boat, I'm 100% on this boat. Get that fucking thing mm-hmm. taken out of your arm. Agreed. For real. That Agreed. thing is crazy, bro. I can't believe how, di- like it is totally different. And it wasn't just her, it was just, I had a panel with eight girls on my show, uh, Access Vegas. And I said, how many of you guys have had birth control? All of them raised their hand. How many of you had it taken out? All of them raised their hand. And they're like, what's the difference? It's like, I took it out. I'm healthier. I'm hornier. Like, all this stuff happened when they took the, the birth control thing out. So that's the thing. Mm-hmm. I recommend that, uh, that ring. You know what I'm talking about? Nuva ring? No, it's not. A, it's a ring. <laughs> it's not, a ring. Uh, not natural cycles, is it? It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's essentially like a natural way to track your Yes. Um, uh-huh. your yeah, hormone it, it, it can track our hormone cycle. I got friends that have been doing it for years. It's, it's fucking great. Copper IUD? Uh, so mm. the, the problem is uh, inflammation. It, yeah, there's it, some it basically just causes inflammation. There's not hormonal though. It's not hormonal, but, but it, can, it can actually grow into the cervix, and then you have to have it surgically removed, and then, and then you have had, problems having kids afterwards. Uh, yeah, I've had many friends and family members mm. that have um, not been able to have children after um, having. Did not know that. Yeah. 
Okay. Isn't there a new one that got, well, I think there's two things that recently got approved when it comes to birth control. There's one that's actually over the counter now mm -hmm. that got approved, which is just a hormonal one. And then there's one called Smexy or something. Has anyone heard that? The Smexy one? Is that the, like, the it's gel like the, one? Yeah, the gel. I yeah. think that's Smexy. Where do you put the gel? <laughs> I've been, I've been I don't there. know. I well, there are, there are certain there. things that you can do, like, pre-sex to, mm. like, act as birth control. They're not as... Um, as effective as mm. hormonal birth control, but okay, yeah. Okay, um, what about you, relationship stuff? I am single, I've been so for almost a year now. My longest relationship is, was five months long. Longest was five months, okay. And I mean, you were, on, you were on the show about three weeks, four weeks ago. Yep. Any new developments on the, uh, any guys sliding into the DMs, any? No. Nothing? No. Zero. Zero. Do you want guys on <laughs> the DMs? Uh, not particularly. Okay. Okay. Rock and roll. Okay, so uh, a lot of you... Actually, you know what? I think the first thing we're going to do, Nick, we have a video that we must react to. What? Wait, what? what was that? Oh, hold on. Um, Two flannels donated $100. Okay. Brian, oh, I am back. I see nothing has changed, so I will repeat what I said last. You wear the same two flannels every day. <laughs> if you were a rapper, they'd call you two flannels. That's you true. look like That's you're true. stuck in a 90s Pearl Jam music <laughs> video. Wish Eddie Vedder. Uh, th out. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Should we talk about I actually, I have like sure. three flannels, and you roasted me last <laughs> time. Should we talk about your, your, my, your dress code, my, Brian? My, uh... I dress for comfort. Okay. I like the flannel. What's wrong with flannel? Yeah, there we go. I don't mind the flannel. There we go. I, like, I, Quality I over quantity. I said this last time. I don't mind it for like lounging around and when you're wanting to be comfortable. He told me that this is what he would wear on a date, though. No. And I have a little bit of an issue with Wait, what's, that. What's wrong Dude, with that? Come as you are. Uh, come as you are. Just take the off and wear the black shirt. Just the black shirt. Wait, what's wrong with flannel on a date? <laughs> well, like, if you're going on a, <laughs> on a more formal date, then, no. you know. Yeah. Do you button it up or do you keep it open? <laughs> uh, I keep it open. I mean, if that's what, how what you dress, if you were to, dress, Brian, what if dangerous. you were to just button it up, put some, like, nicer pants on instead of the sweatpants? Bring Puma. out the Miss Me jeans. The Puma yeah. sweatpants. What yeah, he's no. actually overdressed for a Los Angeles nightclub. You guys realize that? Really? He's yeah. actually too formal for a club in I LA. Don't, I've never been to an LA nightclub. Uh, so. I'll take you. You tell me You tell me when. I'll take okay. you wherever you want to go. Right. Uh, <laughs> anywhere you want. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, what about all the, the men in the chat? Would you guys... Like if I was wearing this on a date with any one of you, <laughs> like would you guys be cool with it or what? Tell me in the chat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, can you pull up the video, please? Okay, so we're gonna react to this. Uh, this was on. I, it came up in my TikTok feed. Uh, go ahead and play it. Let's see if the bars on the. Oh, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, scroll back. You got put in the video tab. Uh, you gotta. Oh, we're okay. Then you gotta click one of the. It's probably the top one, top one, top one, top one, top one, the very top, very top, very top. Yep. Hide that one. Okay. Go ahead and start. Start it from the beginning. Screwed. Yep. Let's see if the bars on the floor. This is the bare minimum for dating me. Number one, ask me to be his girlfriend. Literally bare minimum. We can go on dates. We can hang out. If you do not ask me to be your girlfriend or do some kind of a gesture, big or small. I'm not your girlfriend. I am not your girlfriend, and I can't be seeing other well, people. More, more. Number two, buys me flowers often. Often, for me, bare minimum, meaning once a month, or at least once every, like, two months. I'm like a self-care, romanticize my life kind of girl, so if you do not buy me flowers, I will be buying myself flowers. It doesn't have to be, like, a huge bouquet of, like, 10,000 roses or whatever. It doesn't matter how big the bouquet is every single time. I just care to know that you're not only going to buy me flowers once just because I'm a girlfriend and, like, you secured the deal. Like, I'm going to need flowers, like, every so often. You're not getting away with, like, one flower per year. The like, no. the notes. <laughs> he picks me up and drops me off home unless otherwise stated. If we're going somewhere, I do not care if your house is, like, inconvenient. You're going to pick me up and you're going to drop me off like a proper gentleman. Mm. Unless I am already right next to the area that we're gonna meet in you're gonna have to pick me up and drop me off you should be caring about my safety okay and just so you know if your boyfriend's only coming to pick you up and drop you off if it's convenient to him that is not love the people who love you don't only do things because it is convenient to do so number four offers to pay for every activity and doesn't expect me to do 50 50. not to say that i'm never gonna buy you anything or that i'm never gonna <laughs> offer to pay for a meal but if you are expecting me to pay 
if you are literally expecting me to like pay her part is just showing stuff, up then you got the wrong girl like i'm sorry i can't do it there are girls who like 50 50 just not me follow for part two tell me if my standards are too high are her standards too high hey, yes, let's start with you we'll go around the table go ahead uh no i don't think they're too high she's honestly not asking for much and everyone has their own list of what their bare minimum is and i think it's cool that she has a list and it's good to have standards for dating because if you take dating seriously then you have standards so uh nothing she was asking for was that crazy every person has different standards and expectations but most of the time in dating what people do is they choose a few qualities that we like in each other and then throw away the rest and we want that person to be those qualities all the time but we'd be dating the whole person with all the qualities so if you have those standards that's okay but you can't be picking somebody and then trying to choose their qualities I agreed with some things she said and some not I I personally can't stand flowers so like and I know that's like really traditional. Um, I do agree with the, he should not expect the 50-50, but you know, life is not black and white. Each person's mm -hmm. an individual. They have their own thoughts, but um, yeah. And the driving thing, a lot of women now, they don't like being picked up for a first date because mm. in case they have to leave. So it's in, I kind of get the sense she wants more traditional men, but sometimes I don't agree they with They gotta get back to their man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> During the day, oh, my man just texted me, I gotta go back, so they drove themselves. That's, you know, it's yeah. important. Well, it's interesting that she, I, you, you did mention the getting picked up and dropped off thing, but she also mentioned safety. But I mean, well, if she knows the guy, I suppose it's fine, but certainly for a first date, <laughs> right. a, you know, a lot of women would not be comfortable, for example, going over to the guy's house mm -hmm. immediately without having, well, some, some have no problem with it, but, um, a lot of women would not just first time ever meeting go to the guy's house so in that same vein I don't think shouldn't you also feel a bit concerned about getting into a total stranger's car so I, I actually mm -hmm. think the for safety reasons the best thing is to meet yeah. the guy there even if that's not yeah. traditional safety wise it's actually probably the best move to just meet the guy there mm -hmm. uh, but I suppose she's talking about the boyfriend yeah she's definitely talking about yeah. being in a relationship not well she's talking about the transition said. into a relationship mm -hmm. remember because she said you're not my boyfriend okay. until you say this yeah but she's so, talking about like someone that she wants to keep seeing mm -hmm. you know she, this yeah. wasn't like way, anything to do with like just first date status yeah that's you know? well that's a great point but you know the other thing is though if she wasn't attracted to the dude none of that shit matters <laughs> none of that shit matters right I, she if a guy she goes on a date with a guy and he's not attracted to her and he goes i want you to be my girlfriend she would be like get the fuck away from me mm -hmm. like all all the things she just said <laughs> yes. they, they don't matter but because that's the thing when women say i want to make a uh I want a man to buy me flowers. No, you want a guy who's you're attracted to to buy you flowers. If a yeah. motherfucker who is you're not attracted to buys you flowers, you'll be. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's you have insane. to have status <laughs> before you give status, and that's why whenever I hear women say this stuff, like it, like every, if you guys, if you open, if some guy's gonna watch that and open up by like just sending her flowers when she's not attracted. That is a horrible mistake. Yeah. Showing vulnerability before you have attraction. It's like putting in effort before you even know if for you sure that. exactly yeah and you what's have to, wrong with putting in effort before knowing guys, like i feel like sometimes it's cool to put the effort because you never that's know that's asking you a never lot know. got it but have you have you ever seen a guy and just been attracted to him and then going on a date with him and it gone really well that night has that ever happened like yeah i okay, definitely so, so have but you, that but you understand that, that now the guy who's sitting there putting in effort he you, you have you hooked up with a dude who just because you were attracted off the bat and now this guy's got to put in effort do you understand how he might not want to put in effort Totally, but like we're talking about, this is like a relationship thing. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is all pertaining to, not hypotheticals, it's pertaining to someone she wants to pursue. She's talking about someone that she wants to pursue and what she expects of someone that she also wants to pursue. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about not someone you don't want you to, to like be giving you flowers. She's literally talking about already being in that step of like, we like each other, this is what I expect from us but being in a mutual what life. What if she decides later on that she's like, oh, never mind, I don't. That's like fine, him. but that's not what but the video is about. For him. No, no, I agree. Like, I, 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 I was bringing up, I was bringing up a hypothetical. I saw, I saw yeah. this video as a transition into a relationship. That's what I saw the video as. Would she uh, throw out all of those if she was attracted to the person? Yeah, she's course, not, she wouldn't say that right, if she right, wasn't attracted. Right. You know what I'm saying? I will put my money on yes. She would put those all her nose when she got attracted Whenever I hear a woman emphatically state over and over again how she will not sleep with a guy on the first date, that tells me emphatically she has slept with a guy on the first date. Why else are you saying? this like that. i see this all the time it's like again like if you are someone who just knows i'm gonna sleep with somebody when i'm ready to sleep with them you aren't even gonna bring that up 
right? As it's men, we don't bring it up, but why do women bring it up? Because you did sleep with Brock, the bartender, on your first date. <laughs> because you did go out with a male stripper and slept with him on the first date. Well, and then the next guy you date, he's got to wait. It, but, but it's different for him because he's not as attractive. And the thing is, from those guys' standpoint, they don't want to be the one to wait when you let some other dude smash on the first date. That's the problem. You see what I'm saying? That's the issue. That's just that's a different point of view. I'm not saying that that's what she's saying yes. here. Obviously, we're assuming that both people right. are attracted. But the thing is, when men watch this, they get confused. Mm -hmm. And they start thinking when she describes these things that are comfort builders, she's described, what she's doing is describing comfort. She's not describing attraction. She's saying, I'm already attracted to you. These are the things that I need you to do so that I can yes. gain, garner some control in the relationship. What I found is this is just, it's a very generalistic way to say this, but things that build attraction that more women find men more attractive, the woman is sort of losing power. Like just again, he makes more money, he's very good looking, he gets a six pack all of a sudden and other women are staring at him, she's sort of losing power. And things that where he's building comfort, the dad bod, you know, the dad bod myth, those are things where a woman is gaining power. So when women, she, when she states every single one of those things, she's gaining power. She's not paying 50-50 anymore. He's going to pick her up. And all the things she describes, she's gaining power. Those are not attraction qualities. Attraction qualities are women are generally losing power and in comfort qualities are things are generally where men are gaining power and or where women are gaining power. And so when you ask women what they find attractive, they describe what they find comfortable, which is why you hear girls say, I like the dad bod, which is a fucking lie and over and over again. No, you don't. You do not choose short term sexual partners with a fucking dad bod. What you do, though, is you see really rich, successful actors or people like Elon Musk with the dad bod, and you're like, oh, that's sexy. No, it's sexy because he's already famous. It's just like if a regular dude goes around wearing a pink dress like Machine Gun Kelly, he looks like a fool. He's a, he's a moron wearing a pink dress. But Machine Gun Kelly is famous. He can wear a pink dress because he's famous. The rest of you just look like a clown wearing a pink dress. So that's the difference. You cannot give value unless you have value. And a lot of times women open up by saying, send me flowers, tell me you're my girlfriend, all this kind of stuff. And that's the problem. You can't, you can't open that way. Just one sec. Thank you, man. Thanks, John. When Brian asked who would resort to physical violence if they caught their man cheating and who would just walk away, all the masculine girls raised their hand for violence slash fighting and the feminine girls raised their hands for walk away. Preach. And some girls didn't raise their hand at all. <laughs> Facts. True. I'm mask and fem. So yeah, I'm yeah. both, so I can switch it real quick. <laughs> Yo, John Gall, thank you very much for that, 100. I mean, my personal view on, on that situation is I think the biggest thing you can do is just Turn around, walk yeah, out. It's over. Great. It's done. Move yeah, if, on. if a woman cheats on you, she did you a favor, pimp. I'm if sorry. You see For real. It in, if you if you were like in that situation, you don't understand that anger. I would disappear. Yeah. That like that anger that's like built up, and you're literally like seeing it right in front of your yeah. face. That's like it's it's hard to just you know just be like bye. But you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it in front of your face, and you're gonna react like that. Yeah. You're not gonna have a. Let me let, let me think. Well, some girls like, react. Think yeah, about some, this. some girls Not react by fighting. Some cry. Exactly. Some try yeah. to get revenge. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone reacts but it's differently. differently. Yeah, and it's yeah. an initial reaction of anger that is just going to trigger you. And if like, I wouldn't say that applies to everybody though. Yeah, yeah. no. But I will. I will tell you this: in the state of Texas, before I think 1983, if you killed your wife and the and and mm -hmm. her lover, if you caught them in the throes of passion, I think you were convicted of third degree murder yeah. and had to serve zero time in jail. Based. I do believe that no, is I'm the kidding. case. Okay. <laughs> I'm oh, I said base. Base. Yeah, yeah I believe <laughs> but, that is the case. I think they've changed that law, but at one point, if you had caught your wife sleeping with some other dude and you killed them before that, I mean, if you go back even further in the state of Texas, they didn't, that is wasn't it, even, that wasn't person? even, that wasn't even second. Yeah, well, I mean, if you were, if you were to walk in on your girlfriend smashing another dude and it was your house, yeah, no, there'd be a problem. That's, for sure. that's yeah. a problem, and I'm sure you would not just walk out. Well, no, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let Definitely you not. Yeah. 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 That's why. That's why. Don't cohabitate with women. Um, but go ahead. Um, well, I was gonna say, like, I mean, I totally understand what you're saying. Like that blind rage, you walk in, like, like who's anyone to tell you how to respond to that situation when you're being so disrespected in a visceral way in front of your face? It's still domestic violence. Like that's just that. And it's not okay either way. And like getting your anger out with violence means that you need to sort yourself through and have some respect for yourself, not to beat up a grown ass man. I mean, a lot of people like, you know, do things to sort their violence. I don't, I feel like that's not, like some people yell and scream, some people cry, some people shoot guns, some people go swimming, some people do, a lot of people do a lot of bunch of stuff to like control Gross. their anger. Right, but we don't, we, we don't like, uh, like a, doesn't make them as right. a society we don't like <laughs> yeah. accept that as okay we accept that as like human reactions and responses but as humans we also have the power of self 
control. You so you apply that logic to men, right? As yes, well? okay. absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't expect a man to go beating on his girl if he walked in on her, and I'm sure you guys wouldn't either. So, not yeah. I'm seeing some like, I was like laughed at earlier for talking about you know how I'm a dating. Ad- I give dating advice, but also I'm like experiencing myself. But like, this is domestic violence we're talking about, and you're like, oh, but it's anger and rage. It's like. We're not Still talking about put, domestic violence. We're talking about so is domestic violence. Happen. Not putting your hands on first some, of all, domestic partner? violence is in the house. This was it's in not the street. like the sim- girl. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not like the all right, okay, 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 all right. Like, got it. Like what, you know, it's, it's not like it's a. Continuous no one's dictated by one thing that happened in their life. It's not going to be like okay, this person beats someone up right. every single time. So like, <laughs> we well, broke up. She's not my partner we're gonna no more. We're going to scrutinize someone saying? for one She's situation. Like, no, and it's just like for you to be a coach and for you to project. I'm not a coach. I never said I was. Whatever a coach. the fuck you are, whatever you project. You're being really rude right now. I just don't understand bro, why. Calm down, yeah, let's bro. Keep, let's keep I'm talking right. Calm like down. keep let's it cordial. Let's keep You're being How about you do that? I'm I'm being mad disrespectful. I'm chilling right now. What did I say to you that was mad disrespectful? How about you repeat what I said right now? I think she's just saying that she attitude. doesn't agree with okay. violence. I, just don't I think that's violence. what she's that's saying. It. Oh, like, that's, that's totally all. fine. Bro. And you said it's not in that. You it's not keep domestic violence. It up. But you said it's and not domestic violence. You just it, keep if saying the same thing. You like brought a, it up. So I'm, I'm contributing. Why are you coming Can down somebody my throat? somebody get me some popcorn? Bro, I'm coming down your throat because you're a freaking relationship guru over here No one said I was a relationship guru. People are putting me at guru, coach, all that. I just said I give dating advice for men that come to me and want it and see what I provide and they come to me and they All right, can we go to somebody else now? Has it helped? What's your deal? Can we go to somebody else? What's your deal? Or do you just give it out? Without anyone asking. You so haven't even been in a relationship, my girl. So what are you talking about? Oh, okay. Genuinely, what are you talking so about? Guys. See how she said I'm coming out here? Look at you. Like, you're projecting really very hard. You're really oh, attacking God. me for no God. reason. I'm just talking about bro, violence attacking, and how I don't agree bro, with Bro, I don't have time for your attack. Cool, bro. so I'll talk to because anyone I can else say the same I don't way. agree with violence hitting your partner regardless of the gender, sex, whatever. It's not okay to hit your partner, whether it's in the streets or in the home. Look at you it. have to have some self-respect and walk away and understand that that guy didn't respect you or that girl didn't respect you in the first place. And this place is all coming from a 26-year-old relationship TikTok guru giving men advice of two men in her bed. Let's go. Next one. Wait, two I, men in my bed. Did you not listen to me say that I'm platonic? Uh, so. Did you not listen to me say I don't care? Hey, do y'all <laughs> ever think like, about death? It's whack. That's whack. <laughs> it's whack. That's whack. <laughs> like, where do we go? Yeah. Like, I'm like, saying, like, what happens when you die? die? Uh, Wait, I will say, else. I raised my hand when I said that I would have walked away if I caught my dude hooking up with a girl. But this, like, brought back, like, a deep memory. When mm. I was about 17 years old, I had my first relationship. I went out to the club, and who do I see making out on the wall? My boyfriend with some girl, and I lost my mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, things and happen. I, like, you live and learn. Yeah, that's but, almost, hold on you know, in, it's not domestic violence. I was inebriated, and I was so immature, that, and I... Don't think I would do that these days. Yeah, so you know, things consider that, that you domestic live violence. And you learn. Her, her seeing her, him or man at the club kissing another girl and her doing something about it. Yes, her, absolutely. If you're putting your hands on another person that you're dating, it's domestic violence. I don't know what more clear like definition you but guys okay, need. Okay, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Is there? Let me, let Can me we just look play, up the definition of domestic violence? Yeah, actually, maybe we should. Hold on. Let me play devil's advocate a little bit here, though. Like, is there no such thing as provocation? Because someone could plausibly do something so vile that yeah, even yeah, if yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. put hands on you but so, they like they they say something listen, like is there there must be yes, some there's, scenario. There's, there's a, this is a great point so we talk about this so i would i would never hit a woman and then somebody said to me Same. okay somebody has your nephew uh with a knife to yeah. their well, to their throat right. i'm gonna beat the shit out of whoever i don't care if you're man or woman and they're like mm-hmm. oh so you would do it and i, I just thought there's a limit for everything yeah. okay what she's talking about, though, is domestic violence. For sure. I will say this, because uh, you guys are talking about women and women. As men, it doesn't make... I'm not... From a moralistic standpoint, I wouldn't hit a woman. But from a legal standpoint, it, we don't mm-hmm. get the benefit of the doubt. So no matter what happens, no matter who I hit, I'm going to end up getting sued, even if I'm completely in the right, because that's the way the legal code is written. So I, I wouldn't do any of that let's, stuff. Let's do Go this. Go rule always. Hold on. Let's do this. Okay. We've, we've already talked about the whole cheating, beating the shit out of your spouse, whatever. <laughs> Uh, let's bring it back to the video. So I think we left off with, I forgot who, who did you get to give your take? No, yeah, I did what, not. Um, your take on the video? I'm going to assume she has this list um, because it's from experience from her past relationships and it's like what she wanted and didn't get or what she got and yeah. like, like, so I wouldn't say her standards are too high or low. I think she just knows what she wants. So it's like, if you, you're not asking the wrong, you're not asking for too much, you're just asking the wrong person type thing. 
I would guess that she had probably did dated a guy who did none of those things mm-hmm. yeah. and stayed in it for a while mm-hmm. and probably tried to manipulate, not manipulate, but try to, I'm trying to think of the word I'm looking for, try to change the situation to where he was, he was monogamous mm-hmm. and waited for him to become monogamous. And those things never happened. And her list comes from being super attracted to some guy who she kept going over and having sex with him in the middle of the night and he wouldn't commit. I think that's probably, that, mm. just a guess, that's probably where that list came yeah. from. Yeah. It made it to the notes. There's a lot of things in yeah. the notes. I mean, well, the no, I mean, <laughs> the notes. True. I mean, that's okay. going to go viral on TikTok. But she's yeah. also, I mean, she's going to go viral on TikTok. She knows because she's going to piss a lot of dudes off. Hell and there's yeah. going to be some girls who are like, why would you do this? You know, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. What about you? Um, you know, like some other girls said, I think she's allowed to have her standards. I, I personally think it's a weird list. And I think I didn't like the presentation. <laughs> she wants some views yeah, on TikTok. I, I, I guess, that. or it's satire or something. It's got to be a fake. Or, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. it's a satire. It could be. Uh, you never know. Views. I think we should be able to know what we want, our, our views, our morals. We really should be able to say it. We don't need to know this. And we, and we, and we, should, have a, we should have boundaries right. for what our partner does, too. Yeah, yes, for sure. except, except for when Jonah Hill and his abuse, right? Mm. Except for that oh abuse. Oh, my God. Not the Jonah Hill oh, situation. That, well, you guys remember all the abuse? It was abusive. Remember, not him you, drawing you, you his boundaries remember, in a respectful when he, way. When he, when, he said, when, he says, when he says, no matter what you do, I respect it. <laughs> You're a beautiful person, and I respect... Oh, you, you forgot that no, part, did you? No, but at the same you? time, send me, take down these pictures. This is appropriate. This isn't. Right, but, but, but he, get, the, he, get, he, gets to, he gets to break up with her then. Yeah, that's true. He gets to break up with her. Or she gets to walk away. And she gets to walk away, and she, and she did. But, but here's the thing. What about his boundaries when she doesn't release the... Uh, the the messages? The, the messages until after he has a baby with someone else and then has the audacity to say, I hope you have a girl. You're gonna talk about my fucking children now? You think, you talk about boundaries? Mm-hmm. I know who the wrong person in this relationship was and it wasn't Jonah Hill. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, yeah. this idea, the other thing is mm-hmm. surfers don't surf in bikinis. This whole thing was, well, she's in a swimsuit wait, and it's on. the same thing. No, hold no, on, no. Hold on, wait. Sorry, wait. What, what's the thing about? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? The Jonah Hill. Competition messages. surfers do not surf in bikinis. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. That's what I, the only point I was making. Right. And it, by the way, it, it, well, the thing is, if it, it doesn't make. Here's the. Hold on, I just got one, one thing on that. It depends where you're surfing. Yeah. I, for her, I don't think that's what what she was doing. Isn't so that? if it, it's wearing a wetsuit, that's just about the water temperature. So you're not like. If it's a colder ocean temperature, then you're going to be in like wetsuit. But like if you're in Indonesia or you're in Hawaii, I think it actually, at least for women, it's fairly common uh, in warmer uh, ocean temperature to surf in the bikini. When that be bikini? Yeah, or a one piece. Even in the bikini. Okay. But yeah. wouldn't that be like uncomfortable surfing? Like wouldn't the girls come out or something? Like surfing's like a sport. There's sex. no way the bikinis <laughs> women that do surf the in girls bikinis. that I know where they could surf it. There's Wasn't no the way. Issue of women do surf in bikinis, but um, in Southern California, and she's from Always SoCal. Always exception typically, to a rule. Typically not, but. Oh, I, 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 I don't, mean, she, she can do whatever she wants. My point is he has yeah. the right to, it, to establish boundaries. I was just gonna that say was, like, he was not manipulating her. That is ridiculous. Isn't the, like, it wasn't about whether or not like professional surfers wore swimsuits or wetsuits. Yeah. It was what his preferences and boundaries were. So, oh, I mean, that, I, hold on, let, let, well, well, let's do this. Let's get back. Yeah, let's get into ahead. the Jonah thing first, but I do okay. want to give everybody a chance to react to the clip. So you went, correct. Mm-hmm. Did you get to go? No. Um, I guess what she's bringing the tab- to the table matters a lot. So if she's asking for a lot, what is she giving in return? Sure. Um, also, I don't feel like there's going to be a big dating pool for rules like that. Mm. Um, especially Can if, you pull the microphone closer towards yeah. you, please? Especially if uh, she has high standards for men and they don't feel like she's meeting their standards. I feel like sure. higher standard men like that are going to have higher standards for their women. You know what, it's interesting that you brought up what she's bringing to the table. She actually made a follow-up video oh. Oh, no. of what, because a lot of people in, the, in, her, in response to her right. TikTok were like, well, what are you bringing? This is her response. Go ahead. Nothing. I, I'm kidding. Being communicative, <laughs> being open to receiving, mm. listening to his needs and wants, giving receiving. him little surprises because I also like getting him gifts and stuff, being a peaceful place for him to relax outside of work and stressful social interactions, just like being his peace, being a supportive girlfriend, and just being there with my energy. I hope no. that answers your question. <laughs> not, not so, the I mean, okay, mo- most of the things that she just listed should already be in a relationship. Like bo- for, right. uh, there were a couple things that were perhaps more so like. The gifts was the only thing. It was like. 
No, the only thing was peace. That was the only thing she said right. She didn't yeah, say anything peace, right. Peace. And you want to know the one thing of that group I guarantee you she can't provide him? Peace. Is fucking peace. peace. Yeah. That is the only one she can't do. Well, she doesn't strike me as a peaceful no. person. <laughs> yeah, no. well, how the fuck are you going to be peaceful when you're nagging at him, telling him you have to do all this stuff for, like, I think that she got sense. that list from someone else's TikTok. Uh, for yeah, sure. She, she, she <laughs> wanted to go viral on TikTok. She didn't she even show her face. She couldn't say what a straight face. <laughs> show her face in that video. And she said nothing. <laughs> so um, <laughs> your reaction to the... I actually had like the same exact reaction that you did. I wanted to know what she was bringing to the table. Mm-hmm. And like after seeing that video, like I, I see that like like what she's saying that she's bringing to the table is somewhat similar to what she's requesting but the whole like my presence my energy is enough like yeah that's that's not it that's not yeah, it why is his presence and energy not enough right but he <laughs> right. has to do the extra work and then because we yeah. don't have presence and energy we work we accomplish things <laughs> we, we build work. things and we protect and we protect people that's mm-hmm. what we do we don't really have presence or energy protect people from what Protect people from the world. Protect anything. Protect people financially. Protect people. Well, like I have family members that I protect them from getting scammed. Mm. All the time I have older family members. Women can do that. And they're like, hey, I just got a call from this guy from Jamaica who wants my bank card number. (laughs) We protect people when they walk to their car. That's That's our job to do it. That's the only one that matters with men is that you can be like a security guard. For sure. People say masculinity is muscles and money and sleeping with all these girls. Masculinity Mm. is willing to protect and die for your tribe. That Mm. is what masculinity is. That's important. Those men (laughs) who stormed that beach in 1940. 44 in France. Those men were masculine. That's what masculinity is. Let me ask you a question, Mike, though. Do you think that both sides are holding up their end of the bargain? Because if, it, if it's man's duty to, to die for their woman mm-hmm. in, in some sort of self-defense situation, do you think that the other side is holding up their end of the bargain? So, so I've said this before. There are three genders. There's high-status high, uh, high men, low-status men, and women. High status men and low status men have nothing in common. Nothing. They don't have the same brain chemistry. They don't have the same sexual partners. They don't make the same amount of money. They don't have the same physique. Nothing. They have nothing in common. Literally, there's a book called Winner Effect that goes over the neurology of men who are successful in winning and and, uh, men who aren't. And there's nothing. They have nothing in common. And so if you're asking me, do high status men, do they fall short? I'll tell you, no, they don't. For the most part, they have something going for them or they're providing something. Do low status men fall short? Well, they are the one subscribing on OnlyFans. So, I mean, you tell me, like that's the, that's the, that's, that is the dish issue. So we can't just say all men because men bifurcate way more than women do. Because when I talk to older women, so on my show, one of the things we do is we always try to get at least one ma- one or two people with a master's degree, one or two girls that are married. We try to get a different uh, group and we, we get the same answers. It doesn't matter if they're 23 or 43, we get the same answers. Women generally have the same answers when it comes to their uh, hypergamy. Whereas men, they're very different answers when you're at the top. The, what you're saying before about catching your girl cheating, a guy who's high status is already on the phone with another girl before he even leaves the house. He's like literally calling the dude in Uber to get him the fuck out of there. He doesn't care. He's got the movers coming over to take her shit out. That's what a high status man would do. A low status man is gonna cre- uh, cry and bicker and beg to her, for her to come back. Do you mm-hmm. see, like that's not even the same fucking species. That's completely you? different, yeah. Um, you said that a high status man really never falls short. Uh, no, no, he's not that he never falls short, but in one case or another, he has the access to scarce resources and he has the ability, uh, he has the ability to garner status. So a high status man could be like the guy who ran Enron. That's a that's a very duplicitous, evil high status man, okay? Mm-hmm. Like Joseph Stalin or Pol Pot. That's an example of a high status man mm-hmm. who is very evil. It doesn't mean they're all- huh? That's extra, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> no, I'm hearing you. I'm, I'm using, I'm using an extreme example. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. Well, I could use one other example if you want and we'd get us kicked oh, off of YouTube. Oh God, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I know where you yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, but uh, I've been doing a lot of studying this week. I got a, I got a debate coming up. Uh, but no. But but wait, th- was th- Genghis Khan? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> well, so, so I mean, no. This is a great example. Like Genghis Khan, uh, his Y chromosome. So for men, you can actually trace uh, the the variety in Y chromosome. That's why we know it, throughout history about eighty percent of women and only forty percent of men have reproduced because we can we can measure the Y chromosome. Uh, and so when you look at Genghis Khan, at one point I believe it was like eight percent of all. Uh, men that lived in uh, Asia had had the same Y chromosome, which was from Genghis Khan and his son Kulia Khan back in the 15th century. So like when you realize that, that's what men were doing. They were conquering and that kind of thing. That doesn't mean they're always good. That doesn't mean they're always good. If you find a good man who's also high status, that's great. A lot of times men are high status. They express the opportunity to cheat. That doesn't mean that cheating is okay. A lot of people, whenever I read the David Buss uh, studies, they think, oh, you're just quali- you're saying cheating is okay. No, no, we're not saying, we're not, yeah. nobody's saying that cheating mm-hmm. is okay, but a lot of them do cheat and women have a hard time understanding why it, why it is that 
happen. So what they'll do is they'll say, I want a higher and higher and higher status man. And then you explain to them, well, it's going to be a higher probability of them cheating. And then they don't want to hear that. They're like, no, yeah. they don't, they don't believe that. To, add, what, to yeah. add to that, like, I felt like I was like really judged earlier for saying that like I dated a guy that like slept with other women and I was exclusive to him. But at the end of the day, like, no, no, it was, it was two guys at the same time and you told them about each other. That's what they were talking about. Well, they actually requested that like we just court and like not like, like not, you know, do anything too serious until we get to know each other further. Like that was pretty much You, you it. met two men in, in Brooklyn who didn't want no, to have No, not in Brooklyn. You? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm not saying they don't want to have sex, but one of them is Catholic, so they're a virgin. They don't, they won't have sex until they're married. And the other, I Does just- Does this guy have a channel on Rumble? No? No, okay, my bad. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, um, so to your point about like the high status yeah. men, um, like- Oh, my, no, my point was low status men don't have the ability to cheat. High status men are the ones who are cheating. So when I women, would agree with that. Yeah, when we say women, men always cheat. No, it's you hmm. just keep dating the same VIP host, male mm. stripper, bartender over and over again and you think that's indicative of all men and then I take you to Jack in the Box or I take you to Walmart and you look at the cashier and you're like, who's he fucking? And you didn't even see him. You didn't even see that he was a man. You can't even imagine that this man has sex with anyone. So that's the thing. A lot of times when women ask the question, who are they talking about? They're talking about the dude who fucked them over and they think that's men. And that's just not the way it works because mm -hmm. there's just two very, very distinct classes of men. Did you I give your reaction to the video? Um, oh yeah, shit. Yo, right stay now. safe. Thank you for the uh, Twitch raid, man. Guys, stay safe. He's a uh, Giga Chad World of Warcraft player. Uh, he's been on the show two times. Yo, stay safe. Thank you very much for the uh, raid. Maybe we'll talk about World of Warcraft. Uh, did you ever play World of Warcraft, Mike? Uh, a little bit, not very much. Any, any, I was way, way more, more it's, uh, Age of the Empire. Oh, Age that. of yeah. Empires. Anybody here are, like a World of Warcraft? I play Guild Wars. I think it's That's better. That's not World of Warcraft. It's, but it's okay. the same MMO RPG. I already, I already did it. I, I tried it. it one time. Um, but after like a couple days, I wasn't into it. But I like video games, but I just don't like that style. Yeah, okay. it's funny, it's the only one I'm at Oblivion. I did everything, yeah. every, every other game except that one. Yo, Matt, thank you for the raid, man. Really appreciate it. Um, I did, I gave my opinion. Kelly, what about you? Your thoughts on that video with that girl? Um, I think everyone's allowed to have standards. I think hers were a little bit much. Um, hmm. They're a little kind of like delusional, you know? Um, I think the flowers every month is a little bit much because if he's doing a bunch of these other things for you, if he forgets to buy you flowers this one month, why is that a big deal? Um, and a lot of it is just like, how, how can you ask for these things when you're not bringing anything to the table that actually matters? Mm. Okay. Um, Mike, did you want to give a yeah. further take on she it? She has the right to say whatever she wants to say and believe mm. that that's the, that's, those are her standards she can express. However, the likelihood of her, when a man acquiesces to those standards she states, she is going to find him to be wanting. That's what I would say the probability is. Meaning she's gonna meet a guy who off the bat says, oh, I watched your TikTok video and I'm gonna go ahead and buy you flowers every <laughs> month and her vagina is gonna go, <laughs> it's gonna dry up just like that when she does that. Because essentially, it, can a woman like that get a man? Of course, there's all, all these men are simps. Uh, I don't know if you saw the, the recent study that came out. It was uh, men under the age of 35 never married. It's like 33% of men and 33% of women have zero sex in the last year. Yeah. Of course she's gonna find a dude who's desperate, 100% she'll find him. But she, when she, she gets in that relationship, she's gonna realize, oh, I don't want him. I don't want him. And then she's gonna leave. The man that she does want, the reason, uh, he probably already was with her and he didn't do any of those things that she stated and that's why she has those rules because another guy didn't do those things and just got to have sex with her without being in a relationship. Priya, what about you? Um, I think her quote unquote expectations are pretty delusional. Um, those are all very kind gestures that if we were in a relationship with somebody that those are things that I would love for them to do occasionally, but they are not the standard and they're not something that I would absolutely expect them to do 100% mm. of the time. Again, it's a kind gesture, but that's not something that should be expected out of a relationship, especially with how little she's bringing to the table. Mm. And like you guys said, how she claims that she brings peace into a relationship, somebody that holds standards like that is not a peaceful person. Yeah, she doesn't, she comes off as super entitled and mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think entitlement particularly coincides with be, bringing peace to yeah. uh, a relationship. So, but I mean, anybody who's on TikTok whinging like that, there's no way you're bringing fucking peace to a relationship. <laughs> so thank you everybody for your reactions to that. I have a couple, some of you so graciously provided some 
pre-show notes for us. So we're going to go through a couple of those. We have quite a bit, so I don't know if we'll be able to get through everything. But, uh, okay, so we have you here. You said you slept with a scary rapper once. Oh my god, did I put that in there? <laughs> Sorry, did I put that in there? <laughs> Does he know that he was scary? Because he's I watching did, right now. I I watching. We have 79,000 people watching right now. He's one of them. No. Just... Um, yeah. Oh my god. You're calling me out here. I don't know why I put that. Uh, yeah. It, one time I went and he, I had such a crush on this guy. And then we ended up hooking up and it scared the bejesus out of me because he we were hooking up and he what? took a, a gun out and put it on the he was having a gun on him mm. wait guns are scary how long never, ago, how, how long never, was this go, never come to texas how long how long, how long, how long I was this on the table i was like younger was like, in my wild maybe like 25. okay what was the uh, who's the know. rapper so, does he lose no so, i'm so, no yeah. way telling you guys i okay. forgot so even so like, wait, yeah, like you, high, you don't want you don't want young dolph to know you don't want never mind i'm as a rapper, would you expect anything less for him to not keep a gun um, on him? Maybe I'm just too innocent. Facts. I've never seen a gun in my Facts. life, so it was just shocking. Uh, just, just out of curiosity. Like, real? Did, did, he have, did, <laughs> did you go on multiple dates with him? Uh, no. You just met him the one time, just backstage, uh, it was yes. whatever? Okay. Yes. Got it. Oh my okay. God. It was this like, before or after your husband? Oh, before. It was like, before. Yeah, before. Yeah. It was how like long, my how far YOLO days. Oh, YOLO oh, days? Well, I'm thir- I just divorced him now, so this was like seven years ago. Okay, got it. Okay. You're from Canada? Yes, sir. Rapper Drake? <laughs> oh my God! I wish no. <laughs> if it was Imagine Drake. Drake. God, I wish. If it was Drake, no. she'd be saying Drake. All <laughs> yeah. She wouldn't even be friends. Yeah, she would be know. sitting stunned on all these girls. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Drake. Someone Did, said no. Flavor Fave. Flavor <laughs> <laughs> uh, Face tattoos? Did he have face tattoos? He had body tattoos. Nice. Name some please lyrics. Faster, faster. You guys. Please. Uh, oh no, please. you're drilling her. Uh, he was a white rapper. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Okay. And okay. That's all he is no longer you in here Canada. With us. Machine gun Canada. No, I'm in America. <laughs> I mean, did did, 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 did G Easy have good lyrics? Hey, yo, yo, yo. Hold, yeah. Hey, why, why are you talking right now? Sorry. Please, if if other people are talking, let them talk. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, that's all. I'm not. Oh my God, I feel like one of those people. Like, I'm not gonna tell you. But no, I. <laughs> I cannot. I'm so so G Easy was good and bad. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> All I'm saying, a white rapper, dude, okay? And it was years ago, and that is... But it. we would all know him. We would all know him. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some of y'all. He's not, like, A-list, I don't think. Oh, he's not A-list. So Juice, so Juice World was okay and bad. Is that what you're saying? Juice World. Oh, he's not white. My bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was like, what? I'm just trying to, get, I'm trying to catch you. I'm trying to catch you. Trying to catch you. Call me out like that. No, I'm going to Did he want to... Like, I've, I've definitely heard that there's a kink <laughs> where, like, women will want... Like either a knife held up to them or like a gun held up yeah, to them. Was it that kind of thing? It was kind of, don't get me, it was kind of like, it gets your adrenaline pumping, mm. right? Whether you like it or not. I was like, whoa, whoa. She says, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so know. hold on. You were at a concert. He was performing in the concert. No, it was, we, it was, we, it was we, Paul we Wall with Slim Thug. DM, slid into the DMs. He slid into your DMs. I slid into his. Oh, you slid into Not his. thinking anything, like as a joke, kind and of. He, and yeah. then he actually responded. And then he's like, oh, come to the studio. Okay. Wait. Okay, how many followers did you have when you slid into his DMs? Zero. Was nobody. Like, you know what's interesting? The reverse would never happen. Like a dude sliding into Ariana Grande's DMs who's got zero followers. I don't know. She's dating. Just, that she's dating guy. right now. Yeah. Who? Look who she's dating right now. She's a Broadway actor. No, no, no. They got divorced. The they got divorced. Look well, at who she's dating now. Well, he's a, I mean, he's a Broadway when you, star, when you, so he's not oh, a nobody. But when you messaged Paul Wall, did he have a bunch of followers <laughs> at the time? He, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't. That's why I'm I was gonna get shocked. it. I'm gonna I figure sent, out who it is. I sent it's it as still a alive. joke. I sent it as is a he joke. Alive? Yes, Wait, is he's a white rapper. Do you think it's Mac Miller or something? Yeah, but there's also logic. Like that, playing Blue's Clues over here. So, okay, in your other was, notes, you said that you were dealing with a husband who hated his job, but I became his sugar mama. Oh yeah, that was yeah, my. Yeah, we kind of already talked about that. Um, let's see. I didn't think you guys were actually gonna like call me out on this stuff. I just put, I, I sent it in like real quick. So were you, but you chose to marry him, right? But it's, I mean, you did say, hey, like I, it was the pandemic. I didn't know the scope of his unemployment. Um, but you characterized it as being his sugar mama. But so, I mean, isn't it the case though? Many women today, they're out earning men, female doctors, lawyers, etc. So like, why is it that a male breadwinner is considered normal for a man? But when a female is a breadwinner, it's considered to be dating down. Well, I see where you're going with that. But it, what it, you remember I said he was not ambitious. Like, that was the issue, right? If you're, like, working hard and helping out and you just make less than me, like, go so, for it. But if you're going to sit there and be lazy and I have to provide for you, that's when you feel like a So kind of mom. like what it is men? Like a, 
<laughs> men in general? What kind yeah. of just like what how did his men? lack of ambition look like? Uh, I guess you have a good point, but I feel I don't know, like a woman in a sugar uh, baby situation, usually what brings like, you know, she dresses sexy for you, she'll do stuff around the house. Like I feel like they bring more to the table. They'll probably have like a little side hustle, you know, have a little boutique where they don't he make was one of the money. island boys. <laughs> No. Oh Sorry. my I'm god. I'm if if you if you were making like significantly more and you said, Hey, I wanna not work anymore since you have the funds to You guys I'm that. not like a, a bajillionaire here. I'm still working I mean, hard. Even, for most my men fund. aren't bajillionaires yeah, either. But like but. it wasn't enough that oh I make so much money where I can take care of us both and live lavishly. Like you need to imp- you know, bring something too. Like I, it was just his um demeanor about it and like like I said, just no ambition. That's so, the turn off. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, who was better in bed, your husband or Takashi Six Nine? Which one was? <laughs> oh my which God, one was yeah, better? Get over it. He's hey, okay, I was, I'm checking though. I want to see a reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. He she pa- can, she can lie about the race of the rapper. I know. I know. I know. He's Hispanic. She's like Eminem. Oh my God, imagine. And the the last note from you here, and we were actually talking to some degree about this a little earlier. You said that I think that people judge OnlyFans girls too much, and that a guy can't handle a girl showing off her body or that that a guy who can't handle a girl showing off her body is insecure like the recent jonah hill text message oh. we'll get to that in just a sec hold on thank you john appreciate it can you ask the girls what their political leanings are and if they would be willing to date a guy with the opposite political leanings p.s would be cool to get destiny and farah back on the show oh yo john thank you very much yeah we can definitely ask that question appreciate it and uh, i think we actually have destiny coming on thursday for a debate, we're not doing a dating talk. Um, we'll go around the table really quick. So, uh, political leanings, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. Uh, you're good. Uh, this, we're talking about politics? Yeah, are you liberal, oh, dem- no, I'm nothing. Pr- conservative, Involved liberal, politics. moderate, Any, ap- apolitical? Zero. Okay, what about you? I be feeling like politics is bullshit, but social issues are important to know where you stand. Word? Okay, what about you? Uh, I lean, I guess, more liberal, but in, independent. Okay. Green Party. What's That's, that's, no, a, that's, a, that's a lot really liberal. Like, that's a lot liberal. Yeah. I really like that's the environment. So the like, two times I voted in my life was for the Green Party. But. Is that like okay. eco-terrorism or something? I mean, I, you said it, not me. I'm not getting kicked off this platform. <laughs> um, I don't think I have political views. It's kind of just like... You know right from wrong. Like you, you know better. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like people just don't, don't want to share. They're, they're, but liberal, conservative, mild, right leaning, moderate, moderate. No, I kinda, not not particularly. Some people just don't really really care about. Politics. I just That's don't fine. care. Mm. Yeah. That's fine. What about you? I'm uh, moderate conservative. Okay. Um, ideally communist, but I believe what? in human flaws. <laughs> so realistically, social capitalism. So like a blend of socialism and capitalism. Um, so wait, China. communist? Yeah, so like China. Ideally, I, no, uh, uh, China's not a real communist country, it's socialism. Are you a tanky? A what? what did you say? You said social tanky. capitalism. Yeah. I, I personally like different forms, so like pick and choose. Okay. I wouldn't say China's exactly doing it right, but like I agree with their like limited population rules, like stuff like that, but I don't they know. They don't have that anymore, but yeah, I know, I know yeah, but, um, that is a part of like some kind of. Okay. Um, I used to be extremely leftist, raging SJW feminist. I'm I'm more of like centrist liberal now. Okay. I don't pay attention or care too much about politics. So. If you were a moderate 20 years ago, you are a conservative now. There is no way to like. If I just, I, yeah. I, I don't even have to say what I am. If I am just had normal moderate views in 2000, today I am a, considered a conservative. Agreed. Yeah, it's just mm-hmm. li- like, and it's their yeah. basic common sense things. I would be called a politically conservative, and I try to like say, no, nah, I'm more moderate. And then I have like, I, I talk to people. I'm like, no, this is not. I'm, I guess I'm not moderate. I guess I'm not. I, you probably shouldn't be talking to a nine year old about switching genders. Like that doesn't sound right to me. And it doesn't like I don't go off and bait. Man, I'm super fucking political conservative that just makes sense to me you know what I'm saying and I just don't understand so the things whatever I believed because the Overton window keeps shifting to the left I'm Mm -hmm. left behind because I'm 45 years old I just look conservative Mm -hmm. Priya what about you Uh, I completely agree with your point actually Um, a few years ago I would have said I'm very moderate conservative Uh, now I'm being pushed much more right with how drastic things um, are becoming so Mm -hmm. 
rock and roll. Okay, let's get a couple chats in. We have Ronnie C here. Hey, thank you, man. Hey, Brian, great show. Priya's accent, smile, kind of cute. Shooting my shot, Priya. Let's go skydiving in LA, question mark. <laughs> get a drink first date, obviously. I'm a pro athlete, from, too, from London. I'll DM Brian and Michael, God bless, and bring Destiny back. Yo, Ronnie C, thank you very much for your very generous uh, chat there. Appreciate it. Um, Priya, he's an athlete. Wants to go Very skydiving. Very nice offer. It sounds like a sketchy first date, though. Yeah, that's. Oh. <laughs> We're jumping right to yeah, skydiving. I don't. I don't know about that. It's kind of because <laughs> of the implication, you know. You're on. Sorry, on can I ask who's destiny? You guys keep mentioning. Uh, she, uh, Steve. It's yeah. Uh, he's, YouTube, he's a really YouTube he's streamer. a really like good a debater. Her. He's a little bit left of center. Oh, is he and the blue haired guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and and girl. he's he's because all the red pill guys sort of like gang up on him. He's always there. Like one of the things I appreciate about him, he's always willing to take on these really these cantankerous debates. Mm -hmm. And he's re like I admit he's a better debater than me. And he huh? he does he's tons good. of fucking yeah, he's, research. He's, he's, he's awesome. And so Smart we guy. did we did one debate. He and I did one against each other uh, on Fresh and Fit. And I just learned to really respect <laughs> the dude. I'm doing a pretty big debate in a couple of weeks, and I'm actually picking his brain, even though we don't agree on everything, about some things that I'm going to be debating on. So yeah, he's, he's in, in this space, I would say he's the best debater that there is. He's All really right. well pronounced. All right, Rivers View, hey, yeah, thank you, man, appreciate it. Really Cheating well. or not, never start physical violence mail. Deletion stats due to results of DV are comparable to female homicide. Violence never right in domestics hurt, or hurt on both sides stats. Not worth debate, girls. Cheating is a civil case, hitting is criminal. Agreed. Okay, fair, fair point, very, very fair before. point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Rivers View, good, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, despite, you know, the temperature that might be uh, raised, if you catch a girl cheating, obviously, try, it's not worth fucking catching a case over that shit. Just yep. move on, get out of there, like, you know. But, uh, yeah. Although I do, like, what about the dude, you know? What if it's your best friend? <laughs> Then you oh, have to settle that with your best friend. Yeah, yeah, that's such a betrayal. That's such a betrayal. You're saying you should do it. I challenge you to a duel. You would do a duel. Like, you know? Yeah, like, you knew what you were doing. You knew an asshole was on the table if you got caught. Hold on, hide that. Seven deadly oh, sins you, donated one hundred dollars. All right, here we go. Seven hundred and seventy-seven okay. decillion right. seven hundred and seventy-seven. No nillion seven hundred and seventy-seven octillion seven hundred and seventy-seven septillion seven hundred and seventy-seven sextillion seven hundred and seventy-seven quintillion seven hundred and seventy-seven quadrillion seven hundred and seventy-seven trillion seven hundred and seventy-seven million seven hundred and seventy-seven million seven Seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven seven women. Seven pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony, sloth. Name seven books. Name seven. Anybody uh, here? Name seven books. Go. Um, Into the Wild, The Great Gatsby. It's kind of a funny story. No, don't name a school required readings. No, you read it right wherever you want. That's cheating. Books. That's no, cheating. books are books. Books are books. Come on. <laughs> All right, we have Bender the Offender here. Hey, thank you, man. Ladies, what do you think the median income for men is in Oh, here we society? go. This is my favorite. Uh, let's wait until we have her back from the bathroom. Okay. Bender, I'll, I'll pull this one back what up. What do you think the median oh, income my. for a man in the United States is? Median? Yes. Median. Median, median. or median. average? Median. Uh, so okay, median, so you would stack them all together and you would take a mean would be <laughs> averaging them all, which would be higher because there's okay. some people who are trillionaires. Uh, but median is going to be stacking them all and then taking the one that's at the 50th percentile. That's a median. Is okay. the Yo, we have Canuck here. Hey, thank you, man. Uh, can you please bring on Fuentes and Zerka? They are great as a duo, very entertaining and insightful. Can uh, 5 to 10x your viewership easily? Biggest women respect <laughs> okay, right. yeah okay i don't know nick but I, I like john john is my boy uh Shout out to john. no comment okay no comment <laughs> um okay and then once she's back we'll pull this one back up bender all right we have this one here uh okay ladies what do you think the median income for men is in today's society We'll start with you. Go ahead. The, I have to get up for a sec. Cool. Can, the median income for men in the United States. I actually have a bunch more stats, so we'll go. Uh, 50,000. 50,000. How much? What do you think it is? 25K. 25,000. What do you think it is? 40. 40? Like 45,000. 45,000. What do you think it is? I think it's 30 something. 30? 60. 60? Anywhere from like 30 to 50. 30 to 50? 
30. Okay. I'm going to say in the 40s, but I'll say 42. That's crazy. So usually we do this and it's all the girls say, well, it's 170,000. He probably makes 100,000. <laughs> he's got to at least We'd make, be dating cheap He's got to make it at least 70. <laughs> it's about 39. It's about 39,000. I, I think the newest I think the newest number is like 42,000. And then for a household, I want to say it's 70,000, yeah. right? Okay. The top 10% of wage earners. What do you think it is? Top 10% of wage earners. Top 10% of wage earners, of wage earners oh. in the United States. What do you think? What what, what 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 number would you have to cross? 80. 80. 150 k. 150? Mm, like 100. Okay. It was like 120. 120? 80. Okay. This is only top percent. Top 10%. I would say close to a million. Close to a million. I would agree with 80. 80? Wait, is the question like how top much? Top 10%. You put you in the million. top 10 percentile how much of, money are you of, making? Of, of income earners. So we're not talking about guys who own Six like years. a bunch of rental properties. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. What do you think? Um, like 130? What do you think? I would say 90. 90? Yeah. It's about 170. It's about the top 10%, the top 1%. What do you think it is? Top 1%? Uh -huh. I, don't, I didn't know it went past 170. Um, I would say maybe like 250. 250 for 1%. 500K. 500? Yeah, oh, 500K. Like 475. You guys are dry. You are wet. Like, I've done this a bunch of times. I don't know. Maybe you guys have saw us, but well, I'm used to every girl saying 4 million, 10 million, 20 million. Keep going. I'm gonna get in trouble for what? these wrong answers. Um, by my boyfriend. Um, yeah. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. Four hundred. Four hundred. I'm so disappointed with the last answer, well, but I'm gonna hope a million. A million. You said the top one percent. Top one percent. <laughs> yeah, I guess like I'm close to a million. Four hundred. Four hundred. Top one percent. I'm gonna say. 400. So it used to be about 450. Now it's about 650. Damn. It's about 615, somewhere in that area. We'll put you in the top 1%. And the top 01% is about $3.2 million. So the, uh, the reason why I think it's a little different is because when, when you know we do the show, the show in Miami or the show we do in Las Vegas, a lot of those yeah. girls are around guys in bottle service. Those guys are buying $10,000 tables, $100,000 tables. And so people start to believe that that's, uh, mm -hmm. that's what the normalcy is. But no, it's 39,000. How tall do you think the average guy is in the United States? Mm. Anybody? 5'8". Five, 5'8". Eight. Five, eight? What do you think? Six foot. Six foot? I think it's five nine if I five nine? that reason. Yeah, I think it's five nine. What do you think? Five nine. I think it's like five eight, five nine. What do you think? Five seven. Go ahead. And like five, five six seven. to five eight. Okay. Five eight. It is either five eight or five nine. It's, it's five crazy. Eight. Again, like you guys do a lot of reading. Congratulations. We have a the, but I want to I want to hear you guys name three countries. The answer is five nine. Yeah. yeah. The number of men. The number of, just real quick. The number of men. The percentage of men over six feet tall. What do you think it is? Oof. Everybody. Over. Very, over six feet. Very six low. feet or no. oh, oh, We're talking or about taller. U.S. Huh? statistics, correct? Or yeah. Like, U.S. statistics. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Percent of over six. Over six feet tall. Out of like a hundred percent. Yes. Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's why, only that's percent. That's why it's called percent. Okay. Yes. Correct. Um. 25. 25. 20. 20. 25. Okay. 15. 15. 15. I don't see a lot Five. Of Five. 10. 10. Can you repeat the question? Uh, men over six feet tall. What percentage of men in the United States are oh. over six feet or, or, or taller? I don't know. Like maybe 20%. 20. 18. 18. That's a lot. 18. It is 14%. So ladies, I, 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 want you to, I want you to think about this for a second, okay? So when ladies come out there, and maybe, you know, maybe because we're in a college town, it's a little bit different, but often we'll get, makes $100,000 a year. That puts you in the top, I think, 26 or 28 percentile. Over six feet tall, that puts you, or six feet or over, that puts you in the top 14 percentile. Remember, those don't stack. They actually, it's 14% of 26%, mm -hmm. right? And then we go, not married, not obese. I mean, if you ever use the delusional calculator, you end up finding out that when women say that, I want six feet tall, six pack abs, you know, not married, makes over six figures. They're We're talking girl. about point. 5% of the population, 0.3% of the population. And so then you have a woman like this woman on TikTok saying, these are all the things that she wants in a relationship. That's why I was saying before, from a statistical standpoint, the likelihood of her finding that guy is like three, is, uh, three tenths of 1%, got it? Now we do the opposite, all the guys, we take the same test, but of course we as men do not care about height and we do not care about money. Mm -hmm. And so because of those, our dating pool is much greater. So for a man who makes $200,000 a year, he's choosing between say nine to 14% of the population, whereas she's choosing between like 0.3% of the population. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And this is why men cheat. That it, it's just a function of, so, it's a socioeconomic, it's a mathematics problem. That's the reason why. Because for men to meet the standards that you're saying, there's just so fewer of them. I'm not excusing men cheating. I already know there's going to be a TikTok made of me talking, <laughs> talking shit. Um, but 
That's the reason why, is because these men at the top, a higher tier, have options. What social media did is it did not make it easier for men to meet women. It made it easier for a small group of men at the top to meet all of the women. Does it make sense? So if you look at body counts with men, there's another study they do. The top, I'm gonna say like 26% of men under the age of 30, something like that, have had, like still a virgin. It's just some ridiculously high number and it's getting higher. And then you have the men over, the top 5% of men have 150 bodies. So for men, it's flat, and then it goes like this, and then, and then the average man, I think, is like, they've had six sexual partners in their entire life. So we're up to 33% were like at zero, at the 50th percentile, we're like at six, and then we shoot up to 150. Do you see it like that? Whereas men, for women, it's more linear. For men, there is this group of men at the top that are having all, the, getting all the attention from women. So can I ask you a question? Yeah. So for high value, high status men that have all of the options, right? That only reaches like, that's like, like RK selective theory, like it only reaches a critical point until like it falls off and you actually can't maintain those options what anymore. What do you mean? So like um, if you're talking about like, let's just uh, use an example of like red, the red pill community, okay. right? Sure. And you would consider a lot of those men like um, encouraging other men to become high value, high status sure. men, right? Um, so, and along with that rhetoric also comes with provision for the women that they're dating. Yeah, um, it, could, it, could, it, could, it could be provisioning or, so RK, or they could just show access to scarce resources. And what I mean by that is the guy who has the yacht and you come on the yacht, but he's not provisioning for you. Sure. Not necessarily. Like Drake doesn't provision for a lot of the women he sleeps with, but he still shows you know? access to... No, I'm saying all of them. So there are women who are attracted to Drake that he does not provision for. And there are women that Drake sleeps with that he does not need to pay. That's my, my point. Sure. But, okay? right, all right, some, hold on. Let's, let's try to move on from this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's see here. We had... Uh, I don't know if we want to do this other chat. We did have another video to react to. I want to try to loop in the rest of the table here. Um, if you can uh, pull up the, uh, oh, hold on. I, let's just, here, I'll read it while it's up. Only in modern America would a girl in a street fighter clown costume believe, hold on, shit, let me retrigger it. Shots fired. No. Believe that the deadliest doctrine in history is ideal. As they say, it is easy to be a communist in a free country. It is impossible to be free in a communist country. Exactly. I don't believe in ideal freedom. I think humans are flawed. So if you give them access to like all the freedom, like for instance, we have the freedom to uh, so then delete someone, but it's what? you will be punished for it. So technically, you're not free to do that. So then you're gonna put other people who are you're saying flawed in charge of? Uh, no, I don't. I said communism is not ideal in terms of human like flaws. So ideally, I would want a communist like utopian society, but I believe that's not achievable because of human flaw. Yeah, if it's a utopian society, you also don't need communism. Yeah, you wouldn't need communism. <laughs> right, you wouldn't need I communism. I just like to yeah. use communism because that's what people relate the, the, to more. The, the idea of a utopian society was communist rhetoric. Yeah. In reality, if you had a utopian society, you wouldn't need people with guns to make you do things yeah. for your brothers. That's, that's that the difference. That would be something different. Yeah. Um, let me see. Did I, I don't know if I... Put, by the way, Mike, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Oh, if no, you I wanted to, I, I thought, I don't know if there was some more back and forth. If you wanted to continue your point, feel free. Oh, no, it was just, it was just going back to, it's a socioeconomic thing where women, like I, Rolo and I are all about the description, not the prescription. What we're, we're trying to explain to people is that as we go forward, there's a small group of men who have a ridiculous access to women because of social media and a large group of men who have no access at all. And the, because those men don't have access, you see angrier and angrier groups of men. I had Richard Reeves, he's a PhD. Uh, on my on my show, he uh, he was working for the he, he was working for the deputy prime minister in the UK, and he's a, a a senior fellow at the Brookings Institute, a serious academician. And he was saying because academics did not want to have the conversation about men falling behind, that's why Andrew Tate had that conversation, and that's why he became so popular so fast because academics didn't even want to acknowledge that there could possibly be a problem where men were falling behind, as far as relationships that were concerned, as far as the jobs were concerned, as far as education was concerned. 5% of psychologists under the age of 30 are men. 5%. Do you understand what's going to happen to the entire field of psychology? Well, yeah, in 2050, women will essentially take over. Yes. Yeah. There, are more, there are more female military pilots than there are male kindergarten teachers. Like, we have gotten to the point where certain, we, we, there are certain institutions where men have completely followed behind. While women have gotten into accounting, becoming doctors, and some of them getting into engineering, men did not become nurses. Men did not become kindergarten teachers. And so we are having this large group of men that are unwanted and unwanted. Uh, it, it somewhat feel unnecessary and 68% of college graduates are female 60% of people in college are female and so because of that you have a bunch of women who are trying to become the men 
that they wanted to marry and they look at the men that they left behind and there's nothing there for them. Mm -hmm. On Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge, 83% of right swipes go to 20% of men. 20% of men are getting 83% of the right swipes. That is incredibly unbalanced. That means 80% of men are, are, are competing for 17% of women. And then you wonder where all this anger and angst and comes from. So if feminists can get out there, the new Barbie movie can come out, all this type of shit can happen. But like, you have to remember these men exist. And if you don't, that's when these massive problems happen. I'm not, I'm not trying to criticize any of you. I'm just saying in general, in society, we try, to, we try to sweep these men under the rug and act like they don't exist because they don't have luck with women. And that's the reason why, like that's the problem is because, and then when women complain about men, they're complaining about men who cheat and to a bunch of men who are like, cheat? Cheat? I've never had a girlfriend. How the fuck am I going to cheat? I, I think that there's a fundal, fundamental misunderstanding and chasm between men and women. I think that like, well, essentially the, the, the red pill movement was a response to like postmodern feminism, like sure. the fourth wave of feminism in the same, like in the same way that like postmodern feminism was a response to like uh, how women felt uh, like towards men and sure. I think men weren't expecting it I think they were shocked I think they were uncomfortable I think that they couldn't like really understand the level of vitriol that women really um, have for men but I think right now like the pendulum is swinging to like now we're talking about men we're talking about we're focusing on them but I also see that there's like seeds of like disdain and hatred like you say like women um, you know they like you're focusing on this point that like women cheat right like and like that's like their main thing but well, wait, women cheat or men cheat? What are you talking about? I'm confused. Well, you were saying earlier that like, that like, um, what did you say about cheating just like a few minutes ago? You're you're uh, talking about how why men cheat. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was about why men. It's, it's, it's like, why it's why like, men like from a, from a socioeconomic standpoint, a, a man. Because I have some friends of mine. Even mm -hmm. before I was, you know, financially successful, I'd go hang out with them in their, you know, their nice apartment in Miami. Right. And the number of women that were just hitting them up, I was like, mm -hmm. Jesus fucking Christ! Like, how is this possible? Mm -hmm. Like, they had they had infinite options, and then my buddy who worked at CVS had no options, mm -hmm. and there was no middle ground. Like, there well, was what is a, he doing? Huh? The man at CVS is he going out? Is he going? Is he making himself available? Like it's not all about online. Like it's, it's, kind of ridiculous it's, it's, it's to not, think not, that not, people only like date by going online. Well, like I don't even have online dating apps. I meet people outside in real life. You know a lot what I'm of saying? the time nowadays, a lot of a lot of women would just be completely turned off by a man that says that he works at CVS. So it's, even that's he, not true though, bro. I see people yeah, yeah, not, that are mentally not challenged, all. not to like hmm. go on a loop with anything. What? Like you know, I see people that have serious. <laughs> like things going on and they find happiness and they find someone else you know what i mean Exceptions not so, the rule though. i was gonna say let yeah. her talk she let her talk wait she did you date this. someone who was you know what i'm saying I, no or? no but i've seen it i physically house. we've all been in school we've all went to public school private school high school whatever you see a bunch of things you see people make it they make movies about certain people like anybody there's trust eight me, billion movies. people there's so right there is someone out there for everybody. Like that's point just point that blank, period. It's harder to find someone equal. It's hard to find someone yeah. equal if you're just doing the same thing every day and you live the same repetitive life cycle and you're not doing anything different. But why yeah. we, we why are we to be equal? It's men and women is different. Yeah. It's it's yin yin. It's, yeah. So so the, the thing is, because there are is there are so many ways to sedate men. And remember, if you're an attractive woman, the, the thing you don't have to accomplish as much in order to be attractive to the opposite sex. Whereas a man, you do. And, it, and if we live in a society now with through you know things online pornography etc those things will sedate men and so that group of men that you said what what is he doing the same thing every day yes he's doing the same everything every day because that's easier for him to do it's in, it's a, let me tell you something grand theft auto 6 is coming out next year yes that motherfucker is a yeah. two billion billion with a b two billion dollar budget for that video game that thing is going to ruin my business and ruin my relationship <laughs> okay like there's so many ways as a man to sedate yourself but we as men have this burden of um, achievement, that we have to achieve certain things in order to be attractive to the opposite sex. And women, I mean, I'm not saying women don't achieve things, it's just that your ability to achieve things is not directly correlated to how attractive you are. Does it make sense? I get what you're saying, for sure. Like we're saying, you can lay around. Wait, you don't think women's attractiveness matters when it comes to men selecting? No, he, she, he's saying that in terms of her like net worth, value, or income, it doesn't matter nearly, nearly as much as but, it does to men. But That's there are true. other factors that men there prioritize are, are in women. Because, I mean, like 
the outputs of like between men and women are not going to be the same. So we're going to value different things in each other, right? No, so like a course. woman would be attracted to success, whereas a man would be attracted to Youth let's say beauty. whatever, like yeah. right? Yeah, right. But most, right, you, most you people can, to be you youthful and beautiful, you don't have to actually achieve anything. Mm. You no, I understand a lot of the times that. are born with that um, that Hopefully. desirable. So just trait. Co- yeah, consider a situation where you have a, a, a male and female and they're twins, and one of them is the male, and he just sits there and smokes marijuana, sits on a mm-hmm. hacky sack, and plays video games all day, and becomes like he doesn't accomplish anything. And then you have his twin sister, who's stunningly beautiful, also smokes marijuana, plays video games. She has a dating advantage over him. Mm-hmm. He has mm-hmm. the burden of achievement. He must achieve he must accomplish in order he must become something in order for him to win and the problem is this is something Rolo and I talk about all the time is that the world is so filled with sedation I find myself going down mm. these mm-hmm. these YouTube holes and I have to like stop myself like mm. it's you, you can sit there and watch endless hours yeah. of, of footage you can watch brainwash. anything you can, it's not even brainwash it's just there's things that when I I have to tell my girlfriend all the time it's like it's work time now when I'm working I am I just think about how hard I have to work to accomplish what I did we just uh, we, we're gonna have our first $600,000 month this month okay when I think about all the work I had to do to do that and when I think about how hard it must be like well other guys are not doing this how the fuck are you uh, are, are they going to be able to accomplish things when there's so many distractions I come from a time where if I was distracted my dad would go get a paddle and make me undistracted very quickly it's a very different time but it's the 1970s 1980s right and so because of the way things are now you have these men who are very easily distracted they're being told that they don't need to be masculine they're being told that they don't need to have the ability to focus and they're also being told that their ability to accomplish things is not that important mm-hmm. and that's just not true you're yeah. as your man as, if you're a man you are not a special snowflake if you're a man and you want to go the rest of your life and never get laid it's very easy to do you can just sit around you will never get laid it's not very difficult at all if you're a man and you don't ever want to run a seven-figure business it's very easy to do that you can just sit around it'll never happen happen for you and but that's the difference right so what you're saying before as men because they have the burden of performance they're always going to be behind the eight ball and things get more and more distracting as new video games and new movies and new augmented reality and new pornography comes out it becomes very it becomes more and more difficult or rather a larger and larger cohort of men get left behind can I ask how you would say to fix that issue so Lazy people are going to be lazy. That's I, I'm a firm believer that a man can have all like the paddle and stuff mm-hmm. and still be lazy. Do you think it's more so that men should just hold their expectations to, and this would play into the women as well, is they are to date equal, so... The twins. Men like, date equal. Men don't get to date equal most of the no, time. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't that fix and that, women though? Don't, women if generally women, will date up. If women started dating more equally... Wouldn't that fix the issue? Yeah, but you can't. You can't tell. Like it's evolutionary psychology. Know, you can't make. You can't would... make women date equally. Women are going to like attraction's not a choice. Exactly. Women are going to I mean, choose. Some yeah, countries I, attraction. I, is I, a choice. Well, yes. Well, some countries marriage isn't a choice, but yeah, attraction mm-hmm. generally not a choice. But you know, I, I actually, I'm, I'm very much like with Richard Cooper on this. I'm just going to enjoy the decline. I do think men in 50 years will be fucking robots, and and there'll be a small group of us who are still fucking cowboys out there going out there, knowing how to speak to women, knowing how to like when there's a fire, we're the ones still burning people pulling people out of the burning uh, the burning house we're still the ones who are willing to pull you out of the car after a car wreck we're still those guys who are willing to do that but I think we're going to see fewer and fewer of those men in the instead future. of mm-hmm. I, I, instead of like using the word lazy to describe these like group of men that like you know distracted are distracted or uh, like not getting laid or like can't really find like their woman like when you have more compassion for them <coughs> and There's not a huge lack of that, well, that is distra- that, that, that is my compassion i'm telling you like, why why they exist right they, they exist on yeah thank you prometheus appreciate it i agree men have hobbies to keep us grounded yeah well, prometheus thank you man too. I mean, men have awesome. hobbies Keep us grounded. Oh, Prometheus had yeah. a hobby. They kept eating his liver every day, and it grew back every single day. <laughs> there you go. Uh, go continue. I'm sorry, I forgot my thought. <laughs> okay, let's react to the video then. Yeah. Uh, all right, go for it. <laughs> Thank you, Mo- Prometheus. It's hot. <laughs> oh, is that a dude? Oh, fuck. My bad. <laughs> Whoever fought. Can you boost the audio? For women to get jobs. All the way. Why? <laughs> How did you do that? I am so tired. <laughs> you and me both so scared. I want to just put my feet up. Like, I am... Oh, my God. <laughs> play, play the beginning again really quick. What's her primary... Uh, just play it again. Whoever fought... <laughs> 
for women to get jobs. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, so she's upset that she has to work, I guess. Um, oh, you can, pa- you can pause it. Uh, that's what, uh, yeah, that's a huge issue these days. Yeah. People don't want to work. Yeah, I think, I feel like as a woman, I need to have my own hustle. Like, I, don't get me wrong, princess treatment all the way, but like, I need to have my own hustle. Do I think I deserve to work five days a week and only have two days off? Absolutely not. But I do believe as a female, you need your own, you know, not depend on nobody type of hustle for yourself. It depends if you're tr- playing a traditional female role. If you don't have kids be at the crib, I think that applies different. I'm talking about like a single woman. Right, but if you're not, if you're not going to plan to do none of that, you could go have your career, you could have to do whatever you want, and that, why, would that, why would anything stop you, really? Exactly, yeah. Oh. Bender the Offender donated $99. Thank you, Bender. I would add it. that men are feeling less needed than before, thus laziness, no social skills, and most importantly, they will no longer be building society as a whole in the generations yeah. to come. Completely yeah, I think a lot of women, they don't just want to provide for themselves. Point, they want Bender. to feel like girl boss mood, though. It's like, yeah. You can still be girl boss and want a man. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, so I grew Correct. up, like, my mom was very independent. My dad also gave her the world and, like, you know, showed what it was to be a husband. My mom also raised me as an independent woman. But I also don't settle for anything less than what you deserve. So it's like I grew up like being instilled that you need to have your own hustle. Don't depend on a man for anything. Even if he's trying to like, oh, you don't got to work. No, go work. If you're too busy like, being independent, though, this is personally something I've gone through. I've been trying to spend a lot of time being independent, being on my own. Then I do that. And then I sit at a place that's alone. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So if you're going to build mm. to be an individual, yep. that's what you're going to end up to be. Yep. So, I mean, uh, yep. so if I could just comment on that answer. last uh, message that came through. I completely agree. Uh, fem- feminism has told uh, women that they do not need men and therefore men and women are completely uh, interchangeable and not distinct from each other, which is completely false. Men and women absolutely need each other and there are certain oh. roles. Duality. Oh, okay. Rage Joe donated $99. Can you ask the guests what they believe a man and the women should bring into a relationship and ideally if the man or the woman should bring more to the table? We, we will get into that. We're, we're getting quite a few that are coming in right now. So Average Joe, thank you very much for your very generous uh, TTS. The TTS uh, we will get into that once we kind of wrap up this conversational thread. Uh, you were commenting on the previous one, Bender, yes. Bender the Offender. Bender, thank you very much. Mm. I think just men aren't appreciated. Um, you, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Donated Yo, thank you, Ronnie. Appreciate it. Hey, Brian, fire <laughs> show. Ronnie again. Pre your first date, let's get drinks. Pasta, skydiving, sketchy, cheeky, Universal Studios LA. Then <laughs> this TTS accent better make me sound great. Doubt lol. Question <laughs> FR panel: What's the one thing that makes you happy? Okay, yo, Ronnie C. Thank you very much Pre- for your TTS content. there. Just make content. Just take. Just go on a date and just film the whole thing. And if it's terrible, then just put it up on TikTok. Make it. Make, I don't just even make live down here, bro. Bye. Um, <laughs> So first off, Priya, do you, and uh, quite a few have come through, so we will try to yeah, address yeah. all, all I'll, the questions. I'll, I'll be but quick. but um, do you? He's changed oh. his date proposal to from skydiving to wine and pasta. Do you accept his date proposal? I don't know how comfortable I feel about accepting a date proposal from somebody I've never met. But I mean, um, send a picture. Doesn't everybody <laughs> send a picture? In. Doesn't everybody start off as a stranger at one point? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but normally I meet people in person, and then okay. Yeah. What if he's right. really cute? Yeah. Would it change your mind? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess it depends. I don't he's all. I mean, down here. <laughs> this is his second TTS, so no. I mean, he's doing. He's probably doing well unless spending he's spending the bands already. He's spending, on you. <laughs> spending some money. He's just trying to talk to you. He's paying money to talk to you. But is okay. he over six foot? Ronnie. Send more money and Ronnie, say. Ronnie, we need she you. She fucks <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly. How tall yeah, are you, Ronnie? Yeah. Ronnie, how tall are you? I'll contemplate it. By the way, just on the, the height thing, did we go on the medium median yes, income? Yeah. Everybody answered? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Just I'll they, they got it way more right than any other audience. Oh, nice. Panel That's seen. a good yeah. panel. Yeah. That's a good panel. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, okay, so there's uh, quite a few that came in. Priya, you were addressing... You bend to the offender with the uh, yeah. lazy, uh, the feminism thing. Go ahead. Yeah, well, and uh, with women seeking the less than top percent, one percent of men, uh, the majority of men feel undervalued, first of all. And um, therefore, I think they don't feel like they need to work to become better and to become mm. like masculine men that can provide for mm-hmm. their families. Um, 
And yeah, men I mean, don't feel appreciated. No, they mm. don't feel appreciated. And I mean, it's hard to not blame, or it's hard to blame the victim. But you know, men do have to become accountable at some at some point Agreed. and decide that they want to strive to be that one percent of men. So, but well, you, wait, you wait, wait, account- even if you become accountable, and we can all put our standards a bit lower for men, there's still the technology now that exists that gives women the ability to just have a roster of men from all over the world that hasn't been there before. Yeah, so when, women need to take away. accountability themselves as well. I don't think that's a sustainable way to live or a good way to live. Wait, but okay, but sorry, one question for you. Saying, so yes. you you said that men should strive to become that one percent. Not necessarily strive to become the one percent, but I think that everybody should strive to continuously become better. Yeah, sure. mm-hmm. but as he said mm-hmm. earlier, there are different standards that women put onto men, so it's harder to become that 1% because not only do you have to be good looking, Absolutely, fit, I'm not saying that everyone's yeah, going I don't, to I don't think that I don't think it's that hard. I really well, don't. But, but I, I, think no, I think no one's right. fucking trying. No one. Like, but, you know, when I meet kids, when I meet guys that are under the age of 25, they do nothing. <laughs> they do nothing. It is, there is a small, let's say the top 16% of men, it has never been easier to get into that top 16% of men. Dude, take a fucking class on copywriting, on like learn how to build a sales funnel. Seriously, learn affiliate marketing. There's so the many ways to make like, like 400 grand. Nature, that's that's not the that top one percent. No, no, but, but, but it's one of the things. And then go to the gym six days yes. a week. There's so many things, bro. There are books you can read. It is so accessible for men to become that top. But when are we going to talk about men's mental health and maybe their lack of ability to really get to that spot? Because I don't feel well, I, I don't really see men talking about that and I don't really see women talking yeah, about that either because we have to perform it's like our mental health when we get there but you that's know. the part that we need to break down <laughs> right because if like if we're talking I'm considering walk instead of talking to talk well I'm considering like what's happening now in like you know mainstream social media and like uh, like the United States and Western society is like there's a movement for men that's happening right now and it's, sure it's evolving and I, I agree that mental health with men has been has always been quite neglected but I think that there's a mental health epidemic going on that is completely obscure and out of blown out of proportion there is this idea now in society that if you are not continuously happy all the time that there's something wrong with you and there's something wrong with your lifestyle our ancestors understood that life was trying and difficult and complex and the road to happiness was long and trying and now we think that we can just walk down the street and be this happy butterfly all the time and if we're not we're doing something incorrect. Why do you think that is? I think social media, I think feminism has told this, uh, told everybody this mm-hmm. because if you are not making your own way as a woman and then men are neglecting their duties because they're told that they are not going to ever be enough, I think that there's a like a multitude of reasons for this. Which perpetuates the chasm between men and women understanding each other, being able to like really... Being, under, just, uh, being able to understand it. Yeah, like in what way? Uh, for example, like like how much effort do you think women, like the average woman, puts into? What? Oh, hold on. Oh. Just hold that thought. Oh, it's. Hold on. I have to re-trigger it because there was a curse word, I guess. Or no, I think it. Give it one sec. It'll re-trigger. I don't. I don't necessarily know that men and women have to understand each other in order to get uh, I don't along. Think so either. And here's the thing: if you are a woman and you have short-term values, you you were saying men, ha- women have to do something, or men have to do. No, they don't. No, they don't. That's the point. Go ahead. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, is it not gonna? Okay. Yeah, it was, it was probably okay. Uh, they are disgusting it. predators and online that needs to be nationwide banned. I grew up in this digital age. I know the majority of men are watching highly advanced and addictive prawn starting at the age of 12 and are being gro- groomed by social media. By the way, yeah, if you, I think it probably he's saying prawn. So. OF and por- the prawn, prawn stars. Yeah, the yeah. porn industry also has a lot to do with this and the decline of masculine men in society. You can watch prawn and still have a job and traditional and women, a masculine <laughs> man. That's just an addictive personality. Like, um, just like you can get addicted to it, drugs the, That or industry drinks. specifically breeds addiction, first of all. Second of all, there are a lot of things that m- corn does to your <laughs> mental health, to your oh, hormones. Sticky wow, okay, down, that's coming in. Speaking of distractions, Damn. shout out to Priya. <laughs> Brian, tell her about the time I saved you from that bear slash tiger slash monkey hybrid. 
Sure. Ron is a chump. <laughs> Let's grab a drink next time I'm in NorCal. Wow, you now have... love to hear about your beautiful horses. Aww. You now have two suitors tonight. Um, <laughs> you have Ron. Yeah. Yeah. Do, oh, wait, tell me. Do you guys remember before when you guys are like, well, women have to change. No, the fuck they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> I, think, I think they should. But don't, 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 don't point this out to me and tell me women have to change. Because in the short term, what will happen is they can all... I have a, I have, uh, I, we had a girl on the show the other day. She's girls did porn, uh, had two kids with a dude, still films with other guys, comes home to her husband who like allows this whole thing to happen. No, you can find a dude. You just probably aren't going to like him very much. There are so many mm -hmm. what are called... Uh, not superfluous, what's the word? Um, surplus men, that's what uh, Dr. Richard Reeves calls them. There's so many surplus men out there because they aren't taking the time to garner the abundance in their life. And once they have that abundance, then they can set the boundaries that they want. And when they have those boundaries, then they will, if someone cheated on them, they would say, okay, uh, you cheated, whatever, I'm gonna move on to someone else. I'm not gonna go back to this because I understand what my boundaries are, that right? Part. They're not gonna take a job that's gonna abuse them. They're not gonna be with a woman who doesn't treat them the way that they wanna be treated. But that's what a high status man would do. A low status man is not going to do that. A low status man is going to chase. He's going to do everything he can. He doesn't have the ability to cheat. Um, Priya, so you have Ronnie C and Sticky Side Down now. So there's like a, I think there's going to be a bidding war when it comes to your I two suitors. Credit card on Nala. Uh, so he wanted me to tell you about that time that I saved him. I, oh, he, excuse me. He saved me from various wild animals so yes um sticky side down did there's there's various stories he saved me from a bear a tiger and a monkey no it's a hybrid at the same it's time one, oh one excuse one. me okay. it was a hybrid somehow it's a chimera a, a, oh chimera good word it was in pasadena for some reason i don't know what was going on some weird shit's going Listen, on in pasadena. they can all have a baby how but, do you not believe uh, it? in natural yo, sticky selection side down, thank you very much okay so uh i'm trying to recall where we were uh, I, I just want to make sure we address all of these chats that came through. So the previous one was from Mr. Average Joe, and he says, can you ask the guests what they believe a man and a woman should bring into a relationship, and ideally if the man or the woman should bring more to the table? Define bringing more to the table. Yeah. Believe mm -hmm. a man and a woman should bring into a relationship. Uh, we can do one of those. Yeah, so if, or the woman should. Okay, so what do you think... A man brings to the table, what do you think a woman brings to the table? Should bring to the table, um, I should say. I mean, I feel like it should, in the basis of things, it should be like the same thing, like communication, loyalty, uh, genuine love, you know, those should be both, between both people, and then like um, supportive partners, you know, like it should just be both in the same with the basis of it, um, which is, I'm not sure if they're asking for like the basis or anything, but it should sure. just be both ways. For the sake of time, I think I need to limit the question a little bit because I'm going to, I'm going to average Joe, if you don't, if you don't object, what do you bring to the table? Go ahead. I like to cook and I like to be um, somebody to be at the house. Um, I'd be very traditional in that way. Okay. And I'll, we'll come back to you. Then we'll continue going around. What do you bring to the table? Oh, um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. I uh, I think I'm not looking for a relationship right now. I'm working on myself, and so I can be able to be like, this is what I bring to the table. I'm still doing like my healing and inner work to to know what that is exactly. Uh, what I bring to well in a relationship, besides you know respect, communication, whatever, mm -hmm. I just your personality, right? Everyone's like different i think I, I like my personality and i'm fun and that's going to click with someone that's what i bring to the table that's different from in a relationship obviously you're going to meet your sure. basic needs but okay. um i'm a really good communicator so like once our problems will get solved so there will be no problems and we will be okay well, didn't you just beat the shit out of your life yes <laughs> don't start hey, there's no problem anymore <laughs> ain't got no and problem I, and i solved the problem right yeah, yeah. No problem. what is that <laughs> Okay. I'm a problem it's not solver. domestic abuse because they broke up. Solver, That's answer. all I'm saying. It's not oh domestic abuse. Goodness. They broke up. That yeah. wasn't his man. That wasn't her man anymore. That, she, that you know true. what I'm saying? It's, That's all I'm saying. It was uh, not domestic. It's yeah. abuse. It's just not domestic because uh, they're not sure. together anymore. Thank you. <laughs> problem solved. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Hey. <laughs> um, so I think the main thing is support. Like, I'm very encouraging. Um, and I just always, like, try to support the man that mm -hmm. I'm with. Support, okay, what about you? Uh, absolute equality. You bring absolute equality. Yes. We'll, we'll touch on that later, okay, mm -hmm. what about you? Uh, so the question is like, what do I bring to the table? 
to a man. So like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Stacy right now. Um, One eternity later. Go ahead. <laughs> Emotional intelligence, nurturing, like care. I'm. I'm going towards my PhD in psych, so that could be helpful in the situation. Um, my ability Wait, your to PhD is what you would bring to the table in a relationship? Well, or given that it's it? going to be in psychology, I feel like I have the capacity for conflict resolution and to back down when I know that I'm wrong or to like admit fault and like what you said, like communication yes. and mm -hmm. the do importance you, of... So wait, do you want to be a therapist? Yeah, I am Counselor? going to be. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Isn't it the case that a lot of therapists have their own like pretty severe issues yeah, absolutely. themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they usually are not particularly, at least I don't know, I've heard that therapists are not particularly great I wanted partners. to be a therapist well, and no. I didn't because I was like, I don't feel like I should be. Also children therapist. raised by therapists I've heard is. Oh, they're fucked. Raised by two therapists, <laughs> yeah. yikes. Big yikes. Imagine yeah. the problems there. Um, they're fucked. I'm kidding. That's totally yeah, I'm like, not something I've okay. heard of. I was like, that's what, actually what true. Are you um, yeah. Okay, so your PhD and you would be a good, you would know how to maneuver. I was saying I'm emotionally intelligent. I'm a good conflict resolver. I'm, okay. I have the ability to back down. I'm not that I don't know. You two almost got into a fight earlier. So <laughs> well, oh, she's not someone I'm fights. dating, so that's, you, oh, that's very different. Fights? She's not yeah. a man that I'm respecting, so have it's very you, different. Have you, in your PhD huh? studies, ever gone over I, I haven't. Um, okay. I haven't. Not I'm getting it. a side D, and I'm going to be applying for the side D okay. program soon. So I'm in the interim. I'm doing social media. Okay. But Kelly, yeah, so. what do you bring to the table? Um, I'm very caring and nurturing. I'm going to be a good mother to whoever my husband will be. Um, I'm emotionally available. I'm open to listening to his problems and helping him solve them. And yeah, I'm just overall caring. Just want to be, you know. Okay. You just got to be sweet sure. and peaceful. Mike, what do you bring to the, the table? Um, so it, it's interesting because we were talking about this before about like what the boundaries were uh, mm -hmm. for a relationship and I and I have these very clearly defined when I get into one for me the the thing that you're going to get is um, uh, you know obviously I am there to solve problems as a man I'm it, it, a lot of times it's we, we I get into a situation especially with Kylie where she wants to talk about the feelings and I'm like we have to solve the problem now so provisioning providing protecting that's what I do as a man and she has no question about that or ever worried about that at all um, the other thing is um, that I'm going to bring to a relationship is that I need to, I'm always very open with people asking questions, but this is a rule for two people in a relationship. And I generally find that women break this rule more than men. You can ask me how I feel. You cannot fucking tell me how I feel. Mm -hmm. That is a huge issue that I see where women are like, you don't like me because you looked at this. No, 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 stop. You can ask me how I feel. You cannot fucking tell me how I feel. If you do that, you understand the boundaries of the relationship, right? And you're both pulling in the same direction. That's what I need. What I need from a partner, I need peace. I need her to pull in the same direction. And I need her to understand what the boundaries are. For me, I'm in a polygynous relationship, meaning the two of us see women together. So in that in that regard, as long as we both understand the rules, then that's the most important thing that uh, that happens there. Mm, but as far as what do I br what I bring to the table, it's pretty much everything. Like, but, <laughs> you said the end of the table. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying I, I am the table. the table. But like, there is nothing that she ever has to worry about, literally has to worry worry about because uh, she's my girlfriend and okay. I tell her all the time she's like I want to go to this thing and I'm worried about getting in I'm like no you're my girlfriend you can get in anywhere you want there's no issue you're in Las really Vegas is. there's nothing you can't get get uh -huh. to or or get uh, get with I'm gonna answer the previous question if you don't mind uh, what a man should bring to the relationship is being a protector a leader and a provider the woman should be a uh, caregiver comfort and peace yeah, it's solid. exactly the same. Solid. Yeah, the, the, okay. the other thing is, do you allow him to lead in certain situations where he needs to lead? Yes. Again, are you holding his hand while you're walking through a venue, asking where are we going, where are we going, or do you trust him and know he knows where we're going? Or at the very minimum, if he doesn't, I'm not going to embarrass him in front of other people. I'm going to let him lead. Does That's that like sense? the point of like having a boyfriend. That's like the best part is like going <laughs> go. going anywhere and not having to worry about what Princess you're doing, like yes. not having to literally not even have to worry about where I'm walking because he's going to keep guy. me in check. Yeah, like like my girlfriend and I. I last night we're on stage with the chain smokers and it was like one of these situations where she didn't have to ask any questions because she knew we were going to walk in there's going to be no questions asked whatsoever we're going to be on stage we're four feet away from them and she doesn't have to ask she knows i have everything taken care of that's why she's my girlfriend that's why we're together sweet mm. um here let's pull up the can you pull up the twitch really quick let's shout out people on twitch guys go to twitch.tv slash whatever drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one twitch.tv slash whatever 
drop us a follow in a prime sub if you have one yo roger thank for the prime Calp, thank for the prime golden thank for the prime appreciate it thank for all the follows guys we'll check back in here in a little bit and i'll uh, give you guys some shout out thank you guys for all the all the viewers on twitch i don't know if any of you are still here from stay safe but matt thank you again for the raid okay we have a chat here from that guy pyros i make 80k a year drain cleaning by the way women flush feminine products down the drain and cost companies and communities millions a year stop flushing your tampons Please, men do the jobs that make women comfortable, yet they don't appreciate the men doing those <laughs> Don't flush jobs. your tampons. That's what we take from this. Should be a given. There we go. Yes. I did. was not aware of that. Now I'm I didn't aware. know that when I was younger. Thank you for that information. And I did that, that with like 80, like 80 tampons. Thank no, I guess you're right, right? Because they soak up, they soak up moisture. Okay, that right. makes sense. I understand this. Got it. Yeah, don't do that. Actually, you know, it's funny. Our landlords at, at this building, oh, recently no. people been flushing their wet wipes and tampons and shit and it clogged the, there was a major in this building an explosion <gasps> from uh, yeah like some sort of explosion because from <laughs> the wa- yeah. i don't know exactly what it's called but <laughs> yeah so like the water was off so ladies you gotta be you know just you know throw it in the trash be considerate <laughs> throw that shit in the trash son okay thank you pyros appreciate it uh we had ronnie c here he had a question for the panel this he was also asking you for first aid priya um Question for the panel, what's one thing that makes you happy? Okay. Um, uh, dancing. What's the one thing that uh, makes you happy? What's the one thing? Okay, we'll go, sure, we'll, we'll ask that. Uh, uh, real dancing and comedy. Creating. Traveling. Music. Creating. Success. Playing the piano. Food. Raising money for charity. My Aww. family and personal relationships. Okay, cool. Good times. Thank you, Ronnie. See, appreciate it. We had uh, did the Josh one here. Uh, the pr- yeah, did we did we address it? Something about the prawn. Oh, he wants a nationwide ban. Here, show of hands from from Josh here for the very generous TTS. Agree or disagree? Should there be a nationwide ban? So yes, raise your hand if you think porn should be banned. We're we talking about OnlyFans. Talking about porn. All of it. All. Of it. Only All the above. can be categorized as some people's jobs, jobs, man. I don't yeah. know. I just, Regulated, don't, I just don't know how I that think, would work. Yeah. I'm not it's sure. It's like a nice idea. The logistics, but, but like, you know, is that not that Does anybody here create adult content? I used to. You do? Anybody Anybody else? Oh, okay. Just you? you just, you're the only one here who does OF? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't that's, do like full okay. on, but. Okay. Wow, that's, normally we our panels are a little more stacked with. Uh, okay, so who cool. wants to out? It should anything. not be so accessible to children. Of course. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah well, right. how can I see an adult can do with their time? What's healthy or not? Like, well, it's very accessible to children. Any of them. Mm. There's also a lot of um, like hundreds of thousands of people are sex trafficked a year through yeah. that specific industry as well. It's not a safe industry well, regardless. I know there's an argument for OnlyFans, but OnlyFans is less regulated than um, Pornhub. We're not allowed to say that word, are we? Pornhub. Okay. Yep. Well, then wouldn't like stricter rules around prawn be better than just full wide ban? Because then you're going to have people who argue no, that's taking away freedom. No, I think it's, I think it's a freedom. net bad for society. I think it's a net hor- wrong for society. So I do not think that You want regulations and not freedom, correct? Um, well, we, you're, you're the one that wanted a communist society. I don't necessarily. I'm asking think. you the question because you're the one saying you want to ban porn. Or sure. porn, sorry. Yeah. So, but there are scientific, so there, you, there there are scientific you, studies, sorry, that show that it destroys relationships. Uh huh. There so, in your mental I mean, that's it, science. It does a lot of damage to mental health, it has a negative impact on your hormones. Um, no, I can I can fully agree with your opinions of why you'd want to, but then you're taking away pe- people's freedom. Yeah, I was saying like it's censorship. You can't just like ban. You can still make it. Well, we do you have just, censorship. It's not it's, it's not it's not taking away your yeah, freedom. You can still with make it. It's censorship. Companies. Yeah, you're like, you're making you can, it not viewable for certain people, so you're taking away people's freedom to view something. Well, yeah, I don't think it's plausible in the U.S. that yeah, there would not be at all. It, like I'm not I'm not I'm not making an I'm not making the argument how it would be regulated. Right. I'm saying that in an ideal world, I don't think that it should it exist. Good? I think it's a net bad for society. I'm mm-hmm. not saying that it's going to be banned or how to ban it. Is we social can... media a net negative yes. for, for, for society? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> Only because we don't understand the total ramifications of it and we're experiencing it on, in real time. So ban social media and ban porn, or prawn, sorry, 
y'all should come over to my communist nation. I'll, I'll do all that for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, right? That's good. The thing I don't get about communism is what, what is the incentive, like if someone just wants to, let's say you don't want to work, Mm -hmm. I'm not super well versed in, in this. If you don't want to work, are you compelled to work in yes. a communist well, society? Yes. yes, so communism or nationalism both want people to work. So there's an incentive whether through communism. Do you communism. get wages in communism? Uh, it depends. There's different like versions like, of What communism. would be the incentive of like spending all that time and hard work to become a doctor versus just like... Oh, a I'm caste just gonna... system. This is why I don't fully agree with like pure communism because okay. humans are flawed. Like They're going to want more and want to succeed. I'm privy to that i want to succeed and become more so it's just kind of more regulation in reality but what's the incentive for someone who like to go and become a doctor if there's no financial reward oh well there'd be like houses better houses you'd be in a different oh, you part of society if like, you were a doctor don't yeah. you think you'd also find more altruistic doctors rather than doctors that are looking for a wage yeah i don't think you need do altruistic doctors i think well, you need more doctors you would yeah. you would yeah you couldn't be a right, bad but doctor there, i think you like, need more someone, better doctors but as someone who is doctors. disabled and like has been in the hospital since i was a kid like i've, I've dealt with over 140 different doctors including specialists and general practitioners and like the people that change my life the most are the people that actually actively want to be there, which I think is and, what you're referring and they, to, right? And, and it's they, like if you give them the right. choice and yeah. then and you have, you give them right. a, and, and by, a livable wage right. that they'll actively choose and, to do that because they want to do that, they want to be present. But that is also achievable in under capitalism as yeah, well. That's, that's my point. I, I, by your testimony, they still exist under capitalism. Yeah. The, I mean, yeah, the, the reality right. situation is we need more people who are skilled to do these jobs and we incentivize those people to do it with money. The, uh, the idea of using altruism to get people to be a doctor would be one to three percent of doctors. No, I'm not the rest saying of that. It, yeah. The should. rest of us still need to have bone set and heart transplants, and we can't worry. Like, And a lot of the guys who do those jobs are fucking horrible, horrible people who happen to be really great heart surgeons. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't make any difference if they're altruistic or not. We need, The guy who builds the building that you live in, it doesn't make any difference if this guy's a Christian or a Muslim, a piece of shit, or beats his wife. If he he's, he's productive member of society, those are the houses we live in. Like in the end for us and for us as men we have we are we have the burden of performance all the time and so like i, well, I understand what you're saying would it be great if all doctors were altruistic i don't think yeah. it solves a that's problem too idealistic that's that's not what i'm saying yeah. what i'm oh, what? Eh, i mean whatever let's move on let's move on um let's pull up the video let's do the video let's do it oh uh, you know that's not nice. brent all right so just some brent? There's, we're reacting to a TikTok video. However, the girl took the TikTok video down. It went viral. Um, so Brett reacted to it. So we're going to watch a video from Brett where she plays the thing. And then um, Nick, can, you, can I have you swap the camera angle? So we talked about that. No, 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 no. Down, down. Hide. Yeah, that one. And then hide the other one. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you can play it. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait! Hold on, hold on. Boost the audio, please. It's not boosted. No, on the YouTube player, on the YouTube player. Yeah, boost it all the way. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm actually starting to get so scared. Like it's not even funny anymore. How am I 23 and I still have not had my first kiss? Like, like it's so horrifying. When I was like 22, 21, I was like, haha, it's kind of cute, kind of quirky. Like not really, but kind of. Like I could play it off. Now it's getting scary. Like I don't see it changing anytime soon and like I just keep getting older. Now it's gonna be so weird because I'm gonna be so old and I'm gonna have to tell somebody like, yeah, I've never done this before. Like, I'm so humiliated. I didn't even have a first kiss in like middle school when everybody has one and it's like the awkward weird relationship where you're dating them for like a day. I never even Ryan did that. Ryan Castillo donated $100. Shout out the legendary Michael Sartain. Mo Thank you, Ryan. in the house. Question for all the ladies, how important is astrology in your perspective relationship? Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Question. So, you know, I can do this real quick. Hey, ladies, yeah. you, you guys know, have you ever, you know, said, hey, I'm a Gemini and the guy's an Aries and you, you get, kind of have like a vibe about him. Has that ever happened to you? No. You guys ever had that happen? No. No. Anybody? No? Good. Because all that shit is fake. Bullshit. All of it is fucking fake. All of it. And you guys, I want to be taken seriously in the workplace, but you still believe in Gemini. <laughs> you ever meet a guy who has like a good vibe, a good energy? You guys ever had that happen before? All of that is fake. None of that shit is real. None of it is real. Humans do not. not if, 
Humans really? do not emit energy. They do not. Humans emit hey, facial what? expressions. No, scientifically, oh. they emit humans, energy. That's humans do right. not. We, we, we can go down this what? road all day if you want. Humans do not emit energy. <laughs> humans <laughs> have facial right. expressions. Right. Humans, humans have facial expressions. If you want to say How do you define energy? energy? Oh my God. You have, energy is, energy is a, a form of... Uh, I can feel your energy from right here. <laughs> it's not. Word. No, you, you, are, you are reacting to my psychology. You are not feeling my energy. No, I'm reacting to your energy yeah. and no, your there body is no, language. Your vibes, and your vibes. No, yeah, vibes. You're okay, probably guys, an Aries. Vibes aren't, <laughs> vibes aren't real. Yes, they None are. of that is real. None of it is real. What happens is you, <laughs> you, you react to someone's psychology and then you backwards rationalize and say he had a vibe or good energy that none of that shit is real. Nah. It is all a function of evolutionary psychology and uh, that is all what it is. I'm it, calling Cap. Okay, let's, let's, let's produce Astrology the evidence. Assault, okay, yes. so you've never like walked into a room and was like, I don't really like the vibes in here. Yes. You don't even know so, what it is. Okay. has nothing so, to do so with So let me ask you something. You do you, do you, you, have a, do you have ancestors, right? I would hope so. Right, That's okay. So your ancestors, <laughs> did they, they probably lived in a, a pre-modern society where they were living out as hunter-gatherers, right? You do believe in natural selection. Humans did come from, you know, deserts and forests and didn't live in society before like 11,700 years ago, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. do you think that those humans, it probably would have been beneficial to them to be like, something's wrong here, I need, they don't have the scientific method, they have no ability to detect anything, they don't have night vision goggles, they don't have firearms. It's but, animal instinct. Yeah, it's instinct, instinct that they had yeah. that, that was developed through natural selection. And the ones that were more cautious lived long and passed on that trait to their ancestors. It is a function of evolution. It is not a function. There is no vibe. There is no energy. Energy is a metaphor. It's all vibes. It, Wait, humans, <laughs> humans do have what, energy. What, what energy do, energy do they emit? Explain. Explain. <laughs> Like ener energy is in everything. Like, no, no, no. Like you're, 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 you're talking about neurochemical responses. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What I'm but saying. there's no connection between you and me. You are responding to the light that is reflecting off of these lights here, and you are responding via your psychology. There is no energy but transfer between human beings. None. Unless so you are. Do you believe in spirits? Do you believe in like? Uh, that, that's, a that's a completely different thing. That's energy, yeah, that's though. But, no. But, but, but no, no. Again, yeah. the spirit thing is something you can believe in with faith, but not with evidence. And as far as evidence is concerned, there is no energy transfer between humans period i don't care what joe dispenza told you none of that shit is true none of it if you guys want to debate me on this we can but the the science will bury you there is no energy there are no vibes none of this shit is real now mm. if you want to if you want to say it like a metaphor sure you can say he had bad energy that's a, a that's a metaphor that's fine to say it as a metaphor energy is the capability to do work the things that you get <laughs> between me do not grant you Ronnie or take decrease energy from me. thank you ronnie appreciate ronnie it ronnie here in five feet 11 inches oh. I'm a prof baller slash entrepreneur. <laughs> she, she's not bro. She's not here. Quality, I'll pull it back up. Pro equestrian. Tell me on the date. F R my distracting T T S. I would like to apologize to absolutely nobody. God bless all. P S star sign. I like Hold Ronnie. On. Priya should take him up on this. Ronnie, uh, Priya, you have a date. Oh We've decided it, that it, you have it, a date it. coming up. So wait, wait, wait. Can we can we get back to this energy thing? Because yeah, one sec, oh, one sec, one sec. Hold on. I'd like to take this chance to apologize. To absolutely nobody. <laughs> uh, okay, so hold on, just a couple things here. So we had, uh, let's see. Okay, we had that come in. Ronnie C, thank you very much. Appreciate it. What we should have done before uh, Mike Sartain was cooking there, uh, we should have asked the girls if you before, right. before <laughs> if you believe right. in astrology, um, because now you guys may have just been backed the fuck off or whatever the term is. <laughs> Back mm. the fuck down. Uh, show of hands, who here believes in astrology and Jupiter rising, whatever the fuck? Not Jupiter. I think the girls are gonna be. They're gonna be very timid. I don't, I don't think fucking, it should like be determined, determined in your relationship. Things. Like, yeah. oh, I can't believe you're an Aries, but I do think like, yeah, the day you were born, the time you were born. <clears throat> there was an energy Beautiful. The, the, so, so, the day you were born. Such, such a great, such a great point. So what they should do, what they should do is they should run a study. And what they should do, and they have yes. run a study, in in a convenient. They took thousands of couples in the United Kingdom and they put them on speed dates. And one of the things they did is they tried to relate whether or not the date made it to a second date based on their <laughs> astrological sign. Holy. Bender the offender so, donated ninety nine dollars. Yeah, thank you, Bender. Energy definition. The strength and vitality required for sustained physical or mental activity. Cool. You don't transfer that between humans. All right. Going back to what they said. So now what happened is they went and they looked at the correlation you, between Bender. whether or not these people worked out. And what you should see is Sagittarius and Gemini don't work and Libra and whatever the fuck do work. And the correlation was zero. 
absolutely, positively zero. Absolutely. There was yeah. no correlation between whether or not your relationship worked and whether or not there was a level of attraction and what your astrological sign was. That's what zero. I, that's what I said. Astrology so they, used to be about the universal language of mapping. That's how we got around. That's how we knew um, time, dates, all of that. But now it's about dating for some reason. I don't think it's also valid because um, like the calendar, they're saying, oh, you're born this day, you were this. But they're saying that doesn't even line up because, you know, um, July and August was added to the calendar. You know, yes. basically after, you know after the fifteen, uh, the fifteen, set, the fifteen hundreds, the Julian, Julian calendar Augustus, yeah. became the Gregorian calendar. So it's yes. like, how are you oh, saying it? Let's move on. All okay, right. yeah. Fucking <laughs> Forget history lesson. It's bullshit. Okay, all right. It's okay, all, all right. Um, Priya, while you were gone, Ronnie Eck donated ninety nine dollars. Ronnie here him five feet eleven inches. Him a prof baller slash entrepreneur. Don't simp, but Priya is quality. <laughs> Priya, you a pro equestrian? Tell me on the date. F am I distracting TTS? I would like to apologize to absolutely nobody. God bless all. P.S. Star signs don't matter. Lol. There you have it. Okay, so he's five eleven. Uh, Ronnie is Ronnie sounding a little more appealing, or what? What's the situation? And a pro player, or whatever. He was, never, he was never unfeeling. I don't entrance. know him. Though. It's very persistent. Fly him I in. Fly him in. <laughs> <laughs> Fly him in. Get all on right. the show. Content. That's all I'll contemplate saying. it. Just make content. That's all that matters. So, as long as you film it. Going back to uh, <laughs> the video that we were reacting to, basically, I'll just recap it. 23 um, year old woman claims to have never even had a first kiss. Mm. I think she also claimed that she's never even been on a first date, too. So, um, thoughts on that? I need a backstory. Uh, is she the problem? Yeah. Or is this not the cat? No, I, well, I imagine what she was saying before is like they're going to say, hey, it's a good thing that you made it to 23. So, like, ladies, one more time. Like, the issue is if she made it to 23 and never had sex with anyone, Great. it doesn't, it doesn't like count against her. I, I just, it There's, just doesn't. If anything, I think it's a positive. There's a 37 yeah, culture study by, Don, by Dr. David Buss, and they go over how each of these 37 different cultures view virginity. And the one that viewed virginity the most strongest was men in China at the time, although those restrictions have loosened up. And the the ones who cared about the least were the the men in Norway. In fact, women in Norway, if they saw a man who was a virgin past a certain age, they thought it was extremely strange. So virginity was looked at very different in different countries. The idea that this woman is 23 and has never been with a dude, in her mind, she's like, I don't have experience, so I'm a weirdo. And that's not how it works. For men, we need experience to be better with women. For women, you do not need experience with men to be more attractive to men. I'll say yeah, it one more time. Just you lay on do your back, not ladies. need more experience with men to be attractive. Lay on your back, back. but you Lay need more experience to keep a man. Lay you on need your to, back. You no, need to like understand how to keep a man. What do you mean, I, 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 this grown so. age, I'm not teaching you how to buck. I'll have, I, I'll have to say something. I have a friend, a personal friend, who also didn't have a first kiss until she was about 24. Chef Rob donated $100. Oh. Hey all, good talk. Mike, thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. Fellow USA F There you go, cross into the blue. Question for the group, back to the prawn discussion. What if free prawn was banned? You'd have to pay and be taxed, like tobacco slash alcohol. <laughs> Brian, keep up the great show. Yeah, see that. If you. that's a compromise, you, then Rob. great. That's only fans. Yeah, He's not big account better. That's yeah. only fans. That's only fans. Hmm. I don't know what's better. Because when it's, it's consensual. It's like paywalled 100% versus... I'm not necessarily saying anything against the fact that there's two consenting adults inter like interacting in a sexual manner. That's up to them. They have the right to do that. I'm saying that I think that it's a net bad for the reason that people are creating parasocial relationships with somebody that does not exist. And that is also harming their dating life. It's harming their, mm -hmm. um, their mental health, their ability to interact with individuals, especially in a romantic sense and it affects their hormones. You can the argue that, that with you, celebrities too. People make social media. Yeah, there's, there's people I'm not movies. saying that there isn't an argument for that. There absolutely is an argument. Well, we can't ban everything, right? Parasocial relationships are something we're gonna have to like evolve to there's understand. There's studies and behind parasocial relationships that it can lead to people like becoming more social. While yes, mm -hmm. I agree that unhealthy parasocial relationships exist, it can help people become more social. There's like entire people. Yeah, I, I think what you're talking about are people that deal with some sort of like social disorder, anxiety, maybe yeah. maybe on the autistic mm -hmm. spectrum. Yeah. Um, and, they, and they have no, and they get married to someone on World of Warcraft or yeah. something like that. I think you're dealing with outside, like two standard deviations mm -hmm. outside the yeah. norm with something like that. And I want to like say, I completely agree that there definitely is like unhealthy versions of prawn. Like I do not like 
prawn hub at all like i think that there's a lot of problems behind mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. but i'm completely on board with like stuff like only fans and like yeah. a prawn that requires like more art like hentai and stuff so because it's not affecting anybody personally like mm-hmm. as trafficking and stuff and it's not as easily accessible to children to just like open up their phones and see the most like vile mm-hmm. disgusting things so for I, their brain yeah so i mean for the only fans thing yeah mm-hmm. i i understand the argument in terms of creators being their own managers Mm -hmm. and being able to benefit in that sense and be um, their own boss in a way. Mm -hmm. I can understand the argument for that in the sense of OnlyFans compared Mm -hmm. to um, other options. But like I said earlier, there's less censorship around OnlyFans because it it is not a pornography website. Mm -hmm. It should be. At this point, it should be. It was not Mm -hmm. created for that purpose, but there's no regulation around it. Therefore, people can post Mm -hmm. whatever they want, basically. But because there are no regulations, there's no, like, proper age verification. There are lots of... No, I I think there's there's a lot of issues with OnlyFans. On what? OnlyFans. There is improper age verification on OnlyFans? Yes, there. You're not required to submit your ID. I'm and not a saying of you can fake an ID. Like yeah, I was yeah. gonna say there. Well, there have been many stories. Of but people. the average OnlyFans user is like 29 years old, anyways. So. But I do think that the popularity of OnlyFans, like I'm for OnlyFans, but I'm also it does need to be regulated because joining OnlyFans very early on, like at age 18, is very unhealthy for mm. a woman. Absolutely. Well, there are many people that have joined under. But there, it does come from somebody, that. Yeah. Somebody else's ID. There's, there's a lot, mm-hmm. like, but a it's lot more of right, but we to can't. watch it when you're young rather than to be a part of it when people you're older. People are going to have facts. urges that, like, but what's the solution? You can't just ban it all well, together, right? So you do the best that you can, and, and if there are people that get by through that, then there are people that get by through that. That's the nature of society and human flaw. Like, I well, don't understand. Did you guys see Utah now? Like, you have to, I think you have to upload, like, if you want any plus 18 site, you have to, like, upload your ID and, like, your full name. That's the same thing for, like, only Yeah, We're no, talking about like, two different things. She is talking about a creator. You're talking about using. She's saying as a creator no, for No, no, no. I'm saying, like, yeah. in Utah, if yeah. you're a random oh, Joe Schmo and you go on Cornhub.com, before you oh, can wow. enter, you need to give your information. Oh, sorry. You need that's to give your idea. information. That's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Shout out to Utah. I find it's Ooh. a little intrusive. Why? Wow. Everyone, everyone. That's a great idea. If you want to engage in plus 18 websites, then you should have yeah. to verify Yeah, if you want to buy alcohol, you can show your screen. Right, right. Josh donated Thank you, Josh. $99. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. America, look yourselves in the mirror and ask yourself, would I give up my right to view pornography to destroy the extreme negatives from the industry and Thank restore you. the dating marketplace for all ages and the traditional family? Politics have blinded you. Honestly, though, I, thank you, Josh, for your TTS. Honestly, like, prawn ain't the best. But I think social media and dating apps have had a much more Agreed. negative, yeah. negative impact, impact yes. than because prawn prawn's been around since fucking be, a long time. Long like time. there was Playboy, there was magazines and shit. Z-wise. Obviously now it's much more accessible. However, I think the rapid transformation of uh, you know the dating marketplace I think is more due to social media and dating apps. So I agree with that because sex work has been around since the yeah. beginning of time so, so just because should we legalize been around for the beginning of time doesn't make another, it a net good place. so then would you say that the same would you say the same about being traditional right because like if you're traditional and you want to with like withhold that and you would agree that keeping that from like you're that doesn't apply to, to that logic doesn't apply to everything in life if that if that logic applied to everything then everything would be a net bad that's not true can you I would 100 percent t- um, ban porn 100% because I started having a porn addiction at the age of 7 years old and I'm yes. looking back but not everyone's going to have not that everybody's problem. going to but I'm going to tell you right now how that affected my life my relationships I wanted to recreate them scenes instead of being a part of a normal relationship mm. I definitely so yeah. and like that none of the dating apps social media wanted made me want to do that here's like, here's the thing so what porn has done, Dr. Andrew Huberman does a really great, uh, he, uh, he has some very great speeches on this. You guys can look it up. He went on Joe Rogan and had a very uh, eloquent description. He talks about it sets your dopamine levels super high and then they're sort of set there and you can't reset them. So meaning like everything has to compare to the threesome porn experience that you had on Pornhub, whatever, right? Okay, now the thing is where, now we have men looking at unrealistic things. Women on the, at the same time are now able to message their favorite rapper and have one-off sexual experiences with celebrities and really good-looking men that they find that they would not have had access to 
before social media. So as men have this unrealistic expectation from what they see from adult performers, women now also have an unrealistic expectation because they can have sex with a high status man but cannot keep one. And now where it gets even worse is now they start comparing every sexual experience or every relationship they had to that one time they fucked Blake Griffin. That's mm. that's becomes this <laughs> situation. Just because Blake sense? Griffin, is that, who is that? He, 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 he was a... Country singer. Just no, Blake Griffin. Oh, <laughs> Blake Griffin was the power forward for he was the power forward for the, the Clippers, and he was date and he uh, was with Kylie Jenner. Just, yeah. just because someone has high status though doesn't necessarily mean they're good in bed. No, no, it doesn't mm, matter. My, my point is, my point is, she had access. Like again, okay. but when when you when you think about uh, you know your baseball player, one day you hit four home runs, you start comparing your rest of the career to that one great day that you had. Yeah. It's the same situation, or or you had you have you hit uh, three ace pairs in a row, and you just take everybody's money playing poker. You keep comparing yourself to that one great thing that you did. In this situation, every woman who had a one night stand with Drake or someone like that, she's kind of in her mind ruined. Wind for a normal dude in a normal relationship from that point forward. And I have I hear this all the time, all the time, especially from women who live in Los Angeles. They're like, I dated so and so. And I'm like, no, you didn't. I know him and his wife. He <laughs> fucked you for sure, maybe twice. You never did dated him. If I look up pictures of you and him on a red carpet somewhere, there are none. There's <laughs> pictures of him and his wife. You never dated him. And the fact that she even has the the mental, the, the, the thought, the imagination that she dated him. Now think about that. In her mind, now that's what she compares every relationship to. Mm -hmm. So she ends up dating a fucking shortstop for the Dodgers or ends up sleeping with him like two or three times. In her mind, she dated him and now every single person she goes up, she dates from that point forward, Doesn't has compare. to it has to make the $20 million a year guaranteed contract, has to be this tall, and in her mind, that's who she wants. And when things are dissatisfying in the relationship and the shortstop texts her in the middle of the night, she is just far more likely to go back to him. Does everybody understand? That is how social media has fucked up dating. Yep. That's how it is. You make a good point because it's not just about um, looking and watching, it's about comparing where I think people are unable to separate that part of their brain that contrasts, whether it's social media, porn, whatever. Well, sure, yeah, because your, your brain's not, your brain is not evolved. The same thing can happen with like, if you watch a TV show long enough, or the same thing happens with my podcast. People come up to me all the time, I'm sure it happens to Brian all the time. People come up to us and start telling us their life story like we know them, but we don't know them. They watch us for hours every week. They know our whole story, but then they're talking to us like we, we don't know them because their brain is not evolved to witness some other human every day, six days a week, and then not think that they actually don't know them because your brain cannot tell the difference between the two dimensional objects on the screen and then the, the other tribe members that you lived with 50,000 years ago, your ancestors lived with, you're just, you're not evolved to know the difference. So of course, yeah, I agree with that. So for women, it's like the, there is an unrealistic belief that because I slept with this country singer, this famous country singer, that that is what I deserve every time. And for men, because I witnessed this sexual act on this adult website, that this is what sex is supposed to be for me. Now we have both genders seeing unrealistic Illusion. expectations, which, Illusion. and this oh, yes. is what's ruining dating. Wait, I have a question. I know you don't know the fact, but what percentage of porn watchers do you think have a healthy relationship with it? Probably really small. Do you think majority? No, I, 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 to be to, to, to be to be honest with you, uh, here's what I think. It depends on how much they watch, and there's so many people that watch adult content that I'm sure some of them do have healthy relationships. Yeah, but just, in, in general, like there's a lot of people who don't watch adult content who don't have healthy relationships. We have a 53% divorce rate in this country, and 78% of divorces are initiated by women. So like I, I don't think like I don't think anyone's no one's winning right now. Okay, the only people who are winning are like puritanical Christians who get married as virgins. Like they're the only people. <laughs> Shout out to Ruslan. I know he's going to clip this. Like, they're the only people who are like actually doing well. The rest of us are just like slightly better than chance. That's what that's what's happening. All right, we have a chat here from uh, Doc. Hey, thank you, man. In Cuba, doctors are sent to other countries as slave labor, and the communist Castro regime gets the money from the likes of Venezuela and Mexico. The people in Cuba have no medical care. Only the government elite and medical tourists get proper care. Hey, Doc, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm not super familiar with the. Oh, I have an Cuba. anecdote for this. Um, I know a guy, my mom's ex-boyfriend, he's like 50. He went to Cuba all the time. He's Canadian, so he can go. He met a woman there, Cuban woman. She's a doctor from Cuba. And you can imagine where this is going. They got married. She came over to Canada. One day he woke up and there was a letter on his bed saying, thank you so much, you know, for bringing me over to Canada, but I'm leaving you. 
That's nice. Well, then what he should have done is filed for divorce, and then all of a sudden she doesn't have a citizenship anymore. (laughs) Then all of a sudden, hey, thanks so much for leaving me. Now you're a refugee. How about that? (laughs) But even uh, even doctors in Cuba, you know, we were talking about like doctors and communists and stuff like that. She was no one, no no one would prefer to be in Cuba. No rational person would prefer prefer to be in Cuba. I'm sorry. You can say whatever you want and watch. Send any, show me any documentary about how their healthcare is better. It is not better there. Sorry. So just, I'm gonna try. We're time permitting, a lot of you submitted some uh, pre-show notes that I'm gonna try to hit on, and then we, we will get some super chats in. So just finishing up with you, you said that a guy can't handle a girl showing off her body, that's insecure, like the recent Jonah Hill text messages. Um, so did you think that Jonah Hill's boundaries that he s- attempted to set on his then girlfriend, do you think that was controlling? Do you think that was, what, do you, yeah. what did you think that I- was? Trust me, I get your point, right? Everyone can be like, I'm not comfortable with Mm -hmm. my girlfriend posting bikini pics, whether you're surfing or not. But I think it should have been discussed beforehand to kind of retroactively make her take things down and kind of put her in this situation where it's, now we're in a relationship. Yeah, so it was. If you read the text messages, I will not, I will not allow for this continued disrespect. It was, it was discussed um, before. um, I don't understand why men bag a really bad bitch and then just expect her to stop being this bad bitch that yeah, she, she can She can do whatever she wants, but then he also has the choice to not marry her because we, like Ex- we said, exactly. but, but, we, but we said before that there are, how many are there, how many Jonah Hills are there? Jonah Hill's probably gonna die with half a billion dollars in his bank account at some point. There, how many Jonah Hills are there versus how many of these Sarah Bradley surfers are there? And that the thing is from her standpoint, now, what proves that I'm correct are the, I don't know if you guys saw the breakup text messages where he was like, uh, you know, I just want to let you know I'm seeing someone else. And she's like, nice job. It's only been six months and you're already with someone else. And then that. he has a baby with someone else and she has the audacity to then release all these text messages, making him apparently uh, controlling. But they're they're broken up. Why it's why wait? Yeah, no, why why wait? She why wait it. until I have my baby with someone else? Delusion. She seems to be happy with me. And the woman I have my baby with, you know what else? She actually liked the boundaries that I had. She Some woman had the audacity to say to me the other day, "It's like I hope you have a daughter." Oh, and uh, or like I hope your your daughter ends up with a man like this. A man like this who makes hundreds of millions of dollars and asks my daughter to not go around dressing like a slut. Oh my God! I hope I never have a man like that in my life. I would be so fucking happy if I. A dude like that? Are you kidding? Yeah, but Mike, now, can we agree that some women though are okay having those boundaries? Sure. And like, it's not. Sure. I don't yeah. think it's a right or wrong. That's it's your it, with the wrong person. Yeah, that's why right. you're so, your so, so he gave her several chances to understand. If you want to keep riding the Jonah Hill train, you have to do this. And he <laughs> yeah. can't, and by the way, an ultimatum is like when you're when you don't want to back it up. Those weren't threats. He broke up with her. He do, he said these are the things. He goes, if these are the things that make you happy, I support it. What a piece of shit. He goes, I support it. And then he goes, but this is not something that will work for me. He was so, That's so fair. cool. Yeah, he was so fair. cool about fair. this. No, because agree. at the end of the day, agree. also, I feel like he's definitely supporting her fucking life. So at the end of the day, she should be able to. If he is her own professional, real quick. By those standards, every single traditional Muslim man is controlling. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So are you saying that that's. Every Wrong. single traditional Muslim man who asks his who asks those things of his wife, every one of them is an abusive controller. If that's what you're saying, so, every without exception, every single Muslim man is like that. And I'm a, I'm a Protestant saying this. I think it depends if the woman is okay with it or not. If she's okay the, with it, then we, I don't. Then, think then we it's... agree. Then we then we agree. And so she wasn't. She didn't change her behavior. They broke up, and she wasn't okay with it after he moved on. Salty. So she posted. Private text messages between him and her. Yeah, she is five hundred percent wrong. Like she was wrong. Mad no, there's two other question. problems. There's two other problems. Number one, calling that abuse mm-hmm. is so belittling to women who actually suffer from abuse. That's yeah, the, se- right. the second problem. And here's the third problem: these nonsensical fucking videos of therapists saying this. He's using controlling language, and it's really he's trying to say these are boundaries, but really this is abuse. Now you fucking ruined well, therapy. Because, well, You've ruined I don't therapy. Agree. I don't well, that's agree. that's just because that's. Because psychologists like can re- read between the lines, and boundaries is something that you set for yourself, not for another person. No, no. If you, if I, if I ask you in my relationship boundaries. to not sleep with other men, that is a boundary I set for you, and is a healthy boundary yeah, right. that I get to You're set. You're setting a boundary for somebody else, not for yourself. That's not what a boundary is. Just donating. Hey, swordless. Good to see you, man. Sorry for the interruption. Go back to your point. 
Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you, Swordless. Yo, S- Swordless, thank you, man. And by the way, thank you for the uh, you gifted 10 memberships, though. So thank you so much. Good to see you in the chat, man. Normally we see you on Twitch, but thank you for coming over to uh, YouTube, man. Appreciate it. Um, okay, let us uh, let me see here where we were. So we touched on the Joan Hale shit. Um, Got me whatever. heated. Okay. Do you mind if I make one <laughs> quick point? Kind of go ahead, then I'll, then I'll so I think, go to I my next. I can't remember if it was, it was one of you two that m- mentioned it in terms of, and I agree that this is a conversation that should, I don't, I'm not versed on their uh, relationship timeline. I agree that it's a conversation that absolutely needs to happen in the beginning of a relationship, but would you not agree that there are certain activities that you engage in when you are single that you would not engage in when you are not single and you are in a relationship? Absolutely, yes. but you, he's still married, this girl, right? No, 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 no. They, they only dated. Okay, hey, hey, okay. By the way, okay, before, before we go on, I'm dating a world champion bikini model, and I don't care if she posts b- pictures in bikini. Yeah. Because that's her. my standard that I told her before we got into a relationship. And if she didn't uh, stay up to my standard, then I would say, hey, if these are the things that make you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna if we have a breakup, I'm gonna write exactly what Jonah Hill did. Exactly. If these are the things that make you happy, I support it. But it's not right for me. You said she and does the extrapolation. Bikini. I mean, my girlfriend does. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't if you would pursue ask, a bikini model and like, tell her not to wear a bikini. Do it and she would do it. Two That's seconds. She brought, she brought it up that she would take it down without me even asking. Right. Can I, I don't like the way question? he's. Spo- sorry. Um, like, what are we extrapolating from this? Like, what's the point? Because I feel like a lot of people that watch like the Jonah Hill situation mm-hmm. unfold, like genuinely, genuinely were like. <laughs> saw like that he was in the right. Like I yeah, feel like okay. a lot Honestly, of people. Honestly, I would really like here's, to go to the next subject here, no, here, just so we can here, all talk. Well, here, here's about the point. It. Well, hold on. Here's you know? the point. If you I, look, I, I, I do want to say something. I would. A lot of people have not had an opportunity yeah, to, speak. to speak. I would like to make an attempt to try to. You know, give a little space so that some other people, you know, can see. He's the common man. You see this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. Did Did you have a question or? I was, I asked him a question. Yeah. Um, but, okay. Uh, yeah, my, my only issue was th- it, it was therapy. That was the okay. thing. Is that therapists yeah, are now uh, therapists what, are now making TikToks bashing Jonah Hill, and now other therapists are watching weird. this nonsense, thinking that they have to act the same way. That's weird. It's a, it's a, it's like a a different understanding of what boundaries mean. Like it's like you can like whether or not you can set the boundary for yourself. Tell you what, I'll set you guys else. up to have like a podcast. Yeah, you've, been, sure. you, you've been asking him a lot of questions, which I think is great. I like that you're coming to Access Vegas. But I do want to try to <laughs> okay. loop Let's in a couple, of, a couple yes. of other people here, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so um, I had something here for Priya. Uh, you mentioned something about, uh, let's see. You can see. skip a lot. I just I provided some random talking points. I've covered a lot of them actually. Oh, I thought it's like more people asked you on dates. No, 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 no. Okay, actually, I'm gonna skip to uh, I'm gonna skip over to you. So, you wanted to touch on. Let's see, what was a good one? What to bring to the table as a woman? We talked about that. Okay. You said don't do wifey things for your boyfriend. What do you mean? So oh, I had this conversation um, with my friend a couple nights ago. And he was like, how do you feel about the whole um, girls being like, I'm not going to do wifey things for my boyfriend. And I was like, um, I guess that's understandable. Like, you know, I don't want to be a, a wife too soon because then it's like, what do you have to marry me for? Right. But then we touched on um, they're like, OK, well, I've never dated a girl and be like, hmm, she doesn't do these things. Let me marry her to see if she does these <laughs> yeah, things exactly. after I marry her. So yeah, I just wanted to know uh, everyone's opinion on that about like being a wife to a boyfriend. Why wouldn't you want to be a wife to your boyfriend? Like how early I in the relationship are we talking? How early? Uh, how, man. Okay, Period. exactly. Like how early in the relationship? Like are you immediately? Yes, <laughs> immediately before the, you the, like, the title before you even. Well, what what are some wifey things that right. you would that I you consider like, wifey? Um, Actions. I guess it would depend. I say this depends on the person you're dating because every man needs to be catered to differently. Like, you know, um, you know, if they're an athlete, you know, you want to be there for them. Massage therapist, cook them a good protein, healthy meal, you know, like things that they basically take stress out of their life. Everybody got a different love language. Exactly. So like, exactly. What, what so. kind of person are you? Or, you know, some people are don't like touch. 
that much. That's why so I said it depends like, on the man you date. Disrespecting them, coming around, like always trying to put your hands on them. But yeah, so some don't date like, somebody do like do that. that. Yeah, right. Yeah, because like I, I would have to date somebody that knows that my love language is also providing. Well, so you know, so why would I date someone that doesn't accept my love language? That's kind of counterproductive. Yeah, that's true. Well, uh, when you're dating, I feel like dating should be for marriage. Um, if you're boyfriend and girlfriend with somebody, you should be able to see a future with that person. So why wouldn't you want to treat them in the best way possible? Mm-hmm. Why Absolutely. wouldn't you want to treat him like a like your husband? If you plan on marrying this person, if you plan on being with them for the rest of your life, it makes no sense to not want to do things for this person just because it's not your husband, it's your boyfriend. You want to prove to them that you are capable of right. being a good wife and a good caretaker to them and your future children if that's yeah. what you desire. I mm-hmm. will also say that social media probably ruined a lot of this because it's like the top women in the world get cheated on. You can do all this quote unquote wifey shit and still get cheated on, still get yeah. left. It so it, like, it ruins your perspective on like, oh, maybe I'm doing too much. And it's like, oh, she's going to stay here. She's already mm-hmm. done all this wifey stuff. I got her locked in. I could do whatever. I shout feel like shout. men then, <laughs> take advantage sometimes. Yeah, if they're not the absolutely. right guy, like if it's the right person, then you know it will work out. But a lot of men will lie and cheat and manipulate. And oh, then She's you'll so understanding. She'll understand why I cheated. Like, you know, like, so it's- And like, you'll do all- It makes you take a yeah, step back. Right, like, ooh, maybe I should take this a little slower. Maybe I shouldn't give- all my qualities so soon in a relationship. I feel like if it's someone I want to pursue and I want this man to be my man, then I would. I feel like it would almost be natural for me mm-hmm. to start putting in a wife role, even in the dating scene, because like I want to do that for you. Like you're my man. Like I, you know, I'm gonna for give real. you a massage. I want to touch you. You know, I want to cook for you. I want to do that stuff because my feminine energy, what I do for him, makes him feel more like a man. It makes him act like that towards me back in the nurturing and caring aspects and it's just like that feeling you know it's so beautiful like the, I mean I'm looking for that right now as well so because you know it's the same thing like you know like like what you're saying I totally agree like I don't I'm not the reason why I'm not in a relationship is because it's so serious to me it's so serious dating to me that I'm not gonna date you unless I see you being my husband yeah you, you haven't found I mean? someone that I want why would yeah. you want to do that for somebody who but if you were in a relationship with that person you were going to care I'm going to do the most exactly I'm going to yeah. do the most and I'm going to do above and beyond what I can I do because I want to prove to myself mm-hmm. that I can to be a wife you know what I mean yeah. absolutely and dating nowadays seems like a competition of who cares less and that is completely yeah. backwards yes. I agree I agree yeah. it's like have a whole game that that movie? I have not and okay. I probably will not I will not be <laughs> okay. seeing that movie well, no, have you Rolo, seen Rolo, it? Rolo, no, Rolo and I are going to do a review on it he no, just saw it no can you guys please I really I really need to like what movie are we talking about the Barbie movie oh like she's a she's like really mean to Ken and like that's like one part about it where I was just like how are you supposed to like show women empowerment when you're just belittling? That's how you show women empowerment. Yeah. That's what women empowerment is. Emas- yeah, emasculating Ken and being mean to mm-hmm. Ken is, is how women is, is Go how girl. you show women empowerment. Go girl. Yes, and then, and then girls will literally be like, "Oh, well, good for you. Oh, she should. You don't she need a man. Yeah, yeah. She'll li- a, a woman you will literally don't. say, "Oh, good for Barbie. She doesn't need him. She sh- she is her own person, and she will always be her own person, and she will never need Ken. And she that's how they make at it." At the end of the film, asked him to go find him. Well, so, well, oh, yes. I know. Well, the movie. Yeah, I haven't some of us seen haven't seen it, guys. I but I'm gonna take this into consideration when I do go see it because I was curious. I'm bootlegging it tonight. I'm very curious to see if it's promoting that because this is like number one movie. This is like right next to Little Mermaid. Well, I just want you to know if you are going to go see it, don't go into it thinking it's going to be like, ah, fluffy Barbie, like princessy. Yeah, that's not allowed. The other thing is like like, like the the idea. It is not like that at all. What what you're describing is a 1985 Barbie where Barbie kind of looks like a Playboy model. That wouldn't be allowed. Those movies don't get funded. That doesn't ever happen. I knew what the Barbie movie was before they put it out. Like it's obvious that that's the only thing. And there is no, there agenda. is no alter- alternative narrative. There is no narrative where Barbie is like, I like having fun. I don't want to work, and Ken pays for my life. There is Isn't no that the original Barbie. There, there, of course, but there is no narrative where Barbie can do that. I love Ken and will do anything for him. Get the fuck away from my man. There is no Barbie movie like that. That cannot be made. Mm. If you thought Wouldn't there was that be any like every possibility, every Barbie movie ever. Though? Correct, but before, but in 1985, yes, but it can't, it can't happen now. Yeah, the but uh, yeah, I mean, all I know about the Barbie movies, they drop. Apparently, they say the patriarch. There's the patriarchy fucking ten times it's in the movie. So, so it's funny. obviously a dog it's shit so fucking funny. movie. It was a good like, movie, but um, it was just like the way that everything movie. was portrayed. The dog way shit that movie. Don't go, don't go see that shit. Go see Oppenheimer yeah. instead. Uh, the yeah. other, yes, the I other thing. 
The other thing that you wanted to uh, touch on is hooking up on the first date, is it wrong or is it right? So mm. we'll go around the table on this. How quickly, you know, do you have a, th a th three date rule? <laughs> what, oh. How long do you yeah. think you should wait before hooking up, having sex with a guy? Let's we'll start I, with you. Go ahead. I personally am a, I think it's demisexual person, is it? Like, I have to have a connection what? with you. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> there's like, there's so many, like, you know, fucking like an sexual. Yeah, yeah. Connection. Bro, like, I honestly, like, I could do the deed first night, but I will not give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? Like, I would rather get to know you as a person. Like, and that sucks. You know, it'd be like, shout, you know, shout, out, like, to, shout out to Zerka. Yeah. Shout out to Zerka. <laughs> I would rather get to know someone. I'm definitely someone's like, I'd rather get to know you and then commit into something once it's like we have a connection, you know, because it makes that act so much more in, like worth it when you know who, who this person is and you guys connect. I'm not going to judge anyone if they do do hook up on the first night. Like, I'm not someone that's going to judge someone if they do. All right. If they don't, it's not my preference, you know. But, you know, do you? The, the last guy that you hooked up with, how long did you wait? Uh, <laughs> I think we know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. I think we have an answer. Well, what's the answer? Um, it just, the last person, I knew them for, like, uh, not too long. But, yeah. Just, yeah. Just right away, pretty much, or? course no no like there's times where it does happen you know it's not all the time you sure. know but but the last time but the last time it was uh, i thought you were demi demisexual uh, though i, I see thought a you were, clip i see i mean sometimes clips. you just it's it's crazy because sometimes you just get bored and it's like oh that well there's something to do but you know i'm not gonna say oh, sure. like you okay. know. what about you yeah, what do you think tough. The momentum is very attractive so Moment. it's like people that i will have that energy with it will just be there from the get-go but the more you can build up momentum so that's really attractive sweet oh um <laughs> wait so just add, i want to add one <laughs> one point to this question going back to you yeah. what's in addition to how long do you think you ought to or should wait what's the fastest that you've ever hooked up with a mm. guy so 10 seconds, 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 oh. seconds. For, <laughs> Did it take only 10 seconds? You know, <laughs> it last only 10 A minute, an hour, <laughs> three mean, hours. So. I mean, I've definitely, like, I've had one night stands before, whatever. Um, what, like, what is the quickest, po so basically, first meeting to pee in the V? It's not like instant. It's not like we're in the bar, let's go to the bathroom, and do yeah, some like, bathroom what, shit. No, no, it'd be like end of the three day, and a half maybe, hours. has been for me, like, beginning of the day and at the end of the day be like all right yeah that's how you should do it <laughs> you know right. like but not, never like a couple hours that for me personally that's just, just like, sure yeah. sure plead the fifth <laughs> plead the fifth uh wait so but your previous answer was you got to go with the momentum, momentum or something yeah Here, like, can you scoot your chair into the Momentum is more attractive, but I don't. Can you define momentum? For a build up, a build up. The more that you have a connection with someone, the longer you go without wait, like wasting connection away by making a move, right? Just having that connection, that being Maybe enough. Maybe anticipation. Right. Correct. Would you not argue though that anticipation and like that momentum builds the longer that you wait and. It's not like the longest you go, like, it's not the longest you go, but it's to say, mm. um, I'm not saying it's just, like be, just based off who, who I'm attracted to doesn't mean the quicker that it will be in bed. Like. So an hour? <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer fit. shit. I, I was in my college days, you know, oh, shit, that shit. Yeah, 30 minutes. minutes. For Brian. 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah. yeah, you're at a college party. We're like all in our 20s, bro. Probably Early less. 30s. Right? Like, yeah, probably less. Like, what the fuck are we actually talking about here? Like. You know, like shit, like, no, nah, sorry, not to interrupt. Yeah. So look, <laughs> oh, I have me getting into this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like her. She's funny. Yeah, you are funny. Um, so, okay, I, look, I reveal, I, I'm a fucking. You're just smiling a little a, too much. A I don't know how I feel about that, man. I'm a slut, whatever. I fucking, what, you know, in college, whatever. 30, so I did 30 minutes. So that's the bar for, for any of you guys. If you're feeling shy about revealing it, do you want to reveal or not? Right on, Kappa Sig. I was not in the fraternity. I was not in the fraternity. What? Sorry, we didn't hear. Same day. Same day, fair oh. enough. What about... Um, so, bi biologically, men lose interest, right, after 
There, there are exceptions to that, but like, you know, scientific. I, I disavow. Oh. I disavow. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I've heard. But um, yeah, if I'm interested in a guy, obviously I'll wait like a couple of dates, but I have in the past. But if you're not interested in the guy uh, right away. I mean for a, a serious relationship. I mean for a relationship worthy. If you just find someone good looking, I've been on a date before I always slept with them at the end of the date. But I knew I wouldn't have done that if I wanted a serious relationship with them. Wait, you didn't want a serious relationship with him? No, just wanted to hook up. So I'll mm, hook you up were with them on the first date. But if I wanted, oh, this guy's husband material, I'm gonna wait it out. Isn't that interesting how that works? So yeah. the guys that <laughs> you, you were like, meh, nah, not good, but I'll fuck them. I, 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 I'm, I'm just curious, has this ever happened to any of you guys? When you weren't in a relationship, you were willing to have a threesome, and then when you got into a relationship, you weren't willing to have a threesome anymore? Has this happened to any of you guys before? Well, who's I'm had a threesome? Open. Anybody? You have had? Mm. No, I'm not. <laughs> interesting, okay. Uh, so, okay, you said, same same night and then yeah. but if the guy is relationship material yeah but that's because i've been taught that like it's not taught. that like um you you're told all the time you have to wait three dates na 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 like you have to build it up this is what but, i but hear you, but, so i don't know but mac miller was very attractive so you just had sex with exactly. him immediately uh-huh. Something like that that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. we didn't even touch that one. <laughs> rest in peace right. but am i crazy that's what we're always told no no 100 no, percent. um i definitely feel like men are easy they are sluts um so if it's like if i see a guy's like you're willing to fuck me if i fuck you on the first day you're no longer attractive to me mm. oh you lose attraction for the guy oh absolutely you just let me fuck on the first day that's so crazy <laughs> Wait, so even though you engaged in said <laughs> yeah, behavior... Yeah, but that, I, look, I already knew it wasn't going any further because he was oh. already willing for it. I was like, all right, cool, let's do this then. What like, if he was like just super attracted to you? He, he oh, didn't have any qualms about sleeping so with you weird. immediately. And then he actually did want a long-term relationship. If, if the guy wanted a long-term relationship with you, but you guys did hook up quickly, for on your end, despite his desire to have a long... You do know that, right? What do you mean? He's not gonna, if he wanted to marry you <laughs> and you let him fuck on the first date, he's going to fuck you. You do know yeah. that, right? Yeah, I'm So, so you yeah. just ruined an opportunity for some dude <laughs> but, who may want to be in a relationship with you. But I didn't want to be in a relationship with him. Why is okay, it about but let's him? Say you, but let's say there was a chance that you did. If you did I did, I wouldn't like, have fucked him. Okay, right, I'm but so but, you, but, but the thing too. is, it's not his too. fault if he tries to have sex with you on the first day. He fucked me. Here's the other thing. There's like all think about the all the guys out there that are like, she made me wait, but there were all these other yeah. dudes that she didn't oh, want to yeah. be in a relationship. No, so 100%. he uh, just let them hit. Like he, they just I, got to hit. I don't like, think you should do it yeah. often. Like I definitely feel like, <laughs> like I don't think you should do it often. I don't think you should just go out and be like, mm, not wait for material. Let me just fuck you. Like it's that's kind of slutty. But it's like I feel like if you catch a vibe and it's like, damn. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, it's not giving relationship, but it's giving, we can have a cool night, like all about the vibes. I'm curious, has that ever happened because the guy is either like really good looking or really high status and you just don't think you can get him to settle down and that's why? Mm-mm, never. No. I just like, I get the ick really fast. Okay. Like you wear the wrong jeans on the date and it's just like, uh, really? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I just like, I have, I really get the, I get the turn off so no. fast. If you tell me all water tastes the same. I don't even want to think about um, being in a relationship with you. Tastes the same? Water? Exactly. Um, like well, one guy, he was like, taste- what's the difference? Can you give me a Fiji water? He was like, what's the difference? They all taste the same. Never saw that man again. Wait, you never saw him again, but did you have sex? No, I didn't. He wasn't even worth sex. Like now, I'm just. He wasn't even worth sex. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Just to be clear, he said he drank Fiji water, and that was the. No, no, no. I asked him to get me a Fiji water. He was like, "Probably go get a Wawa." He's like, "Fiji." Wait, you like Fiji water? First of all, fuck with Fiji water. Fiji's dog shit. You think so? I mean, I like essential. Essential's my favorite, but I do like Fiji water. Maybe you got that wrong taste. Fiji water, like. I have to. I got to interrupt really quick. Um, so my downstairs neighbor has been like, is is a fucking Karen. And uh, I'm not I'm not upset with anybody. I didn't disclose it. She's like been fucking causing a lot of issues with our landlords. Aww. Apparently, the fucking <laughs> the insulation or whatever between the floors Rubber. is like Thin. dog shit. So she can like so um, one. And I think it's only happened one, once or twice during the show. I just ask stomping. if nobody if just to try to avoid stomping because she's a fucking Karen and like yeah. freaks the fuck out. And our last show, she came and banged Martin on the door and shit. So. One hundred dollars. 
Priya, Yo, six, Martin. Two, seven figures, oh. real estate, construction in Southeast, <laughs> D1 college athlete, mid-30s, home suitors. 70 acre farm in TN, I own a non-profit that helps dogs and horses, Martin Foundation. No, Brian has my personal Wait. details yeah, minus 100% true. G600 fly out in two days. Bro. Is that a plane? Just yes. Uh oh. I think that's the one for you. Can I? If I, I would like to. Uh, I would like to add a little something. I'm. I'm. He saved I'm friends with Marquavius. He did save me from an animal, but he's also part of Mensa. So he's a high, very high IQ individual, top one percent, and uh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. So you have three suitors so far, Priya. This Which show. One's the most attractive. So far. Um, <laughs> can you guys? Can you spread it around? Look at all these. You know, I'm taken. Uh, so no, thank you. I like. She, she, she wants him. <laughs> oh no. Wait, Martin. Martin. Um, how do you say? <laughs> No. How do you pronounce I'm, it? I'm happy for you, honestly. Look at you. You're so cute. Girl, we're <laughs> coming for you. Wait. Yeah, but look at you. Martin, do you like women with sternum tattoos? Oh, because I mean, the sternum. She's got like a flower. Right here, right oh here. Yeah, yeah, like it's more of a xiphoid process <laughs> tattoo. That's not quite the sternum. Is it? <laughs> oh, that's fair. No, the sternum ends here. This oh, is the xiphoid process yeah, where the two yeah, it's uh, lower. rib cage, parts of the rib cage. Come that, she's like, oh, you're correct. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, I told him sternum. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Martin. Appreciate it. Um, Thanks, Priya, man. will you, if he DMs you, will you respond or? Sure. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Right. She sounds um, so scared. scared. So Film okay. it for <laughs> Bring out the G600. Wait, we kind of want to see TikTok. it, though. <laughs> Pull up here at whatever. Were we talking about fucking Fiji water? Was that yeah, we were. Oh, okay. It might have been since I was like 19. I understand that Fiji, after Wait. I've had other waters because they don't taste the same, <laughs> Essential is definitely top tier. So you you Essential. ghosted him because he thought Fiji water was comparable to other types of He was of like, does it matter? Water? Doesn't all water taste the same? <laughs> And that's when you knew that was your deal breaker. Oh, absolutely. I think girls Feed, can talk about you. icks. All yeah, that's day what I'm long. saying. Like, no, yeah. I'm, on, I'm really so curious to see icks. the rest of the panel and yeah, what they do. We'll, honestly, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about icks about here. Water? Oh. We'll continue moving oh. around. So, <laughs> no. moving over to you. Um, about that water. How long? <laughs> how long should you wait? This is the two-parter. Like, yeah, what long, I think. How long? And, how, long okay. how, how long do you think you? Like, what's a good time amount of time to wait, and what's the quickest that you've ever hooked up with a guy? I mean, I think everyone's different, and I don't like to judge, but personally, um, I think it's crazy when people just, like, give themselves to, like, anybody. But that's just my personal opinion. Sure. I'm not so judging. what do you think, like, third date, do you have a third date rule longer? You've never had a one-night stand, is what you're saying, no. in your life? No. Never? Okay. I haven't been with a lot of people. Stop the cap. <laughs> okay. I mean. Oh, great. Keep going. So, yeah, so, yeah. 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 So, I, that's your story. I, I want, so, this is weird to say but I'll say anyway. So when I was younger, I'd always, like I've always, I've been in monogamous relationships. Sure. Uh, never when I stand, and whatever. And I've always thought about like my magical, like futuristic, like husband or person or partner and like my forever partner. That's always been my goal to find that. And that's a lot of people's goals, right? And I always thought, what would they want? Because I know what I would want. And yes, men and women are different, but I would want my partner to be conscientious and selective. And um, I don't know. That's just me, I guess. Am I saying no, no, that's, that's I know, a good it's idea. not exciting. So, so, it's so, not so, exciting. No, no, it's fine. What was the, what's the least amount of time you have waited, though, in your few partners? Yeah, three hey, days. Can I get a Celsius? No. You sure three, about that? The fewest. You sure Six about that? Six months. What? No, <laughs> I, three months. Yeah. I'm not going to bed. You're on fire, my guy. I, <laughs> I, I, need more. I haven't been oh, with a lot of people. I haven't had I just have, like, long-term relationships, and I haven't had a lot of them so it just makes sense what's naturally you, haven't been with a lot of people what's the shortest amount of time i got waited three months three months three months yeah that's good that's, wait, good mike would you wait three months uh so <laughs> I, I i would not realize i was waiting three months because i would be dating other women uh, yeah. so you'd keep her on the slow burner i mean it wouldn't even be a slow burner for me it's like every every date is a fun interaction and then we go it's like oh well she doesn't want to sleep with me that's fine then i'm going to go out somewhere else what would probably happen is after about a month i'd be like hey we're all going to go on stage to see fucking uh the chain smokers or uh, uh marshmallow on stage at excess do you want to come and she'd just go along with me and like seven other girls that's happened to me before and then after three months a girl's been like okay now i want to sleep with you that's happened before i just but no waiting for one girl for three months that's not possible no oh Word. Everybody's different. What about you? Uh, so oh, I. What about the guy who waited for three months? Did do, the guys? Do you, the guys who waited for three months. Yeah. Did they? Do you think they saw anyone else while they were waiting the three months? 
No, I mean my boyfriend now. <sighs> like he waited. He waited, but he did, he didn't see. You don't think he saw anyone else? No. Okay, the one before. He's probably watching right now. The the one before. Do you think he saw anyone else while he was waiting three months? I don't think it was exactly three months. It was probably like you know. Man, I can hear that northern uh, New York accent. Can you? Yeah, I've always now. told that like I don't have a New York accent, but sometimes it, it comes <laughs> out in weird ways, and I'm like, oh. Was this is this alcohol in this thing? No, no. It's energy. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm one here, the next girl. What about okay. you? Yeah. <laughs> so I chase men. So normally the first night. There we go. Oh, period. Right. I'm boring. You know what? Honestly, <laughs> can we just shout out honesty? Yeah. That's awesome. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Uh, when I was in the beginning of college, I would sleep with men on the first date, and it ruined me. Yeah, absolutely. So Why? I stopped. Why did you it snapped? ruin you? No, so I stopped. <laughs> oh, it's I, not. It's oh, not. Okay. <laughs> 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 Wait, what so what's the quickest? Like 20 minutes or what? Oh, no. Normally, well, I mean, I've like been rejected before, but okay. normally, like, normally the men I chase, I, like, see them from afar and then kind of watch them and then, yeah. like, observe what kind of man they are. Sure. Um, my current relationship, I was talking to his friend before. And then once me and the friend didn't, or me and his friend didn't work out, I pursued yeah. that guy. Period. And I wanted to sleep with him, of course, the first first night because I was interested in him. Okay. So you, when you were in college. Yeah, I, I came from a Christian fundamentalist mm. um, household, and then when I went to college, like that postmodern feminism was like, spread your legs, act mm. like a dude, and I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I should just <laughs> have sex with whoever I go on a date on and go back to their apartment, and it's. Totally fine, and um, had to learn the hard way that that's not how you're supposed to act. But so you I think that happened up. to a lot of people. Yeah, I was never taught from a young like age, like like really anything about sex. So I had to figure it out on my own, and I was left to. I have a question. I was left to myself and the devices of Twitter. Go ahead. So. I have a question, um, and I mean this like um, from my own experience as well. Do you feel like you were sleeping with men in college to give you like validation for yeah, yourself? Absolutely. Okay. But yeah. it was valid. Yeah. It was in there was a facade of this is what feminism is like Mm -hmm. to the point where I would actually write the dude's names on a list because it made me feel like oh yeah don't open my notes app I'm like powerful it made me feel like locked yeah the notes app wait okay the notes app yeah (laughs) she had a little notes app she had a notch she had a notch count I did I did have a notch count I did I count your notes app yeah. Uh, I know y'all when, all do. When we were in college, doesn't that seem like a great thing? But then we get up, we get out of college, and then we're like looking for a wife. And you're like, damn. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Kelly, what about you? Um, I don't see a problem with like you know hooking up with someone on the first night. Um, especially as a woman, I feel like I make the decision if I know I'm gonna sleep with you or not on the first like before even meeting you. Mm-hmm. So at <laughs> that true. point, it's like if I find you attractive. I it, on the first date there's no problem with me sleeping on you on the first date it's where after that it's like if we got along and everything went well and like it wasn't weird then that's where it could like you know it, eventually maybe one, and one day it will like go into something else but or if not it will just be oh well like who cares but I don't think there's that much of an issue with sure. sleeping on the first date. Priya what about you? What was the first part of the question whether I how long do you think you should wait and what's the quickest that you've I don't necessarily know if there's a timeline on it but i probably would say when you're in a committed monogamous relationship once you mm-hmm. like establish that and the shortest uh, you made a guy wait was sh- two years <laughs> <laughs> no the shortest uh was a little over a month you sure, you sure about that wait Positive. wait so you're saying you'd want to be exclusive <laughs> before da- um sleeping Both. with someone yeah ideally mm. yeah yeah. So you don't well, want to I would have try out the car with that before you buy it? No, I would have a conversation with that person before. I, think I would I say think that's a good that definitely, yeah. I feel like everyone's experience would be different. I dated a guy for four months before I slept with him, and it was the worst sex of my life when we actually finally had sex. Isn't that I mean, there's too? The yeah. worst I'm thing, because he was perfect. Yeah. Like, like, oh, say, my like, God. It is, like, like frustrating, like, oh. because, like, as a woman, I feel oh like it's hard to say, like, oh, like, I'm leaving him because it wasn't like the sex wasn't good. But, yeah, like, I was like, what about sorry, other it does kind of slightly matter because yes, I would yes. be upset too if I waited four months to have sex with this man and the, the sex was like, horrible, horrible, literally the worst body of my life. Like, <laughs> but he was he was the perfect man though. Like that. And they say men are sucks. superficial. Can I ask? Yeah. Yeah. Men like, can learn what though. defines? I, yeah, I was gonna say I'm not gonna argue that sexual compatibility compatibility isn't. Um, 
isn't important, but I think it can also be developed. And I mm-hmm. think that Agreed. there are many studies that show that women have better sex when they are in long term yes. relationships. And I think that's because especially women get more and more comfortable in the bedroom the longer you're with a partner and the more comfortable you are with that person. And I just think that's women the attachment. I just think it was a It was a size thing, not a compatibility was, yeah. thing. Wait, you said it was How do you? It was a Damn, she just laid it out there. Small. Yeah. <laughs> not a compatibility thing. <laughs> Does size matter? Does size matter? That's a real question. Raise your hand if size matters. Yeah, we'll do a raise of hands. Uh, Does size matter? That's hard. I feel like what we're doing. it's like a half raise because to an extent, it, 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 it does It slightly it matters. matters. Thickness matters. One it's not time. everything, no, all but it matters. All of that slightly matters. It's like if you, you can't just have like a small dick and not know how to like, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like if you, but you, if you have the motion, like good for you. But like the size of the wave is I think No, I think too big is worse than. Oh, absolutely. Our yes. size is like this. You yes. don't need oh, that much. No. I, I feel really like a lot of men don't believe it. Like they like don't. Have, right but it's like real. They don't yeah. need to be bigger. I'm to sorry. To be fair, though, like this, I think your your conversation of okay, well, the sex wasn't great, right? Well, you said it was primarily because he wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. But like, also, lacking. a guy could be like average or above average in size, and but also be bad in bed. Absolutely. So, yeah. but let's nervous. be fair, though. Let's be fair. It's fucking easy to be good in bed as a woman, whereas it's. Like men actually have to put in work totally. to be. I mean, if you yeah. like a girl that lays on her back, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no starfishes <laughs> here. No the men are literally doing it all. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, and, and maybe this is just me, but I've heard other guys that agree, that agree with me. The 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 how good the sex is is directly proportional to how hot she is. Yeah. Sorry, I know you guys think it's oh, it's because I do the gluck gluck nine thousand. No, oh, I'm sorry. how oh, no, no. how good a, the sex is for me I is directly proportional to how hot the girl is. Wait, that's what you believe? Or you yes, think? it is directly proportional I to have... how physically attractive the girl I'm, is. I feel like or, I have a couple baby moms. Or, or multiple Very girls. Much. Yeah, that is what that matters more than anything I've seen else. A couple baby moms that prove right? otherwise. You guys ready? I'm doing an impression. Who am I? Who am I? Anybody? Who am I? Oh, oh no! Stop. I'm leaning to the plug. Oh, no. I love her. Don't do that. <laughs> she's awesome. Lena's awesome. She's okay. so, she seems so uh, sweet. I know. She seems awesome. What's the, what? I didn't say anything wrong with her. I just said. <laughs> you just that an I was just making an, an impression of Lena Black. R.I.P. Adam 22. <laughs> no, Adam 22 is awesome too. I love Adam. There's nothing wrong with it. Technically, just doing, you're doing. Kim I'm just K2. doing an impression of Lena the Plug. That's and you're getting a myriad of people. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> Priya, does sex. size matter? No. Well, yeah. It's like, <laughs> Because, like, here's the difference, right? A girl, like, let's say a girl was just a pillow princess. Mm-hmm. Like, you put a guy in that situation, maybe it's not, like, ideal for him. Maybe he wants the girl to be a bit more involved. Pillow but, like, prince. you put a guy into that situation where a girl is a pillow princess, he could still come. Yeah. However, if, like, most, and, and there's this talk of, like, orgasm gaps. Granted, I think it's a good thing with, if women orgasm, but... Um, mm. I don't, I don't what know is your question? No, no, I, hold, on, I, I let, on hold on, let me finish my point. So, there's this talk of orgasm gaps and like feminists are all up in arms about, oh, women aren't climaxing and all this shit. To be fair, it's harder to make a woman climax than it is to make a man totally. climax. Yes. Yes. Not, yes. not in all situations. Yeah, there's yes. some, there's some yeah. women who are like insanely orgasmic where they'll come in 10 Lucky seconds bitches. and they can, mo- know, they can right? have multiple Lucky orgasms. Bitches. However, the orgasm response in women is so much more varied mm-hmm. than it is. Men are fairly simple on that front, yeah. whereas mm-hmm. women, there can be totally different, major differences between the two. Mm-hmm. Vibrators uh, the, fuck the, up women in orgasm. The, the main thing I would point <laughs> out is, the main thing I would point out is, a guy, if a girl was just literally laying there doing nothing, 99% of men could, like, if they were having se- intercourse with you, could make themselves come. If the guy was just laying there, how many of you could make yourselves come wor- doing, putting in work? I think I, a lot of women do, right? Yeah. They get on top yeah. and they yeah. do, do it themselves. And he's not doing anything. Yeah. Well, that's not, I'm, I'm not speaking I'm not saying that's what well, I'm saying. Want. It depends on the I, mean, I would not You're be saying if I could, that. could I make it happen? Yeah, I could. I would, this I is would a little say, engine that could. It's not that's, ideal. That's fine, but I... I, 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 about it, I'm gonna, I, I mean, most... I think a lot of women need... I'm not doing as much credit. A lot yes, of women, in general, you're on. right. A lot of women need some, either some sort of clitoral stimulation. There, there's going to need to be some sort of stimulation. But, like, I would say, can some women make themselves come if the guy's just fucking laying on his back? Sure, some women can. But I'd say most, like, probably most can. 
And also, I, there's a lot, there's a fair subset of women who can't even make themselves come. Yeah. So this demands that like, oh, there's an orgasm gap, I think it's kind of bogus, but uh, so yeah. Well, I think there is an orgasm gap because you said it's harder for women to come, right? So like that's the gap in and of itself. There is a gap, but they blame men. The, the right. blame is on men. Men don't care about women's orgasms, but the fact of the matter is there's a, there's a decent subset of women can't, that can't even make themselves climax yeah. through masturbation, mm -hmm. even alone. And then like there's, there, there, there's nothing to be said for the greater difficulty yeah. in terms of being able to make a woman come versus or what a that come. does to a man's ego or like his performance anxiety or anything like that. Word. There are times where I'm just like in my head or not, like just really not able to and just yeah. com there's like a whole complex situation going on sure. that he's completely unaware of. I do want to bring it back here really quick to our, our discussions of the guy making the guy who you like wait for sex but the guy who you don't see any long-term potential the chad the really good looking guy the guy when you're traveling when he's traveling he's in town for a night you sleeping with him really quick so i have i have two scenarios i'd like to paint and i want your guys's feedback on this so thoughts on this scenario you've been in the situation excuse me you've been on in a situation with the guy for six months you really like him you want him to commit to you but he says he likes to take things slow Somehow you find out that the last three girls he had a committed relationship with, he initiated the commitment conversation after only three weeks of dating. How does that make you feel? Well, if he got through three relationships, like if three of them didn't work, maybe he does need to slow down. You know, like why three weeks in, you're talking about commitment. I don't think three weeks is even enough time to know if you want to be committed to a person. I, I actually, I mean, I actually don't think that three weeks depending on how many time how many times you've hung out with someone is is all that long it's not exactly so it's like he she's finding out oh he had this conversation three weeks after with these girls you shouldn't feel type way you should be lucky he's not having that conversation with you i would be scared if a guy was talking about committing to me after three weeks like barely know me we just so it's it. like maybe he learned his lesson it was like all right good at least you're not trying to commit in the first month let's take it slow but six months i think you need to know what you want by six months at least I think most women would feel like shit. Yeah, six months, have you? No, I mean, like, most women would feel like shit if they found out that, like, the guy slept with the Here, other let's not, girls let's first. not hyper-focus on the, the, okay, if you yeah, think yeah. three weeks is too, too soon to have the commitment talk, fine. The point is, is that in all his past relationships, he initiated the commitment mm. conversation. If you want to change the timeline to two months so it's more plausible, that's fine. Uh, but he hasn't done it with you. If a guy wants to date you, you'll know that. Like, isn't that, well, that's what I've been learning from the boom. boys. They'll know, they'll know. And so when but a guy boom. usually says, oh, I want to take it slow or whatever, usually that's like a red flag sign. Mm. Like usually. Six months. Or whatever. Yeah, usually exactly. they know right off the bat after first or second date if you're, you know, obviously they'll get to know you more, but. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let me give you, let me give you another <laughs> analogy to try to, to try to paint Correct. this. Okay. All right. Um, so. Don't shoot the messenger here. So, making a man wait while you smash the hot dude that you knew you weren't gonna commit to, just hooking up with a bunch of dudes. Uh, so making the man wait while you smash Chad after a few beers on a slow Tuesday would be like <laughs> me going to McDonald's and while everyone else is eating there paid $1 for that cheeseburger, the clerks look at me and says, it's $1,000 for you, sir means you're special. By the way, this is an analogy. Don't, I'm not trying <laughs> you're to You're calling women No, I, I tried to say the same thing earlier. <laughs> like, that's exactly my point. It's like, you guys, when you say this kind of stuff, it's like, hey, I don't want to commit to you. You're just a hot guy I'm on a date with, so I'm going to have sex with you immediately. And then you meet some other guy who's a gentleman to you. You're like, wow, I see long-term potential. I'm going to make him wait. If those two dudes ever meet, if there was a place where men like that ever shared stories, like the manosphere, then they then then they're not going to allow that behavior. They're going to be like, wait, she didn't make you wait. She let you fuck on the first date, but she's making me wait. Mm. For you guys, you think, no, 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 no. You're a relationship guy. You're special. That's not how he feels though. He doesn't feel special because you had sex with the other guy on the first date. That's Didn't why. Did you say you can't tell people how they feel? 
Wait, what's what? that? Hi, didn't you say you can't tell me how to feel? How no, I'm gonna tell you how to feel. I'm telling I mean, you how the yeah, guy feels. Yeah, exactly. How are you gonna yeah. say? How are you gonna say he feels that way? How do you know that? A guy? Well, yeah. guys have to put in work. Are to you have serious? Sex. Like that's all they they sit there and comment Somebody. about this all the whole time. You really think guys don't feel that way? You really think a guy who's trying to be in a relationship with you is not gonna be bothered by the fact that you let a bunch of other dudes fuck on the first date Absolutely. while you made him de- made while well, you made him wait a month? Absolutely. You really think that? I mean, why are you concerned about guys? I'm not before? concerned about. Shit. I mean, I'm just saying, like, why would the guy be concerned about? Guys? Guys because body before. count matters. Because to it does, it matters to yeah. them. Really? Because I feel like what matters is those test results. Because you can have a body count of three uh-huh. and have the most uh-huh. no, that's not what, in the world. That, that's not what, there's, 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 li- there's literally studies from the, there's, there's literally studies that show like as women have more <laughs> sexual partners before marriage, the likelihood of them being happy in a marriage decreases. But it's oh, not the, But it's like, not the same thing that happens for men. Yeah. It doesn't. It's not the same mm-hmm. thing for men. Absolutely, mm-hmm. but when you have when you so it does matter. Life. It would matter to me if you had uh, if you let a bunch of dudes smash on the first a bunch, day for sure, and you made me wait. A bro, bunch. If you have a roster, you better, yeah. and you, hold on. And you better forget <laughs> if we ever bump into each other, and then I found out that he you didn't make him wait. You made me wait. You're bro. salty that I let a guy smash, and like what? Like I don't know. If you have a roster of guys you let <laughs> smash on the first day, yeah, I'd be a little salty that like I wasn't on that roster. You should just let me smash too. But you know, but it's like if it's like okay, I found I ran to this one guy that you let smash on the first date and I'm the one guy that you didn't let smash on the one day. Are you really going to be salty about that? Well, I think well, yeah, I'm telling you a lot of guys would, can yes. Uh, unequivocally, most men would, yes, absolutely. Um, uh, like, <laughs> this, I'm not, this is not meant to be inflammatory at all, but this is what I was talking about when I say, like, the chasm between men and women. Like, he's trying to tell you that, like, men feel a certain type of way and you're trying to say, like, well, why? That doesn't make sense. It's like, well, we, when we talk to men, we want them to understand how we feel in certain situations. Like, we need to open yeah, our absolutely. ears, you know what I mean? And, like, listen to what they're saying. I like, was just speaking from my experience. Like, I've... Yeah, I wasn't only, trying to, like, come yeah, at you Yeah, no, or absolutely like that. understand. I've been in relationships. One, one, I'm not going to lie, one of my first long-term relationships was... Well, not my first, my last long-term relationship. I did sleep with him on the first date. But I didn't see a relationship with him. We still were friends. And it was like, you know what? Maybe we could pursue this after, you know? But... It just goes from there. I guess like it all goes off a of vibe. Like I can date a guy, like I said, for four months and then sleep with him and it's the worst decision of my life. Or I can sleep with him the first date and it'd be a solid decision. Or I can sleep with him first date and not want to pursue you after. Like Right. I my my personal take on this, look, if you previously slept with, for example, twenty guys first mm. night, then I come along and then you're gonna make me wait. You wanna make me wait four dates, maybe you had a change of heart and that's just your standard moving forward (laughs) again it's your body it's a hundred percent your choice i wouldn't try to like pressure a girl into it however we we men are within our right to also view that and be like what the fuck absolutely like absolutely but how many guys sleep on the first night you know like the roles reverse with guys like guys are it's so socially acceptable for guys to do whatever they want especially in a sexual manner like and it's and also goes back to culture and especially like most cultures are okay with guys doing whatever like literally like i'm personally latina and in latina culture guys can do whatever they want that's true and they are not scrutinized by their mothers grandmothers nobody and it's a uh, it's like it goes it goes back to fucking decades and and centuries of just breeding masculinity and in some cases a lot of cases toxic masculinity but it's just like as soon as a woman what? does something that's no such like thing no such thing as toxic masculinity? No such thing. Oh. There are toxic people, and those toxic people can be masculine or feminine. But when the man pulls you out of your burning building, you don't give a fuck how masculine he is. He, there's no two masculine then. Masculinity is masculinity. Femininity is femininity. There is such thing and as toxic masculinity. There is no. The toxic, Disavow. Disavow. So toxic mas- masculinity was a term created in the 1990s when psychologists were trying to study violent offenders in prison. When guys would step on each other's toes and then they would start stabbing each other, it was just a term that was used by those psychiatrists to, to determine a type of behavior where men would resort to extreme levels of violence for no reason. And then somehow mainstream psychology got a hold of it and became this pop term. There is no such thing as toxic masculinity. There is just masculinity, and then there are some people who are toxic. That has nothing to do with each other. I can show you tons of people who are extremely toxic online, and some of them are masculine and some of them are feminine, but the two are mutually exclusive. The, to- the idea of toxic masculinity is to shame men for doing things that other people don't agree with. There mm-hmm. is no such thing as toxic masculinity. Already, word. so uh, <laughs> Hold on. that's okay, that's okay. fine. Maybe me... the word might not be using the right word, but there is. It doesn't matter. Like it's a man's world at the end of the day. It really is, and men are socially acceptable. It's acceptable for a man to like have sex with so many women, but as soon as it's a woman 
doing that, it's like yeah. crazy. Well, because, it does, it because, does go back to biology. Yeah. Well, because like the really reason does. why that it's, it's, it's socially acceptable and men get so much praise for it is because it's a lot harder for a man to get laid than a woman. So when a woman, a woman can 10 out of 10, most, most of the time a woman will get laid 10 out of 10. A man is not going to be 10 out of 10. So it, a man has to work a lot harder to have sex. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, they if, say you know, they, they say have to work what? a lot harder. It is what it is. Like, it is what yeah, it is. It's it, okay for a man to have sex with whoever, have one night stands, do whatever. I mean, it's not okay. I mean, the, the Catholic Church would say that it's yeah, not okay. Right. Okay, a lot but of the Catholic Church also rapes yeah. kids. So what well, are we talking about okay, here? They, like, you know what I mean? Okay, we're going to go. The pro. I don't know that actually the Catholic Church does it. That was one of not the words. We're going to delete that. I don't. I don't. The Protestant Church. The Protestant Church would have a problem with it. Okay. The. There's a, a bunch of places that would have a problem with yeah. it. I was just right. bringing up one point. It wasn't like to be like, you know, like here. Let's say let's something. let's stay focused. We we were talking about the uh, we were talking about like a girl who slept with thirty dudes first date. Then you as the relationship guy come along and then she wants to make you wait three months. Kind of ridiculous. I know. I I remember in I think this was must must have been six months ago. I was on a date with a girl. She was in her thirties. You know, she's probably. I didn't ask her body count, but let's, you know, probably 10, 20, 30 plus, whatever. Um, she had told me, uh, you know, uh, we were talking about past relationships. She said that the last guy she dated, she'd been dating him for one or two years. She was like, oh yeah, actually the way we met is I was staying at his Airbnb and then like I check in and then like literally the night I move in, like we fucked. I'm like, okay, cool. And then like, you know, I was, uh, you know, it was whatever. We were on a date and, um, she was into me and then like we were hanging out, but uh, she was like, oh no, I think, uh, I think we're, I kind of want to like wait, you know. I think I a lot of women. And like, bro, it's, it's, it's like, compliment. it's like, look, that's your call, but like this, your weird. last yeah. fucking relationship that was a long-term relationship, so it wasn't evidence of like, oh, it was just a one night stand. And it's like, I'm gonna look at that, I'm gonna be like, I actually no longer want a relationship with a girl like I, I now because you're you're well, you're playing deceiving. a game because it's, it's not your genuine standard. It's just like either I either think one of two things. I think like you're playing you're playing a, a game with me. You're using mm -hmm. sex as leverage to secure a relationship. No right. Right. resources, and, and a, not even a relationship, well, just right. attention and resources. Yeah. Relationship and then you're using it as work. leverage, or I just, I honestly, the thing that strikes me is you're just not that fucking into me because, like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I want that, you know, this is Rolo's thing, genuine burning desire. Shout out Rolo Tomasi by the <laughs> Rational Mail. Uh, like, if all your previous relationships, like, you had this one standard, if all your previous relationships, your standard was, hmm, okay, I'm gonna wait four dates. That's fair. I, I get that. But you just fucked a guy two weeks ago and now you want me to wait two months? Like, get the fuck out. Like, yeah, again, yeah. it's your call, get but the fuck out of here. I'm like, I've <laughs> just, I'm like, okay, she's not, she's either not into me or she's like basically playing a game. So then at that point, I've just lost interest. What game mm -hmm. do you think she's playing? Just curious. She's using sex as leverage. A lot of, and like, I don't, wait, if, it, because it's not a genuine standard of hers, because if yeah. two months ago you fucked a guy immediately, then it's not a genuine standard you have when it comes to your sexuality. It's just for you. Would you mm -hmm. think differently if like she had like lived one way in her past, but like had it created a new standard for herself, like going forward? That's if, not what's going on in the situation though. But that's yeah, that's not what's going on. Like question. if if like for the past five years, like that's been her new standard. She had some fucking wild times in college. Even then, that's not that's not ideal. Um, because as <laughs> me and Mike were saying, and a couple other people were saying, like obviously body count matters, mm -hmm. but. Um, Strictly from a b behavioral sense, uh, yeah, not not great. But it's more understandable if like she's changed. But right, right. Hey, it's guys, less by the way, by the way, saying. everything we're saying it comes down to: Do you find someone who accepts those things? You're right. If right. you say if mm -hmm. a guy doesn't care that I ha had multiple bodies, that's fine. I'm just telling you, most high status men are not going to behave that way. Exactly. They're not. It's, it's just a it's just a function of uh, statistics. That's it. Uh, she was. You were saying something. Oh, I think. If I'm understanding correctly, it's less that you're saying that it's, you know, you're ju not judging somebody for, you know, sleeping with someone like on the first date or fourth date or whatever. It's just like from man's standpoint, it doesn't make sense. Well, it's, it's the fact that you're holding the standard to to just him and not everybody yes. else that you've right. had these. Yeah, like, you had an epiphany right. and like now you've gotten right with God and now you go to right. your yoga class and your third chakra <laughs> is open and now yeah. you've decided you make men wait when all the other men didn't. That's fine if you believe that. I'm just not going to sit around and wait for that. That sounds right. ridiculous. It kind right. of, oh, sorry, didn't mean to. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of, 
makes the guy who you're making wait feel a little scammed. Mm -hmm. Like right. it's not like a genuine thing that like a genuine standard that you actually have. It, I don't know. It's like you read some bullshit in the magazine. Oh, you should make guys wait. Oh, let me try it. And then like, I don't know. It's just kind of. There's a lot of stuff out there that's saying you should make guys wait. Yeah, that's it's true. It's easy for um, women to be messing around with non-quality guys for so long that when they do get a quality yeah. guy, it's like you say, they try to find any which way to hold on and they don't actually have rational or real reasons, sure. way, real ways to actually no. do that. I, they just make up ways in their head. I slept yeah. with my boyfriend the first night and he's a quality man. So. Same thing. Type. Yeah. <laughs> well, would you yeah, believe? Would you believe the girl, <laughs> that girl that like, um, you know, that you were just mentioning? If she said that like, like she screwed that guy, but like she wanted you to wait because like she didn't want you to think like lesser of her. Like she really like wanted to take it slow with you. You should have that conversation. I can explain to her. That's nonsense. <laughs> like let's get that. Oh, like my, I'm my, actually curious. Well, my personal view is, and uh -huh. there, look, there are certainly men out there who if they will judge a woman if that woman sleeps with them too quickly. My personal view is, while that could potentially be an indicator, for example, promiscuity, I don't think it's necessarily, like if a woman sleeps with you quickly, it doesn't necessarily mean that she's slept with a bunch of men right. or she's promiscuous. Um, so, so I have a question me, for me you personally, guys then. Me personally, all of my mm -hmm. long-term relationships, that many of them have been really wonderful relationships mm -hmm. with great girls, Almost all of them within the first three dates. Okay. Yeah, one, I was one girl ask on that. the second date, one no. girl on the first date. One. Some guys are like, okay, if she gives it up too quick, then she's for the streets. That's not my. Yeah, that's see, not I, my I view. Just, that's not my view. But some guys do have that view. I get confused as a woman sometimes, like really like grappling with this because it's like you don't want to give it up too quickly because you don't want the guy to think that you're a hoe. But then if you really like the guy, mm. like it's it's kind of like a what do I do? Like how is he gonna view me? Sort of thing. Yeah. Well, which is what you were saying is like you're not being genuine to your standard. Sure. Like you're kind of like fixing yeah. it based off of like the dude and and at least for me personally um uh, like if if i sleep with a girl i me personally i have and maybe i'm an outlier in this i have no interest in sleeping with a girl once to me it's just a waste of time like mm -hmm. if i sleep with a girl i want there to be a continuity mm -hmm. maybe maybe we only hang out three or four times but like i i do genuinely want to at least try to pursue something i i'm not interested in one night stand it's not worth my time i i view it as a waste of time mm -hmm. um and also just even if your motivation was purely sexual, or excuse me, even if your motivation was purely just to get sex, I actually think that uh, first off, having s the first time you have sex with someone, really, I don't, I personally don't think it's going to be the best. Yeah, I think sex is right. better at like the more you, the more, yes. you the more times it, yeah. you've had sex with sure. them, um, you know. So one, just on a purely physical level, you know what they like, they know what you like. There, mm. you build a comfort. So I think that makes the sex better. But uh, me personally, yeah, I, I'm not interested in one night stands. Uh, I do, prefer, if I sleep with a girl, I'd want to continue sleeping with her. And uh, So would you disavow like, uh, like, you know, like the fresh and fit idea of like recreational use versus like relationship use for a woman? You know what I mean? Well, there's signs that you would see that would tell you this girl has red flags. But one of those signs goes. would be sleeping with somebody on the first date, That's, no? They just said that it's I not considered. Did they say that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Said that I'm not sure. I, I don't want to speak on behalf of them because yeah. I don't. I, I haven't, I'm, haven't been keeping tabs specifically mm -hmm. on what their talking points are. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what, so what was the? Basically uh, the idea is that it's a red flag if she sleeps with you on the first date. I mean, that's some guy's opinions. So well, how would you guys go? I, I don't. That's mm -hmm. a good way to say too, like um, if you'd be trying to be a, a, a value woman, if you want to look out for what men are looking for. Just, right, right. You, you, I just know too many of my friends that are right. married married couples and they slept together on the first date like i just know yeah. too many of them there's yeah, just so much like attraction the and they just did it so like I, I don't know i don't know what like the, the right answer is there but i think the, the thing what we're saying is uh by the way if you can find someone to to believe in whatever your standard is then you can get away with anything you want right but in this case if you consistently sleep with guys on the first date and then you make one this last guy wait the thing is i it's Dudes know everything now. I'm I'm sorry, ladies. Like, there's this digital True. footprint that you have. Yeah. You think you're gonna get away with it? Just do. Oh. It's not that you can't keep a secret. It's that dudes run their fucking mouth about how many girls they've fucked, mm -hmm. and they're gonna tell. It just Yo. depends if you're honest or not. Like, I'm personally honest. Like, if someone was to ask me, like, mm -hmm. what's up? Like, hey, what is your sexual history? I'd be like, it's this. 
mm-hmm. you know and then it, it, we all decide we can decide together then mm. so it's like that would only happen the like sneaking around or finding out if the person's not honest and mm. then it just goes back to that person's character and who they are i don't because- understand you guys are t- talking when you meet someone and you're saying okay how many people people in your past have you slept with on the first Y'all day still have how, that conversation how yeah like i don't under, i Wait, would never what? talk to someone like that i don't think no no but but someone might find that out about you yeah but maybe yes. one guy you maybe find out one guy that you know like a mutual friend that oh yeah you know she slept with me on the first date but know, you man. don't I just, know like i just a, see because the advent of social media i i found like i without even trying i know what a bunch of girls have done because dudes just run their fucking mouth yeah the world you is really run small women, too dude wimp, dudes run their mouth man they yeah. run their mouth so much they, yeah, they know yeah just is. just one last thing on this point and then we do need to get to a couple of the chats here um i so if she's had sex with men more easily in the past and you harder now so she makes you wait there's this na- and i kind of already touched on this there's a natural gut reaction that the current guy mm-hmm. or you is less sexually desirable to her than her previous partners. So if she had sex with them faster, she must, this may not be the case, but that's what a guy might think, Mm -hmm. that she's just not that attracted to you. And she Mm -hmm. sees you as like provider, like safety safety net. And like, that's not how a guy wants to feel. Mm -hmm. So- Men wanna be desired. In my my coaching program, we use the opposite. Like uh, Brandon Carter, I did an interview with him and, and he was like, he said he got stood up by a girl one time and he asked himself, he goes, would she, would she have stood Drake up? She wouldn't have stood Drake up. And then that made him go to the gym more. Oh, yeah. That made him make more money. Now the dude is just wearing like you know, $400,000 worth of watches on with his, you know, his G-Wagon and his like, these dudes Don't stuff get stood super up ripped. No more. He doesn't get stood up no more, exactly. So in his mind, he was like, would she have stood Drake up? That's what she said. He would say that in his head when he'd go to the gym. And so because of that, that motivated him. And now, you know, the dude is like, uh, he's a huge baller. And because of that. So I think you guys understand that's a, that jealousy motivation, uh, it's a sexual motivation that Napoleon Hill talks about at the end of Think and Grow Rich. That thing, or in evolutionary psychology, and access to higher sexual selection and more resources, that, or a higher sexual status, those things are what motivate a man to become a billionaire. That's what motivates a man to work really hard. That, that's essentially what happens. These great men, you think about Steve Jobs, he, the dude was running through supermodels. Think about Elon Musk. How many different women does he have kids with? You know, you, you think about these things, like even Albert Einstein leaves his wife to go start sleeping with his cousin. Like all this stuff happens. And you, just don't, you just don't realize these men are so motivated by this about would she, it, it, it goes back to what Brandon said and I loved it. It was just like, dude, would she have, said, would she have stood Drake up? And the answer is no, then I need to be better. All right, we have Ronnie here. Thank you, man. Hey, Brian, Ronnie, again, keep up the good work. That Priya's accent is cute, even when annoyed, LOL. Brian, we speak on DM. I'm the one with over 600K followers. Not that it matters. Would really like to see a pod with Michael and Destiny. Uh, hey, Ronnie, thank you very much. Uh, can you bump your, just send an Instagram DM saying you're Ronnie C, just so I, I get like 100 DMs, a couple hundred DMs a week, so it's pretty hard to keep on top of. Uh, a pod with Michael and Destiny. We were trying to actually get Destiny on tonight, but... Um, I guess some some things came yeah, up. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's going to be here on Thursday. We just we just missed each other. Yeah. We, me and Destiny were texting yeah. earlier today. All right, let's get some other super chats here. Okay, guys, get your super chats in. We are going to try to uh, once we get through the super chats and get through a few other things, we are going to try to wrap up. So get your super chats in. Uh, Stifler, really quick, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten. Okay, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Rate yeah, my rate, looks? rate your physical looks on the scale of one to ten. So you can't be like, oh, my, my personality. I'm a, t- I'm like, a 10 out of 10. They be calling yes. me Alicia Keys on there. So, frankly, welfare Alicia can, Keys, but that's okay. Do you, that's can fine. you sing? I'll yes. take that. Can you sing? <laughs> hey, see it. Oh, not a can you sing the, I'm a fallen, dancer. the Fallen song? Here, just try the. No, Let's hear no. It. Come on. <laughs> no. Do it. Do it. I, do no. it. This. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I, I'm not a singer. Do it. it. <laughs> I would probably rap. Do it. Holy fuck. Okay. So 10. Thank you. Eight out of ten. Okay. Six point five. Eleven. <laughs> I'm gonna say what I said on the last podcast. I'm a buffalo ten. What? Uh, what? What is a buffalo ten? From Buffalo, New York. I didn't just think about it. Like honest, it matters very large in the world. I gotta be world. honest. With you, I, I probably I would agree. Yeah. What are you in? Right? Yeah. What are you in Kazakhstan? That's my answer. Hey, Kazakhstan is about to sell a ten. What are you talking about? Oh, no, like Stockholm, Sweden. I've never been there. Also Norway. Are, that's a different question. What is she in Las Vegas? Then? That's a different question. Uh, seven with makeup, five without. Well, I was going to ask you, like, which state are we talking about? Just, California, just New York, just get, in general. 
forget this bullshit state stuff. Just it's relative, though. It's true. Like it's there are hotter people yourself. in California. How about how the whole how world? Do you do yeah. Global. Oh, globally. Global. Okay, globally, global. I'm like a six. Okay. Eight. Let's say a six point five seven. Oh, Michael. Me? Yeah, you. It's uh, ask everybody. I can read and shit, so I guess I'm a, a six or a seven. Read I can and shit. Hook them horns. I got a college degree from the University go. of Texas at Austin. If you can't use seven, would you think you'd be on the physical? I pay, I pay a lot of just taxes. Physical. It's just physical. Just based on looks. I pay, I pay a lot of taxes. Oh, uh, on my looks? I don't know, man. I'm not. I, I just, I'm a six. six, a five, yeah. Okay, I get my, yeah, I get myself a six. Um, so you two are 10 and 11. I, you're off the scale, I guess. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> off the scale, <laughs> off the charts. What you know about it. <laughs> I would it's, say your face is definitely huh? a 10. Thank you. It's I not a cocky. That. It's how you feel about it, bro. It's yeah, like, it's it's you're, like you're saying how you feel about yourself. I would have no, That's actually, that's, that's actually not the question. It's yeah. standards the, of beauty, right? There's an objective. Yeah, but it's based off my standards of beauty. So based on my beauty, when I look at myself, I see myself as a 10 out of 10 above a 10 out of a 10. Correct, but that wasn't the question. I understand what you're saying. You're saying how people view me? Yeah. Correct. Okay, well, I'm, well, well that we're, we're talking about the whole world. I'm not going to be everybody's type. You know well, what I mean? That's the whole point, though, is that, that is even, even 10 out of 10s are not going to be everybody's exactly. type. Yeah. But there is an objective standard of beauty. And, of course, everyone is beautiful in their own right. But there is an objective standard of beauty whether people want to admit it or not. Yeah. 10 out of 10? Yeah. What do you think the standard is? 10 out of yeah, 10? Like, like, what is your standard? It just depends well, like, who you are. If we're speaking about actual beauty like that, if we're talking about a scale, 10 out of 10 So who would you say is a 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10 is perfect. Okay, well, that's not what it said. I didn't know 10 meant perfect. No, no, no. The question was to rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 out of 10 is 100% perfect there's not one person that's, that's not what it said though if we're going based on perfect no but, one's perfect we're all imperfect scale, so that's question, almost irrelevant was, yourself one out of ten so it should be like a one out of eight then so yeah like, i know like, like what the fuck nobody's perfect eight out of eight like, would still be 100 percent. well no there are Wait, there are uh studies Kelly about uh someone. like the objective standard of beauty has to do with like symmetrical face like facial features and stuff like that there there's I, i'm not super well versed on the study but there there it's I actually am. cultural i am it, it, no the, the, it, it's so here's the thing in, uh, the, again, 37 culture study by Dr. David Buss, mm -hmm. and all those cultures, men found that uh, signs of symmetry, signs of youth, um, and then a, a certain hip to waist ratio, which was like 0.72, those were the things mm -hmm. that they found uh, more attractive in all cult cultures. Women preferred men who were taller than them, and women preferred, were more interested in resource acquisition than when, than men were, like 100% like more, like two to one. Uh, and then men were more interested in short-term sexual partners and had certain, um, they found certain signs of beauty to be pretty much ubiquitous. Wait, question for you two. Do you guys think that all women should be tens or yes. should view Absolutely. themselves as tens? Of course. Question. Some women are Absolutely. ugly. Are, so yeah. are, all, are all men tens? <laughs> No. 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 Yo, oh my what? God. Oh. <laughs> if they feel they are, then they yeah. should feel that way. But yeah. do you think Private. all men are tens? Rate, um, rate, rate them. What the fuck? Um, oh, no. Number rate them. based on feeling. Rate them. Mm. <laughs> so, so Why? okay, I, I completely understand where you guys are coming from. Of course, it comes from a level of confidence that you see yourself as a 10, and everyone should be confident in how they look and how they present themselves, of course. But confidence is not they will like me confidence is i will be okay even if they don't like yeah me. oh absolutely so, of course you have to accept the fact that you're not going to be everybody's type but you also have to I'm accept my the type exactly and that's in great but it's it's not a bad or negative thing to understand where you realistically fall on set mm -hmm. scale but oh, to yeah. who but like right i guess they should have asked like, like from you know what yourself or from other people talking about the standard like if i get rejected from a guy i'm going to i'm still say what i said like i'm still going to consider myself at that level okay like, if you guys consider yourselves fives, fours, six, that's you. <clears throat> like, that's you. We're that's how you realistic. perceive yourself, because that's how you perceive like, no, no, other, no, no, no. other yes, people's perspective. Not my personal, right? Physical right. Like, look. not from like our. Yeah, my you physical look. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm fine with it. I look good without makeup. I'm decent. Can like, I ask I'm a question? Good. So, sure. in, as far as intelligence, <laughs> you could easily say. Oh. With her <laughs> it was like covering covering my body. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? It go was ahead, weird. So in terms of intelligence, you wouldn't rate yourself a 10 out of 10 in intelligence, right? Out of 10 out of 10 intelligence? Wait, what? Like, oh, shit. Well, like they... Okay. Why I have great energy. I'm a 10. Not the energy. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, I give out great no vibes. Energy. No my my <laughs> chakras are open. I'm a 10. If you're rating yourself a 10 out of 10 in intelligence, <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean you are actually a 10 out of 10. This is We're all talking about looks. We're talking about looks. You say comparatively. It looks... Can, like you well, can say wait well, is okay question for the panel is lizzo a 10 
No. No. But she whoa, feels, whoa, whoa, she let, feels let, like she's a 10. Whoa, whoa, don't back down now. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't say no. Okay, she so she like Lizzo's a 10? Into the mic, please. If she feels she's a 10, that's she how she feels. feels. They, a 10. He nice. asks, how do we feel about ourselves? Here we go. Awesome. Is, is, is Lizzo a 10? Lizzo's a 10, man. Lizzo's a 10. Lizzo's a you know what's 10. great? You know what's so crazy? We can't do that. He, I, I, he can't just say. Ten. You guys he, are all ten. No, he can't. You know what? No, no, let, let's, across listen. the board. He can't just say, "Hey, you know what? I have more subs than Mr. Beast. You should come on my fucking show." He can't do that. <laughs> I can't just say, "Hey, you know what? That that Bugatti oh, over there, that's mine." Hold on, just a second. Hold on. Too much confidence can breed Truth. Ignorance. Absolutely true. Keep, Thank you, Bender the Offender. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> like, I can't just go go to the fucking Staples Center and be like, hey, I'm starting at small forward for the Lakers today. I can't just say that because I feel like that. As men, we are totally, every single moment of every day, we are judged on our performance. The world is constantly telling us no, who we can't date, what we can't lift, what athletic ability we don't have. We're constantly, be, this it idea, th yeah, but, this, <laughs> but, this, but this idea, like, we this idea really, that I could just make up my own value is absurd. I have X number of dollars in my bank account. X number of fucking subs on my YouTube channel. These are defined. My abilities are defined. How much I can bench press is defined. All the stuff we do, there is no way for us to just make up some fucking number in our head and say, I'm a 10 because I feel I have great energy. It must be great to be able to do that because we can't do that. Who said None why of us not? can do this. Huh? Why not? Like, why, can I, why is it so hard for y'all? <laughs> just like, no. just like, yourself. Oh, no. no, I totally get what you're saying <laughs> because like, there's an objective standard of beauty and, and specifically in western culture that's like a eurocentric like standard of beauty and like you either like what? I, you either eurocentric I, I feel like we yeah. gotta go to the next question because y'all uh, I just want to say one last thing the question was how we get you we're gonna be yeah. a never ending loop we said what we said y'all said what you said Wait, next question the I last thing I wanted to say was yeah. because yes. I think when you guys said how do you rate yourself yeah, they you took yourself. it like and how do I and I was like how do you think other people rate you not from other people's perspectives one thing I'll address that Sorry. Uh, would <laughs> would any of you like to <laughs> revise your answers? I have some Absolutely makeup not. remover. I'll, take, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. it. I mean, Anybody? I mean, I'll take one because I need some. But I'm, I'm not going to do it. I would do it. I'd kind of be interested to see what happens if I did it. Okay, so, so. Wait, what were you saying? No. What, what was your question? What was I your think question? I just keep hearing miscommunication because I, I think when you said, how do you guys rate yourselves? Certain people here like took it as, how do I rate myself? Oh, but maybe you should have said from other people's perspective. Exactly. I mean, that's a, that's a fair point. Because that's However, what I just keep hearing. That, that's a fair point. However, like how much money do you make? If I say I make a, I make a billion dollars no, a day. No, I, I don't disagree. It doesn't change the fact how, like, how right. much I actually make. I'm just saying That's like, I was saying I'm about trying to close the gap. So with the revised <laughs> questions, should everyone re answer uh, the question? No, <laughs> we should go to the next <laughs> question no, for we sure. Just go next. Uh, one. It's just a seven. fundamental disagreement of whether or not beauty is yeah. objective or not. That's I would never view myself here. as less than a 10. Exactly. Like, why would I do that? Why? Well, yeah, but, but the whole thing, if I want to go box, I should not get into the ring with Tyson. I can say because there's an objective difference in his skill set and mine. That is like doesn't matter how I fucking feel about myself. Oh, That's yeah. the point. It does matter. But, it's yeah, like but all but yourself. all we do as men is perform, and then the world tells us they grade us on our performance. All That's it. That's the women works. get graded on their But they also get graded. Hold on. But they also. The two of you are going to say this, and the thing is, you want to know something else? The world is going to validate your point of view because there's going to be endless. I want you to rate your girlfriend for me. Huh? Uh, rate your girlfriend. My girlfriend is a 10. Period. Okay, and there you go. Yeah, but she, next but question, she, bro. She, Probably but she, but she is question. a 10. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, okay, let's go to the next question. That answered everything we needed to know. Yeah. No, no, oh, my that's, that's, that's not, so funny. That's not subjective. Show a picture right now and I'll tell you. Yeah, I want to see yeah, it. Yeah, All right, hold on, guys. Show hold a picture on. right now. He's okay. so excited. That's like, <laughs> no, it's a 10 out of 10. No, that's good, but like that's what I'm saying. Like, if you have a man, they're going to say you're a 10 out of 10. So oh, it's that, like, yeah, no, I agree with you. That's not this case, though. That's not what's happening. <laughs> All right, no, guys. I saw her in person. All right, guys. She so is. we're going to, we do need to just time, time wise, we need to get through some super chats. So. We have, uh, and I apologize that we're getting to some of these much, much later on the show. Yo, JJ, merci beaucoup for the, uh, <laughs> for the, uh, why don't you guys figure that out after the show, okay? Um, Brian and Michael, from both of your perspectives, hey, quiet, guys, 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 quiet, please. Yo, JJ, thank you, man. Uh, thank you for the Canadian 50. From both of your perspectives, I'd like to know if this community and other like-minded podcasts commit a naturalistic fallacy in their thinking and ideology, namely that w that was is n that was is natural is intrinsically good. Discuss. 
What? He's trolling or something? Can you play that what sound again? Can you play that what sound? No, I mean, it makes, it makes sense. But, I don't um, think this is the type of podcast for that kind of question. Yeah, I don't well, it's like my book, com- commit a naturalistic fallacy in their thinking and ideology. Namely, that what is natural is intrinsically Yeah, good. no, so this is a, oh, this, this, yeah. this is a try, fundamental question. Let's try to be brief on this. It's a fundamental question in evolutionary psychology. Yeah. What yeah. is intrinsic or what is heritable is, what, is what's good. Yeah. Yeah. So you can make that like, argument, girls who sleep around are maybe naturally doing that. No. What? Or yeah. men that are sleeping around yeah. are doing it naturally, but we're not saying. So again, this is a, no. This what he's saying is exactly like it's the. It's Dr. Buss said this when he went on Joe Rogan. Uh, it, just because men are more likely, my high status men who have more options are more likely to cheat, doesn't mean cheating good. So therefore, yeah. natural is okay. it is is it natural for high status men to have more sexual partners? The answer is yes. But does it make it good? Okay. No, no, it does not make it intrinsically good. Now, there are so many. If you guys go on uh, TikTok right now, there's so many videos where these these women on TikTok are are grilling me because I bring up this one stat. 83% of women who cheat in a marriage fall in love with their affair partner. Oh, absolutely. Right. It's like 29% for men. Because okay? women don't cheat for sex. Yeah, but, but hold on. But, but me saying that, they believe I've just justified men cheating because I say that it's worse. Because it is. Wor- it is objectively worse on average when a woman cheats in a relationship At than when 100%. a man cheats in a relationship for the relationship. A man can cheat in a relationship and you can repair it. If a woman cheats in a relationship, I'm sorry, it's extremely difficult to, to, to repair. Now you guys say that, but me saying that is a double standard and therefore I get grilled on TikTok because people hear what I said. I did not say it was good, I just read statistics. Spin so facts. now you're arguing, with, you're arguing with neutral. math. You're gonna get morally neutral, but it depends mm-hmm. on who you are. The yeah. point is when I make that statement, then, then all of a sudden people are like, he's just justifying cheating. No, I'm not because you don't understand the difference between what is and what ought. Evolutionary psychology, which by the way, all of this manosphere red pill stuff is based off of, evolutionary psychology is about what is, not what ought. And so people don't understand the difference. And that's what that question is basically asking. Well, and there's also a difference between how men value sex and how women value, or at least ought to and biologically should be valuing sex. Yeah. I mean, we, 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 for us, it's like a, a function of loyalty, too. Like a woman. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. And, and men can okay. emotionally detach themselves from Wait, sex what? in a way that women are not able to. What happened? What? Did she leave? There's nobody in the bathroom. Hello? Wait, what? Okay, I don't. What, okay, um, here. Let's get through these chats. Okay, hold on. Uh, no, we already did this one. Okay. Uh, the Baghdad one. Can you read that one? <laughs> hold on. Uh, Brian, 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 Brian. Uh-oh. What? No, I was reading the John. You got another contender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shoot my shot. Yo, Alvin. Okay, Alvin Sam, my, tu- <laughs> my turn to yeah, shoot my podcast. shot. Pri- Pri- I'm 35 years old, know, living in Sacramento, financially stable. He's Asian, Filipino. If height matters, I'm five foot eight, physically fit and traveling, not interested in commitment right now, though. Oh, that sounds incredible. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on, you want me to get his info for you? That sounds incredible. Bro, get some of that Filipino wiener and no commitment (laughs) necessary. No commitment necessary. What an incredible way. Yes, let's do that. (laughs) Alvin Sam, shots fired. Okay, yo, Alvin, thank you for the uh, super chat, man. Appreciate it. Are you down for Are you down for Impria? Here we go. Wait, no, I'm I think sorry. we did this Only one. committed relationships for me. Okay, we had. Uh, we have a picture. Yo, Conan 19. I'm 32, six foot, handsome, 215 pounds, great beard and tattoos. I shave my head and make 40 to 50k a year. Mm-hmm. The dating pool of women here is impossible right now. Or, in <laughs> wait, the dating pool of women here in in, in what? In Bro, can you guys please spell check? Hey guys, real quick. <laughs> it's called Grammarly. Put your thing in grammar. I know I say this every podcast. You're paying us money. Make sure, like, you don't have to write it in YouTube. Write it on a notepad. Put it in Grammarly. Copy and paste into YouTube. Okay. Grammarly has a free. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I have enough of an issue stuttering yeah. as. Uh, it by is. the way, it, I, he goes. I'm from Lib, Libtard, USA. Just you know, move to somewhere else. Move to San Diego. Move to Scottsdale. Single, single move to Dallas. Like, Arizona. Arizona. Move to Tampa. Move to a place where there's lots of attractive women. Single for like eight years. I'm an outspoken. Okay, got it. Um, is he asking for? No, he's shooting he's a shot. Oh, wait, no, he he's, a, no, no, hold on. he's not even, he's just saying. An outspoken he's, conservative, that might be why. No, no, dude, 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 you're not. Being an outspoken conservative, move to Orange County, be an outspoken conservative, they will be falling off you. They'll be falling off you, bro. Yeah. Trust me. They, they were doing those, they were doing the, 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 the uh, protests against the mask in Orange County during the middle of the pandemic. Go to Orange County right now. I promise you have no trouble meeting a beautiful woman. There's that app for right wingers. Yeah, for I sure. For sure. Well, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a new thing. There's a new thing, however, where liberal women are having trouble meeting men. Mm-hmm. So the liberal women are having to date 
conservative men. Have you seen no this? No way. There's some new articles about this. Well, yes. because they, they value masculinity yes. and yeah. they want protection and a provider, but yes. they cannot find that in liberal men, So So now they're, they're choosing conservative men, yes. That is the definition of why I had to make serious changes in my life of who I was dating and who I was spending my time yeah. with. There are actually oh, a lot of... Liberal men weren't a great deal or what? <laughs> well, they were sweet, compassionate, kind, and treated me beautifully, but, but is that masculinity what wasn't there. Mm. Yeah. Ah. There are a lot of recent studies. So I started dating showing. conservative men. Yeah, <laughs> There are a lot of recent studies that are showing that um, men that are like continuously physically fit tend to be more conservative as well as like mm -hmm. on the attraction scale and the in the scale of um, like financial success. Oh by the way, the 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 hip to waist ratio for women, the corollary was a 1.65 to 1 shoulder to waist ratio in men and women report having more orgasms with men who have broader shoulders. Broader shoulders oh. in comparison to their waist. <laughs> there you go. I, I will show I'll show you all oh, these okay. studies. Hold on. C come on. Okay. All right. We have Conan here. Uh, hey man, thank you appreciate it. Uh, I guess uh, yeah, move, He's a bro. giga move, chad. Move, He's a giga move, chad. Move. All right. He's Dual shot. Thank you, man. Do you think a man should secure provide for a woman after he has achieved his goals, i.e. financial security, home, etc.? Women should, would rather wait at the finish line instead of going on a journey with a man than expecting a fulfilling life at the end. But wouldn't postmodern feminism like be it to like disprove his statement history. right there? Like women are saying that they like they want to get out of like the man's grasp, right? They want their own lives. They want to be independent. They want to, uh, well, right? So like, well, I think I think those women, for, you're correct. But mm -hmm. I will tell you, as being 45 and and then being pretty successful, uh, my dating pool has expanded 50x. So I will tell you, they they are waiting. They definitely are waiting. And if you talk to other guys in my position, they're going to tell you the same thing. Well, they're waiting. They're waiting. Like, 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 waiting. like it, it, it's crazy to me how many girls that I knew 10 years ago, and then now mm -hmm. that, that now that they're I like have out. a little bit of clout, they're like, they're I've, like always, I've always had a crush on you. Like, yeah. no, the fuck you didn't. <laughs> you didn't have a crush on me. You <laughs> fucked my friends. I'm not stupid. You didn't give a, you wouldn't have pissed on me on when I was on fire when I was 30 years. When I was a 30 year old <laughs> captain in the Air Force, you didn't care about me at all. Now, all of a sudden they do. And I, that's just one thing that I've noticed. So no, they are waiting. Rich Cooper is correct. A lot when, of women right. like, they try to like they just want to be there at the end of the day and they want to, they want everything they expect everything but you weren't even on the journey with this man yeah, to get to that rich success. cooper's quote is women do not care about the struggle they wait at the mm -hmm. finish line and they fuck the winners and, yeah. and i have i will yeah. tell you for my it's just my personal anecdotal experience that is exactly what i see that is exactly what i see girls do not care about how i made the money they don't care how about how i became successful mm -hmm. and they don't care about all the reps that i did the reps and sets i did to be able to bench press all this yeah. all they care about is the results do you yeah. notice that in younger women more yeah, than anything for else sure, for sure like, and, and I also notice that, and, and I also notice that the men that are in my cohort are dating younger women yeah. because of this, because they want a, they want less drama. It's not about the entitlement. It's just like like they just want less drama from the women that they're dating, and these women have fewer traumatic experiences. Right, but they're shown drama. to not be like good lifelong partners statistically. What do you mean, when they're younger? Yeah, when they're younger, like at, I would like say from that's eighteen. Not true. No, statistically speaking, like that is true. Like well, it's. Like women that are like eighteen to yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think eighteen is too young. It's like eighteen to twenty-one or something is like that's well, like one of the, the age one of the highest but... like divorce rates in terms like. Well, can I ask you a question? Can I can I ask why you chose to date someone younger than you? I, I, I didn't choose. So okay. like when I was there, I just she, she was like when I met her, I was like uh -huh. I want to date you. I just knew that I had okay. no idea, had no clue how old she was, and she had um she had a a, a procedure because she had a lump and she had mm -hmm. to have a double mastectomy, and mm -hmm. so she got breast implants. So if you saw her from the outside, it's very hard for you to believe that this girl's 21. She's be, mm. Because generally you don't see that until later in life. And so I thought she was older and then we got to know each other and then okay. she's like, yeah, I don't, I can't even go with you to a bar because I'm not 21 So yet. would your preference be like older? My preference, would, really? be, my preference would be her. To, to be honest with you, if I wasn't in a relationship with her, I'd be single. Yeah. I was very, very happy being single. So that, that would not be it. And that's, you know, that's the issue. My, my life was complete before I met her mm -hmm. and it's really awesome now. And if, if things don't work out, my yeah. life will still be complete. Which is how it should be. She should be, just be adding to your life. She does. So the woman she, she, she yes, needs to exactly. benefit you. She yeah. helps She helps yeah. with the business, which is very, very mm -hmm. important. And she understands my values, which is very so important. So if women are born with inherent value because of their looks or their... Right. So, so when you're talking about physical attraction from the opposite sex, yes, because I don't want to, I don't want to misuse this. If a woman is a cardiologist and saves your child's life, through heart surgery, she has incredible intrinsic value that has nothing to do with her physical attractiveness. I want to make sure that we understand okay, this that's because I because this 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 gets way misconstrued. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a man does that makes him attractive, what a man does that makes him popular. So, like say Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. makes a lot of money and he's the quarterback for the Jets, and he's physically attractive because he makes a lot of money and he's the quarterback for the Jets. They're the same thing. Madame Curie may have been very <coughs> attractive to her husband. Martin donated one hundred dollars. 
Google you, these simps. Priya, I don't chase women as I'm not hurting for options, but I am a one woman <laughs> and I love she's how quality. Simp. You won't be receiving a DM from me. But if you want to get in touch with me, email my charity. Contact at martinfdn.org. <laughs> He's not except, but he donates money. Go ahead. I got a better idea. Hey, do you want to come to Babies in Toyland on Thursday? We're, running, uh, we're uh, doing a charity. <laughs> no, it's not with me. Like My girlfriend's coming. Do you want to come? It's like 300 girls coming. We're raising money for charity on Thursday. Where is it? It's going to be in uh, Avalon in Los Angeles. Uh... Sure. Sound good? Okay, cool. So, there you go. <laughs> See how easy that was, guys? See, there you go. Beautiful. All right, okay. We got Sask, Sask Finest here. Stop simping. You guys are disappointing as men. They have Instagram. Shoot your shot there. I'm here to support the channel. That's it. Okay. Thank you for the yeah, Canadian 15 man. Appreciate Where, it. Where's the Baghdad one? I saw the Baghdad one. I, I it. Was it a super chat? I don't know. It's yeah, it was a super we, chat we for 50 lot, bucks. We have a lot to get through. Um, let's see. Uh, we have... What a simp. Uh... Argentinian 500, thank you. To Brian and chat, what do you think about plastic surgery on a girl? To Brian and chat, what do you think about plastic surgery on a girl? Honestly, I'm not, uh, I, I don't like women with plastic surgery, so fake lips, fake tits, lipo, BBL, um, labiaplasty, not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. But lips you aren't plastic surgery, they're yeah, aesthetics. I, I definitely have, yeah. that's what I, I that's what I do for a living. I do medical aesthetics. You, Lips you, are not plastic you surgery. Put, I do Botox okay. and like yeah, so semant he, semantics. To, to, to him, it's the same. Thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I will tell you because we because it, unfairly or not because so much pressure is put on a woman for her physical attractiveness. Mm. Good plastic surgery is very like mm. again like shout out to Chris Corsandi in Las Vegas. Like good, excellent plastic surgery. We're talking like twenty five thousand dollar boob jobs. Like incredible that stuff. I don't blame women for getting that. I absolutely don't. You can't even tell that it's plastic surgery. Mm. I blame them. I, I blame them. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what if you can't tell, Brian? Yeah, but, like, what but, if you can't Brian, Brian, the thing is, what if, it's it, such it, good if work? a woman is being judged on her physical attractiveness and she gets something done where you can't tell that it's plastic surgery and she looks better, I can tell. Would you, would you not? I, 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 can, <laughs> so I can tell. I can show you some rhinoplasties you would not be able to tell. Oh, rhinoplasty. Okay, yeah. that's. I thought you were talking about yeah. implants. No, no, no. I can I, tell. Obviously, <laughs> implants, I can tell. That's just like, What was your question? What was your question? <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, you had a question for me. Oh, no, no, no. It was just the thing we were just talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As far as plastic surgery goes, I mean, I'll touch on it really quick. I mean, basically, <laughs> like, take, guys, guys, please, guys, please, okay? Um, please, if one person is talking, I mean, it's been pretty much a shit show this entire night. Whoever's talking, please just be quiet. Let them speak, okay? So just let me address this plastic surgery thing really quick. Um, I would prefer, for example, some women have small breasts. They want to get fake tits. I, even if a girl was flat before, so she had super small breasts, I would prefer that over some big fake titties. Same with lipo. I'd prefer a girl who had a little bit of belly fat over the lipo belly. Uh, what else? Uh, BBL. I'd prefer a girl oh, with yeah. like an average butt or like no butt versus a BBL. I agree with you on that. Uh, what else? Lips. I'd prefer a girl who had a small upper lip than if she had Botox, or what, what the fuck do they, I don't know, whatever. Uh, they put Lip collagen in. They put collagen in. I'd prefer that. I'd prefer a girl with giant fucking labia over a girl with labia placed. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think you've seen a giant labia, though. No, brother. Brother, <laughs> I'm oh, You don't know the show, man. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of large labia, Michael. I, okay, all right. Well, then that makes I sense. I have. I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you on all that. I'm with you on all that except the breast implants. Breast implants are incredible. Other than that, I, I don't Fair care. I Why? Fair Wasn't that your email one? I have a non-profit. Was, wasn't your non-profit Big Labias Matter? Big Labia Matter. BLM. Yeah. Uh, that's personal. That was you personal. are a funny man. That was super personal. Um, what do you mean? I'm just Big saying. Labia Matter? Big labia I think matter. that's funny as hell. That's my, that's my non-profit. I, I am a, I, I am a advocate for women. Small I'm, dick matters. Look, look I'll, I'll wrap up on this thing. So. I mean, you mentioned the small dick thing. I think, <laughs> listen, women have can have preferences when it comes to, like, you know, a man's size down there. I happen to have a preference too, huh? huh? Oh, huh? You, didn't know, <laughs> you didn't know that men could have preferences when it came to pussies? Hmm? That's hmm. right. That's right. Oh, I have a preference. Really preference. Yeah. My DMs shit. are open if you have a fucking <laughs> large lady. <Okay. laughs> All right. Okay. Let's get these uh, super chats out the way. Thank you there for the thing. Yeah, lar the large lady. in the DMs. <laughs> My DMs are open if you have a large labia. Seriously. BD underscore Atlas. Okay. Conan19, Foxy Cleopatra, do you date white guys? Who's that? Foxy Is that you? That would be me. Do you date white guys? I used to. I used to. I haven't in a what, while. What happened? 
I was in a relationship, so. She close, waited. Close. She oh, waited. I was in a relationship. She waited four months and it was horrible. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did date a white guy back in COVID 19, way back when. Well, we did some crazy shit during I was COVID, bored. didn't we? I was so well, bored. We were dating some fucking loonies back then. I was so bored. Uh, bored. During COVID. Uh, let, was COVID, COVID relationship doesn't matter, right? Exactly, COVID, COVID yes. bodies don't count. Is that what we're doing? COVID bodies don't count. I'm down. I'm down. Petition to start that. <laughs> Just a reminder, though, Conan, he's asking if you're single here or he's asking if you date white guys. He is the guy who said he's 32, six feet, handsome, 215 pounds, great beard, tattoos. He shapes his head and he makes 40 to 50K a year. What do you, th what do you think? You down? You down for him? Six, mm. six feet, handsome, mm. 215 pounds. I'll sleep on it. All right, sleep on it. Okay, that. there we go. <laughs> sleep right. on it. All right, Bender the Offender. Hey, thank you, man. Question for the whole panel. Do you think that mothers in the U.S. society are more self-centered or less concerned with their child's future than 50 years ago? Absolutely. 100% no. yes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Disagree. Yes. I mean, you should have kids if you're... You know, um, I'm, I'm going to say no just because it's an evolutionary design. I... I I think what they're doing though may hurt their children's yeah. future because they're seeing things short term as far as long term, but as far as the actual emotion, I bet they're exact. I mean, because uh, a Honestly. woman willing to die for her child is an evolutionary <laughs> adaptation that doesn't just go away. Martin donated one hundred dollars. Thank you, Martin. Yeah. Mike, you're frightening Priya. You're too hoped up on energy drinks. My charity help dogs and horses, not hoes. <laughs> Priya, your new nickname is no, Prius. I hate that nickname. You're small, quiet, and seem economically sound. <laughs> I, hate I can Priuses. beat you, Mike, from a distance. What the fuck? I hate this that is nickname. beating anything. I have a girlfriend. I, I asked her to come to my charity event. Yeah, he's not scaring oh. me. I, I love cars. Priuses are a garbage piece of trash vehicle. <laughs> I'm super excited to make uh, to have to interview Priya on the red carpet and then send it right to you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> so excited. Yeah. Hey, you want to help Shots us with fired. this hose charity? We're going to do charity Shots for the hose. Fired. Okay. Damn it, Martin. They're all saying Priya. And Wait, Shots question. Really quick question that. on the Prius thing. Who here would date a guy who has a Prius? Like, is that, a, is that like a, is that an issue? It's if green. He, if he has I a like Prius? I didn't even pay attention to the car. I mean, the. Is that like car. kind of a, okay. some girls have like, it's, it's some, I, I mean, some I people think, think it's a would be car. better. Tesla would be better. Oh, that's true. Tesla. Tesla. I mean, yeah, that's right. Tesla's doing good there. I love I Larry David, and I'm Larry sure David in this show, he's always driving a Prius, so I have a thing for that. Okay, you like Larry David. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. Old white men. <laughs> Ooh. Just him. Just him. <laughs> All right, Puffy Vegas, I've changed my IG. Can the girls rate it now? Uh, wait. Puffy, the, the trigger for Instagram rating, let me just double check it. It is via Streamlabs only. I guess you don't have, let me see. Bro, it's, it's, did you read the description? Hello? <laughs> um, I've changed my IG, can the girls write it now? From the black girl in the bikini ending with the girls in the polka shirt, the black girl with, oh, this is the rating. He's rating everybody. Can you like point me read it? Seven point five, five, six, seven, seven, five, six, seven, 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 seven point five. Wait, what was that? Okay. I think he's talking about I'm confused. I'm All confused. right, that's the rating. Now judge me. Um, now judge Puffy, me. Bro. <laughs> Puffy, you got to do bro, it. Do, bro, do you sell uh, crack? Like, what bro. are you doing? You're just like tricking off all this money like this, bro. I can't bro. even see him. There's like five people in his picture. Wait, yeah. you didn't, he didn't even, first off, Puffy, you didn't even that's link one. your no. IG, but Puffy, you yeah, do. Yeah, it's going to be Puffy Vegas. That's going to be his IG. I have a fact. He didn't. He didn't hit the. Did he didn't hit the, the threshold though for us to do a rating of his IG? He so did three one hundred dollars super chats. It is. Uh, is it, you know, what do you think? Did we do? Oh, do you have it pulled up? Don't ask yeah. Me. Uh, I'm the one who should be rating your IG, by the way, buddy. <laughs> well, while we wait on that, okay, let me get through the rest. Azul sixty nine. Hey, good to see you back in the chat, man. Here is your Baghdad. Michael. By the way, Azul. Did you send me a DM on Instagram? Send me a DM go. on Instagram. Michael, oh, I was I in Baghdad scared. when you was still in Hey, Daddy's pimp, bag. when you were in Baghdad during the first war, I was 14 years old. So got that one wrong. Keep going. Oh, shit. Okay. Would you accept a mission to destroy your uranium enrichment plant? Not in Iraq because they didn't have any fucking uranium. I don't know if you were aware of what happened over the last 20 years. You might want to catch up. Oh. Keep going. Oh, this is, this is the fucking, this is the, uh, the, the, uh, the plot for uh, Top Gun 2. Okay, look at underground <laughs> at the end of the game. Defense I just realized, yeah. So first off, fifth gen, fifth gen Sukhoi 57 aircraft, they don't, there are no flying Sukhoi 57s. Once you look it up, they're not, they're supposedly stealth. They don't fucking work. And number two, uh, the, yeah, that's the, that's basically the plot for uh, 
for Top Gun 2. I just realized that. That's, that's what he's doing there. That's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, there's no oh, uranium yes. enrichment plant in Iraq in 1990. <laughs> wait, question. So wait, I fought the second one in 03. Oh, oh. Why were you two arguing, or was it you? What? Why what? were you guys arguing at the beginning of the show? I'm trying to remember. About uh, physical fighting. violence. The, oh, yeah, the domestic violence thing. Domestic is so extreme. I wouldn't call it domestic. No. No, you we wouldn't call it violence, but it's definitely domestic. <laughs> Kelly, what were you Does upset about? Does it matter? About? You were upset we're about We're bringing something. it back up. About what? Oh, I'm like, no. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I, I was on, just yeah. saying that, because I thought she said she was a relationship coach, or like a... Um, like a relationship. I never called myself a coach or a guru. I never said that I was like perfect at this. I, I think you said just that said I like you give advice. Yeah. So I was just saying that. I was just like, me personally, I wouldn't take advice from someone who wasn't in a relationship. If I was trying to get relationship advice. But I've had successful relationships, and I'm taking a break right now. That doesn't mean I'm incapable. What do you mean you've had successful relationships? Because like, if you had successful relationships, you'd be in one right now. That's that's not that's not true at all. You can have successful relationships, we and where you here, learn about yourself, and where you become. But I kind of feel like that thing. Like every therapist has all their shit together. Every doctor is hundred percent healthy. Yeah. To yeah. like just devil's advocate. Yeah, like, for me, you know? for me, like the reason why I'm, I, I'm not a relationship coach, but the reason why my clients <laughs> keep coming to me, I have six hundred clients now. The reason why they keep coming to me is because other clients have success, and okay. they take pictures, yeah. and they show success, and then they have more success, and then they have more success. That's the reason why. The only thing. So if I was in a relationship or not in a relationship or that that doesn't matter the only thing that matters is the results of my clients which my clients get tons right. of results so yeah, I agree with that yeah all right we have puffy vegas here axis vegas i have 54 yeah. million views on my youtube channel i would like to meet her i'll take you out to dinner we have a couple drinks and you can teach me how to be better okay we're i'm super who, confused here okay axis vegas is me to? Uh, I have 54 million you on my youtube channel puffy i don't know if we can look that up if he actually has 54 million i'll look it up right now like to meet her. We don't know who her is. That's a pronoun <laughs> that we can't, can't figure out who that is. Take you out to dinner. Have a couple drinks so you can teach me how to be better. And we don't know what better means. Bro, you're a little, you're, bro, you are dropping so, cheese, man. So man Hit me up on fucking Instagram and let me help you, dog. This is crazy. What are you doing? I think he's so he's he's addressing you initially. Then he says, I would like to meet her, which is maybe like in a platonic way. He wants to take you and your girlfriend out to dinner to socialize? Right, I'm on Puffy I, Vegas. I'm okay. on dating learn advice. From you. Uh, okay, here we Next. go. Next. <laughs> what is going on here? All right, we have, here, I'm going to continue. Ransom G, hey, thank you, man. Gents, when Giga Chad status is reached, you get real shots at Priya, Priya's. Tonight's proof, so build discipline and genuine burning desire will come. 24, aspiring F football coach and physical therapist here, have discipline because she ain't choosing you yet. <laughs> All right, we have what? Yo, Brian, you should take, you should take on a date. The girl next to you, you look nice together. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, she doesn't like flannel, so that's a that's a wrap. You just can't wear it on a date, Ryan. Non-negotiable. Uh -huh. Non-negotiable. <laughs> I thought horse girls were a turn off. Kellyanne. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Hey, thank you for coming, Kelly. Appreciate it. Get home Thanks. safe. Bye. Everybody say bye to Kelly. All, all of you are invited all. Thursday if you guys want to come to my charity. Okay? Oh, you guys okay. in Los Angeles. Um, it's a red carpet charity. We got Getty photographers there. You guys are all welcome to come. What is it for? Oh, well, uh, this one is for troops overseas, the Douglas J. Uh, Green hey, Foundation. Uh, he was lost in Iraq, and his family set up a foundation. So we could we send care packages to troops that are currently deployed. We actually assemble the care packages. And so we already, I think they sent like 1.4 million care packages already. Oh, mm -hmm. oh wait, I had something for I had something for Kelly, but fuck. Okay. You can just ask me. I'll just pretend pretend to be. <laughs> you're you're going to pretend to be a petite Vietnamese woman. Uh -huh, that's right. I'm um, good Brian, at that. I thought horse girls were uh, a no go for you. So what? I'm out anyways. That's that is true. Horse girls definitely red flag, major red flag. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, fuck. Sorry, I lost my. Uh, sorry. Uh, just leave it. Just leave it. Don't worry about it. Um, wait, okay, hold on. Sorry, my fucking notes thing closed out here. So. Do, 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 do. Sorry, guys, do, one sec. Do, 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 do. Okay, here it is. So, uh, we were mal pal. I was dating a guy and left him for his best friend who had better qualities. He's my current partner. Mm -hmm. What happened there? Um, so, I had met this guy through Tinder. Uh, I normally don't do dating apps, but it was a low point, uh -huh. and I just wanted to meet somebody. And I went out with him for about a month. Um, it was going to end up a long distance, so I left the relationship because I was like, it's not worth a long distance. And then I pursued his friend after because I had seen he had qualities that I liked. Mm. Okay. And that's who you're with now, right? At least she broke yeah. up with a dude. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, qualities would be uh, same paying salary, uh, good guy. Okay, and then you said gender expectations and paying for dates, I believe in absolute equality. So you mm. think like 50 50 mm. on the first date? Okay. Unless I'm overly impressed or they're overly impressed. Mm. I don't mind suggestions. Word. Like, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll go around the table. Who should pay on the first date? He, him. Whoever got the bread. <laughs> the man. Who asked me out? Who asked who out? If you asked have me you out. Ever, have you ever asked a guy out on the date? Yeah, for sure. Did you who, pay who for it? Who pays in that situation? Though? I did. You pay for the really? whole thing or you split? I mean, I was like, yeah, like, do you want to go grab something to eat? My treat. You want to go grab something to eat? Like, my treat. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I have my own money. Yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> Why would I ask you out and make you pay for it? Did you, make, did you make this guy wait? Mm, did I? It was so long ago. Oh, it wasn't the first date. It wasn't the first date. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about you? What about you? Um, wait, sorry. Can you Who should pay on the first date? Oh, um, I'm impartial. It doesn't matter. But every guy that I've been on a date with has paid. So Okay. I'm um, also quite impartial. Okay. All right. I always offer. You yeah. offer. Yeah. 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 That's not. That's wrong. That's wrong. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Question. Sure? So. <laughs> let, let's How much do you want me to send you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yo. That's wrong. <laughs> so let's say you and me are on a date, right? And the whatever the fucking check comes you do how role play how, how do you do the fake reach oh okay i'm kind of excited i will take out an offer of like but i'm praying that he'll pray, pay. Okay. pray. Yes. And, I'll, yes. and i'll even do a second time are you sure like no like i'm sincere okay I'm so yeah you're gonna get laid for sure doing that <laughs> <laughs> you're manipulating these men into sleeping with you no i don't mind paying i just think the first initial payment whether it's an ice cream anything mm. the first initial thing i think it's just a polite thing okay so 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 you do the token gesture let's say though that you because you said you hope i guess you hope that they don't accept so Let let's say know. let's say a guy takes you actually takes you up on your token gesture of paying what's your reaction oh of course i'll be nice to their face but if i wouldn't be interested in them long term even mm. if otherwise the date went well and um it's happened to me before i dated a guy and he was really cute it, we hit it off and then when the bill came I, was, I offered him some cash and he took it and he was like counting dimes and it just turned me off because it, it just shows me okay disregard the dime counting but <laughs> but let's just say it was a smooth transition where you made the token offer. He accepts said token offer. There's no like weird. It wouldn't be a deal breaker. It shit. wouldn't be a deal breaker, but I would hope in the long run it wouldn't come to bite me in the ass because usually it shows me that they might be a little bit mm. cheap or you know have oh, different value. Okay. Not cheap, but uh, different values. I'm like a really generous person, so. Are you? Yeah. Even though your offers of. I told you just the first payment, the first date, the first time we hang out. Isn't that? Don't you think that's a bit arbitrary? I don't know. I just think it's a sign of respect. After that, I don't mind. It's, it's traditional. Arbitrary. Can I yes. ask a question? Why would you expect the man to have like respect for you when he doesn't really know you or anything like that? Oh, it's just like if, uh, even with a friend, if you're inviting them out, you know, a family member, anyone, you expect. Actually, them I, to... well, I, I mean, uh, it depends the context, but I mean, if I, if I go get food with a friend, we pay for it. Yeah, I, I, we I each mean, pay you know what I mean? No, no, you're no. In a well, hold on. What do you mean? I was like, if I go out with my friend, you want to go grab some meat, we usually pay for our own meal unless it's just okay, yeah, okay, yes. together. Like, yes. But if I'm inviting like a friend out, like I just mean in general, I think it's just a nice thing to do for someone and especially in a dating scenario. But wouldn't you be, but that would be a nice thing for you to do then to pay for it as well. Yeah, but I guess it's a little bit traditional. Okay. But so just to be clear, so you make the offer. So you verbalize the offer. You're like, oh, can I, how would you say it? Sure, you don't. Or we can do half, half. Or I'll reach and be like, "Okay, oh, hey, you'll reach for the purse." Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Do you think communication is important in a relationship? Uh, yes. Okay. Where are you but, going with that? Well, you're quite. I mean, women often complain about men are not great communicators. Men, you know, they're you know, communication is so important. But you <coughs> doing this token thing is you quite Apostle literally Columbus not Victor communicating. One hundred dollars. She is generous, but her explanation of her thought process is the definition of avarice. I think you should really know yourself and accept your own opinions, not lie yourself. That's the only way to move forward and improve. Smile, much love, Brie. 
Yo, Apostle Victor, hey, thank you, man. Very much appreciated. Thank you for the TTS. Um, so, you know, isn't it poor communication skills to say one thing but mean the other? Absolutely. In other words, to make an, a, an offer <clears throat> to pay, even though you would, that would be pretext for you to know if he took you up on said verbalization, to take you up on the literal words that came out of your mouth, that would be cause to either be negative brownie points or just a full-on deal breaker. Isn't that poor communication? Yes, technically, but I think also it's a cultural thing. It's the same way people, if you go to a guest house, oh, can I help you with anything? Oh, can I help, you know, bring out some things? I feel like sometimes it's just a polite way of doing something. But without... if, if they take you up on the offer, are you... Looking down on them? Like, are, are you, do you have I the right a... to be upset that no. they took you on, no. up on the I, offer? No, I wouldn't ever be, like, upset, like, angry. I just, well, you, just you not Well, you just match. said you wouldn't... It's just not a match culturally, right? Like, I don't want to be with someone that doesn't have the same thought process. That's you're, fair. And you're look. tricking him, though, because you're giving him the idea that you are someone who is willing to go 50-50. You should be up front and mm -hmm. say, hey, I want a man to pay for me. It's entrapment. I don't know, though. Almost. Is that even... <laughs> I don't know. Is that, isn't that that kind of rude, though, to not reach for the wallet? Just assume? I don't think there's any problem with girls wanting men to pay yeah. For the first so date. So how should you go about it? You should just tell them, hey, I <laughs> when we go on a first date, I expect a traditional man to pay for my... I don't know if that's the best <laughs> yeah, I, was I, was gonna gonna I mean, you're I going to get your... Listen, if she was hot enough, I'd be like, like, okay, traditional, <laughs> whatever, whatever the fuck. Well, I'd, I'd rather, I'd right, rather whatever. let it go downhill and let the guy be like, hey, you're going to pay half for this? Right. So I can be like, Ugh. Then he'd be like, oh, I'm going to pay half. Yeah, so, and then so, I'd be fake so, about it. So the the... The, the point of the first date, actually, uh, you know, I actually like the way my boy Zarka said it. He said, the point of the first date is to bring anxiety to zero. And so if you're, uh, on, if you're having a date with a girl and there's a question over who should pay, you should just pay so anxiety goes to zero. That's always the way I've done it. In fact, one of the things I've done is if there's a group of us, uh, well, this is something I learned from Justin Waller. He does this too. We'll get up and we'll go find the, uh, wait, the waitress and we'll give her our credit card before the dinner's even halfway done. So we're, we'll try to pay for it. So when the check comes, it's already been paid for. And like, we'll try to beat each other to go pay for it. Cause that's what we do. That's, that's, I have chosen traditional gender roles in my relationship. If that's not what you, what you want, if you want a polyamorous relationship, or if you want a relationship where she's your sugar mama, then you can choose that as well. In my relationship, I've chosen traditional gender roles where I pay for my girlfriend's stuff. And if my girlfriend has a girlfriend, I'll probably pay for her stuff too. Sure. For me, for me personally, exactly. I always go on first dates with the expectation and willingness to pay. I'm never going to do something that theoretically would be out of my like price range or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I always go in with the mindset that I will probably pay, but mm -hmm. it's obviously like with other like romantic gestures, it's really nice if they do pay, but it's not necessarily it's not expected. expected. Yeah, like yeah. in New York and we're like where I live in New York, like that it's like one of the most expensive like yeah, dates in the world. So like to expect a man to like just cover like a two hundred and fifty dollar date is like a lot on the first date when he doesn't even know you and he's in, he's investing that into you like not knowing where things are Who going to the go. Spot for the that's why you gotta talk to heavy hitters. I mean, that's just New York. I mean, you go to a New nice York dinner. New York is big as hell. You go, you, go get street tacos. That's true, but like go I mean, your men, budget. A lot of the times, like men will choose the place because they they want to do they want to have a nice gesture. They want to mm -hmm. do something nice. But I have a lot of men that talk to me and say like. What, how do I tell a girl, like when do I tell a girl that I want to go 50-50 because I can't do this anymore, I'm breaking my pocket, like, but like they, they want to put on that sort of facade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, so, so let, let me explain this because I have this for my clients. So I, one of the well, things I teach in my program is how to get comps, like how to show up with like 10 girls. A big thing in Los Angeles, Miami, and Los, uh, in Las Vegas is if you have 10 girls or five girls with you, they just give you a comp bottle, they'll give you comp rooms, they'll give you comp dinner. And the guys that I, that I teach this, a lot of times are like, they're trying to do it every day so that they don't have to pay for dinner. And I tell them to stop, bro. If the problem is you're worried about taking a girl to dinner, then let's stop worrying about girls mm -hmm. and worry about your fucking money for Income. a while. Yeah. This is a problem. Mm -hmm. So what, cause what that means is you got money up to three, but you're, but you are, you got girls up to a three, but money's at one. 
right? Now girls are up at a seven, but money's at two. Now money needs to catch up to girls yeah. or surpass girls. Actually, the better thing is for it to surpass. Yeah. So if money's at one and girl, your skill with women are like at a five, money needs to catch up. Stop worrying about like, oh, what do I say to this girl? Let's chill on that. For, let's learn. Uh, let's learn a skill. Let's become valuable. Let's make more money first and not have to worry about that situation. I'm not saying lead with money to get women, but if you take a woman on a date and you are tripping over the bill, let's make more money. That's yeah. that. Yeah. That should Period. be the answer. To that. Yep. Sure, yeah. But like, what about the average man? That's like that doesn't that that makes the average salary and like you know this is inevitably not going to well, be the, in the top one percent. No, no, no one, no one, no one. It's not. No one has the privilege. Not everyone has to live in Manhattan. Right, you understand? Mm -hmm. yeah, living no, in Manhattan, like then just don't live in Manhattan. I don't live in Manhattan because I just think like I can afford it, but I think about all the time and money that mm -hmm. is wasted mm -hmm. on HOA fees and incredible like expensive Uber rides. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't live in that city. I live in Las Vegas with no state income tax. It's mm -hmm. still because it's my fucking money. That's the reason why I do it. it. No one has to live. No one made you live in Manhattan. Leave Manhattan. Move to Scottsdale. The women are prettier and it's a lot less expensive. Mm -hmm. Move to Orange County. Move to Dallas. Move to Tampa. Bay, move to San Antonio, move to Austin, move to a place where there's beautiful women and it's not that expensive. I would stay the fuck out of lower Manhattan. There's no way I would live there. Mm -mm. I don't think men should pay for first dates. Really? Ooh, hot take, hot take. So have you, have you ever been on a date with someone and not paid for it? The first date? Personally? I pay for my own. Certainly. So you, you've never, you've been in a situation oh, yeah. where you haven't Look, paid I've, for hers? I've, yes, I have date. been on dates where I've paid, but I've saved a lot of money. Let me just say that was, was a so to you, saving money is more important than how the date goes. Well, look, listen, I'm, I, and I, I would advise men that, that this strategy will, like the best thing that you can do is, despite the potential chance of you feeling like a sucker, uh, if you want to min-max your success when it comes to women, you ought to pay for the first date. However, for me, it's more a matter of principle. Like there's a whole bunch of things that you could in theory, min max to to elevate your chances of sleeping with a woman, dating her, having a success, whatever. Um, but I think your integrity at some point, you know, you could fucking simp for a girl and get the pussy through simping. Maybe like like that might work. I don't recommend. I certainly don't recommend I don't doing recommend that. that either. Well, no. I certainly don't recommend doing it. But there's certainly like certain things that a guy could do in an effort to get pussy, which would either contravene his his own value system or like put him in like a weak position I, and so my whole thing is but, yeah I'll, I'll just finish this up my whole my whole thing is is that there the way that a lot of people move nowadays first off you got foodie calls so girls be going on dates with dudes just for fucking a, a dinner they're bored they don't have a genuine interest in the guy the second thing is, is people are dating multiple people at this point. I mean, you are dating two guys or whatever the fuck. Granted, it's, it seems like you're being ethical about it and you're yeah, upfront, so that's, that's yeah. fair. So, however, there are women who are not ethical about the fact that they've got five, seven dudes that they're dating. They're fucking three dudes. They're fucking two dudes. They're fucking one other dude. The dating meta is so fucking, it's, it's uh, fucked up beyond all repair, foobar. And, uh, you know, as a... For both men and women, you have to go into a situation with a new person. You don't know them. It's it's could very well be the case that that guy you're going on a date with has three chicks he's, he's fucking. So you got to protect yourself. And likewise, men, if you're going on a date with a girl, bro, you guys might have some girlfriends you know move in like some fucking shady ways that are fucking, that got five dudes they're fucking. They've got three dudes who are for food. A dude who's their u Uber in their phone, yeah. food in the phone. So you don't pay for Verizon. a first date all the time because of the possibility that they're talking to other people and stuff. Pretty much because because you don't get boyfriend treatment until you're until you're only talking to me. If you're talking to other guys, they can pay for your shit. I'm not going to pay. So for when your someone's shit. your girlfriend, you then take on the role of paying for. If things. you're committed to me, then then I will so fall into people more. show their true okay. colors when you don't give them what they want. If you, if you don't pay I, for everything, if you don't give them everything they want, people with interest are still going to come around. It might be an eyebrow razor, but it would be like, all right, let me see where you're going with this big guy. Because, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Like, I, like I said, like, I when you have your own money, you're not like, oh, I need a guy to pay for me. So it's like, if you don't pay for the first day, I'm definitely going to be like, that was strange. But I like you, so let's see. Sure. Like we're gonna have a yeah, conversation look, about this me, later. Yeah, look, trust me. This shit, this shit loses me, girls. So like, maybe most of you guys don't. But like, I, honestly, I'm the type of guy. Like, 
I'll, like for example, I'll intentionally, like if, if there's something funny I could say on a date, I'm gonna say that shit like and, and take Victor the date, you know? Apostol oh. donated $100. I have more to say on this. A relationship thing. is usually trial and error. You go to a date not with the expectation to find your life partner, just to test the waters. Saving money on the other hand is part of a final goal. You should act your best but respect your principles on a date. Yeah, so, yo, Victor, so, Paul, thank so, you very so, much. So the answer is go to El Dorado. Go to fucking, uh, like, uh, go Arkansas. Go to a barbecue place. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing. What I'm saying, like, don't go Get to tacos. Catch. Don't go to Catch. Don't go to fucking Masters yeah, in Newport. Yeah. That's the point. Like, there's other ways to do this. But, like, no, I, like, I, ex I want traditional... I want something traditional for my girl, so I act traditional as a man. That's the you, thing. Do you think men should pay on the first date then? On your uh, they don't have view? to. No, no. Let's, see, let, let's make this very clear. I, I deal with what is and not what ought. I talk about descriptions, not prescriptions. He's right. If you want to min, min max, meaning the highest percentage of women you end up hooking up with, you should pay on the first date. But I don't have any problem with Brian saying he doesn't want to because mm -hmm. he has principles that says, says otherwise. I have just, my dating life has been so good. Like I really enjoy going on dates. I re I love it. I, I I have a lot of success on dates. That for me, I don't ever see it as like me throwing away money. Mm -hmm. And I always go on dates to play. Like, have you guys ever had the butter cake at Mastros? Has anybody had the butter cake at Mastros? Holy fucking shit! It is so good. If you like Mastros, go to Steak Forty Eight. Dude, or or, or the or the apple crumble they have at, at STK. It is so good. I go to places where I'm super excited to go anyway. Yeah. And so that's the thing. Or a lot of times, my first date is to go axe throwing. I like axe throwing. It's just something I really I'm really Really good at axe throwing okay. so i'll go to something like that to where i would go to this thing even if she wasn't there there's yeah. a place called area 15 in vegas that i go to i go do things on my first date that i would have done anyway my biggest one is i love dead mouse on stage at zook so i'm going to go on stage at dead mouse zook or go to go to see steve aoki over at omnia to me th mm -hmm. those dates cost zero because i get on, up st on stage for free but that's something i was going to do anyway sometimes that's my first date yeah so yeah and ju just to add to that like i don't i don't think anybody like if as a guy you want to pay for the first date i don't think you're wrong like this is just this is just my personal approach to mm -hmm. it. Um, you know, I've I've definitely, luckily I've been, I haven't been burned too bad and I've never been the guy to like go fucking drop 200 bucks on the first date. It's, I've always, even if I've paid, I, I'll keep it, you know, something a little more casual. There's plenty of stuff that you can do on the first date that's either free or like very low cost. In any case though, I think it's more so just protecting myself because I don't, I don't like to feel like I'm a sucker. And it's actually, it is a bit of a screening tool because there are girls in the same way that there are guys who, and, and I feel for women on this, there are guys who will sleep with you, who will have zero intention of ever committing to you, but they're gonna keep you around for pussy. Yeah. So in the same way- And they'll way, pay for the date. Yep. yep. They'll, pay for the, they'll, date. they'll yep. pay for the date. In the yep. same way that there are guys that do that, there are women that will string you along and keep mm -hmm. keep securing attention, keep securing like free, you know, you'll you'll take her to a concert, you'll take her, you'll give her your attention, you'll you'll pay for her. Maybe you even before like I mean you said you wait three months, right? To me that's fuck look, good for you. Good for you. If you can if you get guys that wait for three months, that's great. Well he is but like, whipped. Good job. He is whipped. I mean, but like been a lot of people, so huh? You know. What you say? I said it hasn't been a lot of people. Right, right, That's right. totally fine. Yeah. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is like a girl can like, if she's a hustler, she can she can get a lot out of you in the three month period of time. And like I'm just cautious of not being caught up in a chick, being caught up with a chick that's a user that's using me, mm -hmm. who's a hustler who just wants a fucking free meal. Hey, and I think hold on, I think I have I have a pretty good eye for it, but you <laughs> never right. fucking know because there's definitely some. Some unassuming chicks, some shy women, you'd never fucking think it, but they got, they got rosters, they got dudes in their phone, Uber, food, like, <laughs> and, and they're never going to give it up. So my thing is, also the other thing is, uh, I, I wrote this down, uh, if a girl still is interested in me after I've done this, which I don't, I mean, so I think society and a lot of people will view it as a social faux pas or a non-traditional thing as the guy to not pay. It's actually a really good screening tool for the girls who are really fucking down for you and really like you. Sure. And to be fair, it could be like maybe she leans a bit more progressive in the sense that she's okay with 50-50. It could be that, but it could also be even if she is a traditional girl, it could be she's so fucking into you that, hey, she, you're, she's so into you, she's, she's okay with it. She's gonna perhaps bend on her rule of the guy should pay for the first date. Um, so 
it's kind of a screening thing for low interest women. If, if that's a deal breaker for them, they're not that fucking into you because if a woman's really fucking into you, she's not, she doesn't need romance. Like, and that's a lot of the men that women sleep with, they didn't have to fucking take you on three dates. They didn't have to do all this shit for you. That kind of comes back to our conversation earlier about girls who slept with certain dudes really quick. And then Mm -hmm. this guy comes along, Oh, you got to take me on four dates and buy me shit. And, all, you know all this fucking stuff so so yeah um okay sorry we we stayed on that for uh pretty long here let's let's con- let's try to get through the soup chats we had nathan here hey thank you man 120 no question but uh let's get some fucking air horns <laughs> for nathan okay whoops all right puffy vegas one all right fine let's fucking all right let's let's do him a solid we'll react to his instagram really quick <laughs> puffy vegas thank you man youtube youtubers have a max of 500 a day have the girls please right on a scale of one to ten bro i think you're only at 400 brother what's up Am I YouTubers? Oh, no, he, he did 500. Okay, all right. Okay. We'll be nice. We'll be nice. He's been generous. Yeah, pull up his, uh, his IG. But dude's through Streamlabs, buddy. Dude through Streamlabs. Yeah, you, you, just, you just gave uh, 150, you gave $150 yep. to YouTube, man. Yeah, that's a math right there. Okay, uh, Puffy Vegas. Okay. What in the world is happening? Okay, yeah. I'll uh, let you ladies go down. first, and then, and then I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining expl- no. to Puffy what he's doing oh, wrong. Hold on, hold on. Wait, no. uh, pull up the photo where he's with the two girls. Let's pull up these these photos. No. So right off the get, I'm confused at why you feel it necessary to have all these videos and photos with a bunch of random women on your Oh, no, no, yeah. Again. But see, the thing is, Puffy, do you Next see what one. they're saying? Next photo. Like, they can tell these are random women. They can tell yeah. by your body language and the girl's body language that you yeah. don't totally. know them. These wait, are wait, not wait. your friends. Up, up, up. This shit's going to get haram. What? Up, 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 <laughs> <Okay>. up. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's click that one with the kiss. No oh, caption. No. Four no, days no. ago. No comments either. I think he's a fucking giga chat. What did 10 I out walk of 10. Into? Oh, he seems a bit. He's bro. a fucking giga chat. Hey, puff, puff, puffy, puffy, man. Just like, I'll give you access to my school server. I have a, a, a team of guys that will rate your IG and literally help you fix it. I promise you. A hundred, hundred X better. hundred X better. Yo, you, you're, you, don't, you aren't showing compliance on your Instagram. That's the problem. Is that they don't. You look like a tourist with hot girl yeah. with some girls <laughs> yeah. that don't know you. That's what you look like. Yeah. And that's the reason why you're not getting any engagement. Because I, I saw Puffy's uh, YouTube. He's mm. Rage World Talk. He's 54 million views. Why is this not translating to Instagram? It's because you're not you're not speaking the right language on Instagram. You're speaking the YouTube language on YouTube. Mm-hmm. On Instagram, you're trying to speak the YouTube language, and it's not work. Or actually, you're trying to speak like a DHV pickup language. That shit is that's 2005, <laughs> that's bro. So that shit is over. So like, I try, bro, just hit me up for free. I promise you, we'll we'll score your whole IG. We'll have you fixed up in like literally like a week. I I have a question for. What's his name? Puffy Dave? Puffy Vegas. <laughs> Puffy Vegas. <laughs> What's his Puffy, you content? know I live in Vegas, bro. I promise. I get, oh, yeah, dude. Mike's in Vegas. Yeah, bro. So you guys I will, we'll, dude, we're doing an immersion like an immersion thing for probably the price you pay for all these super chats. Bro, we'll, we'll give you, we'll, you'll, we'll take 30 photos of you where you look fucking baller. Forget Period. all this shit. You need professional photos. No more of this blurry shit with bad lighting yeah. and yeah. girls where you got your arms wrapped around them. That is bad game, bro. We'll, I promise you we'll fix that shit in two seconds. Yeah, and women can spot like the disingenuine, oh, yeah. disingenuine yeah. photos on your Instagram. Yeah. Uh, just be normal. Be natural. Puffy, do you like dudes? Just <laughs> you know? Yeah, Puffy. All girls <laughs> girls should always be showing if you if you want to do things like that, they should show you what? compliance and you should not be showing them so much compliance. That's that's a big issue. What am have. I the only one at the table that thinks he's a ten? <laughs> am I I think he's, he's spent five hundred like dollars. He's a giga so. chad. Like I looks? Think. What? Looks? Yeah, he's a fucking chad. What do you guys He'd rate himself ten. Do you guys just 10. not see what I see? Okay, all right, whatever. I'm glad that you... All right, hold on. Okay, John Dubai, thank you, man. Correct logic of healthy man. One woman is 10 only if she wants you. Two, if 10 doesn't want you, she is zero. You take her seven... (laughs) (laughs) I can't... Okay, social proof gets you 10 later than when 10 is good girl. Three, man is always better than woman. Is this way? In this way. Coherent, I, coherent. I mean, I think that was a tra- maybe translation <laughs> from a different language because <laughs> your, your conjugation was kind of weird there, man. Grammarly, one more time. Grammarly, it's for you can use it for free. Doesn't want oh, you. Wait, woman is ten only. If she's a ten only if she wants you. Ten. Yeah. But if she, ten yeah so if, if a woman doesn't, doesn't want you, she's a zero. Sounds like a riddle. I don't know if I. Right. <laughs> you know what though? Like, I, I, what, what I don't like about like what and John think first off Dubai. Maybe he's from Dubai. Uh, Thank you for your uh, you donation here. Well, it's in his name. Uh, but I, I don't like when dudes are like hit, hitting up chicks and like interested in a chick. But if the girl, even if the girl like politely turns turns them down, yeah. the dudes are like, 
well, you were fucking ugly anyways. That's yeah. fucking lame. Yeah. That's yeah, so fucking yeah. lame. If like, yeah. bro, if the girl doesn't like it, just fucking move on. Both don't men be, and women need to learn how to Oh, I thought he rejection. was being like wholesome and saying like, if she doesn't like you, then she's not a 10 anyways. Like, yeah, sort there's, of there's, deal. it's not, not wholesome. Deal. Yeah, he's, he's trying to say like, if a girl doesn't like, like it's you. it's not worth it. Yeah, it's like a, a girl, like, you know. Yeah, that's how I read it. Oh, hello, Victor. Victor underscore apostle donated $100. Woman is 10 only 10, only she wants 3 then 7. This is worse. <laughs> this is worse. Her friend 7 then 3. This is a, the next level. <laughs> I know, he's making fun of it. That was good. I like that. Uh, good job. That was worth $100. That was, a, that, was a, that was a good $100. Yo, chat. Victor, thank you, yeah, thank you for the translation there. Yeah, thank you, Victor. I appreciate that. You've, that you've explained it all. You've explained it all. You have, fun, um, you have funnier super chatters than me, man. You, you guys are funny. Word. Thank you, man. Okay, we have some more notes here for, let's see, we had uh, Rosanna, your ex-boyfriend started a car on fire, your car on fire on the highway. <laughs> on your 21st birthday, the car ended up engulfed in flames. So yes. we'll, just quickly, what was the story there? It was in a therapy session, I thought. Well, it was just like, how did it start on fire? How did it happen? He lit um, it on fire intentionally? So we went like an hour away to have like wine before my birthday dinner, which was back in Buffalo. And I said, we need to be done by X time. So we have to make sure, and you know, we're drinking, and then he didn't listen, and then we were late, and I was like late to my own birthday, so we decided to drive over 100 on the highway, so don't let anyone else drive your car. And it may have been a little late for an oil change, I don't remember, it was like, no, it was like a 99 prism or some shit, like, you know. You remember those cars? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It sounds like and you, it sounds like you so lost we coolant at some point. And we were on the highway, and then these people on the highway were, like, sticking out of their, like, windows, like, hey, hey. And I'm like, maybe we should, like, you know, see what they have to say. And they're like, your car's on fire. I'm like, shit, holy shit. Like, all I could picture was, like, a movie, and it's spontaneously, like, blowing up. You know, it's, like, yeah. extreme thinking. But I was like, pull over, pull over. And it just went up in flames. Wow. Oh. And the fire department came. Oh, yeah. so he didn't like. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought he right. likes it. We thought it was like. <laughs> no, well, he did. Crazy like yeah. indirectly. Yeah, so, that so, no, we thought it, we thought so it was someone, didn't someone like either that. didn't change the oil or the coolant, and you drove over a hunt, you redlined it to the point where he, it ended up. Yeah. I think Engine we perceived it as something oh. malicious. No. no. <laughs> Probably had some kind of crime no, yeah. in the yeah. displacement, which caused fuel to get out. But yeah, that's just one of the things. Okay, I have three more things here, and then we're going to wrap up. Really quick show of hands. Do any of you object to men caring about body count? Or in other words, if your body count, I suppose. Show of hands I, if, I, I if you object. No, 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 no. Not, object? not do you care about body count, but do you object, because some women say, well, you, your, my past is none of your business. Um, what you do care, that was in the past. Uh, so do you object to men who care about your body count or a woman's body count? Sure. Show of hands, anyone object to men Caring about body count. I used to. You object, you object. I just like to share to. with people that I be seeing um, in a future with. I don't like to share that type of personal information with, with people I don't see myself dating. Okay. Sure, that's understandable. But it, if, if, if a potential partner did have an issue with your said body count. That's fair. Okay. That's absolutely fair. Yeah, I think that was, that was a question. What about you? Um, I just don't think it's a big deal, I guess. I know some men clearly think otherwise. And also, as I've gotten older, I, that doesn't even come up in topic when mm -hmm. dating anymore, yeah. seriously, mm -hmm. even. Question of years. Not for me. Do you, think that, do you think that having, being with more people has changed you at all? I haven't been with that many. Okay. I don't think, and that's why I feel like whether you're with, you know, one or a hundred, like, I don't know. You don't, don't think, you don't think being with 100 would change you? That's a I mean, even okay. just chemically, you're going to yeah. get super I mean, attached. when you intercourse with somebody, you're... Sorry. Let me see my pocket. Um, that's you're exchanging the energy you can and get. vibe. Oh, energy. Oh, exactly. Yes. You have intercourse but with someone. But you are. But you literally are. That's, that's the closest you can be to somebody. You're engaging in quantum right. fields. That's literally the closest you can be to somebody. You don't think that's not going to change you a little bit? Of course. I just, so think, it like, change, I just think it changes women more. Change you how? Give me some concrete... Like, right. Okay. okay. So, so, so we'll, we'll say it like this. Just imagine that there's some sort of uh, that there is, but a neurochemical that allows you to uh, bond with somebody with a partner. 
Does it make oxytocin. sense? Oxytocin. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's called oxytocin. So let's just say what happens is over time, each new partner you have, your ability to have that oxytocin release, which allows you to bond, decreases every time. Sorry. Every time you use Victor the, take, underscore apostle donated one hundred dollars. Thank you. The Victor. lady talking about the driving was harder to follow than a squirrel through a forest during nut season. It was harder to follow than a Turkish soap opera when you don't speak the language. Hashtag jokes for one hundred dollars. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, thank everybody you. understood me, but didn't understand your previous. Thing, so yeah, you get it, up. get it. it. Shots I think fire. he was just trying to throw jokes. No, he's just been throwing Same. jokes. Yeah, anyway, so 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 neurologically, it just gets to the point. Like you take you take a uh, you know you take a sticker. I take it off the wall, then I put the sticker mm-hmm. back on. I take it off. I take it by the the fourth or fifth time, the sticker's barely sticking on the wall. That's the kind of thing. And the thing is, when I say that. And I say it's not the same for men. God, that's such a double standard. Yes, but it uh, is a double standard. Yes. And it is there true. There are studies that show that, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. The studies yeah, that show right. that. The thing is, like, I, what, what, before I understood evolutionary psychology, before I got started reading Dr. Buss, by the way, I recommend all of Dr. David Buss's books if you guys want to learn all the stuff I was talking about today. Um, w- one of the things you, you'll find is that there is an evolutionary double standard. Like men, I, I kept meeting back when I used to, I used to uh, be a DJ at a strip club and I used to work uh, at 6th Street in Austin. I used to work at a bunch of bars down there. And I would meet these girls who were like young, super pretty, working on their master's degree, everything about them, 10 out of 10, and their boyfriends always had a two, three, 400 body count, always. And I just noticed that the, the, the men that they would go after, it was so asymmetrical. They were looking for masculinity in their boyfriends and their boyfriends were looking for femininity in them. And so those things were two different. It's like, well, if I have a body count, then she should have a bi- high body count. If that's what you want to believe, then that's fine. But the, the math doesn't show that. And the, the very fact that I say that is so offensive to so many people, but unfortunately that is what the science state, or that's what the statistics states. Yeah, I mean, oxytocin is inhibited by te- testosterone and vasopressin essentially makes men like kind of get up right oh sorry vasopressin essentially makes men like it's one of the reasons why they like they get up right after sex like women uh bond and they want to stay like they're they're looking to stay and men that's it's just not the same neurochemically um but there are many women that just don't have like the oxytocin network like that works in that way so it really it really does depend woman to woman but overall that is like the truth scientifically Okay, so really quick, I'm gonna try to blast through this here. Okay, so a couple of you had some comments on body count. Just curious, like, what's your body count? I, knew this I don't was know. I, I'm not keeping track. Plus or plus or minus ten? Under ten? More than ten? Uh, I don't know. I literally don't know. Like, I I don't keep track. We're not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I'm Bueller. Plus ten. Plus ten. Okay. No. Plus twenty. No. No. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Between 10 and 20. Okay. Four. 29. Okay. Um, so because I go to church and uh, I'm in mass, I like, um, I view intimacy as like kissing, oral, you, you and You don't have to, if you don't want to say, you don't, no, need, I want you to don't need to give us. He's asking about vaginal intercourse. He's asking about vaginal intercourse. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I, I include like people in my body count that I've like kissed yeah. and so, all he, that. No, 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 so no, no, penetrative no, no. sex, yes, 11 yes, people, yes, yes, 11 okay. people, okay, yes. Okay. Mike, what about you? Man, we ain't going here. Okay. Ain't no, I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. Priya? Come on, I just said it. Out of respect for myself and my future partner, that's not something I'm going to disclose on the internet. Okay, fair enough. All right, we've got the body count. Wait, Brian, how many do you have? Out of respect for a lot of people. Oh, well, like Mike. Boo. Like Boo. Mike, I'm also a man of God. I do uh-huh. not So y'all are virgins? Y'all are virgins? Yes, I'm a virgin. Hey, oh, I'm curious. What number is too high for your partner? What number is too high for your partner? You find out. Know. You're having a conversation. You're like, God damn, that's too high. I don't, I, I just don't like care about like body count. Like if we're doing something and it's you, us now, then the past is your past. Usually, I'm not tripping about Usually that. women don't care as much, but I'm just curious. Is there yeah. a number that's too high? Like 300? Like triple digits kind of gets icky, but it's like, if you're the quality <laughs> person. Right. Here, can you, can you, he's he's, 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 he's really good and bad. He has no diseases, but he's in triple digits. That's a problem? You're, I it's, mean, it's not it's not a problem, but I'm going to look at it different than. You wouldn't break up with him, though. It's not a deal breaker. No, it's not okay, a deal breaker. Okay, what about you? Triple digits, good and bad. Not you don't a care? deal breaker, no. You don't care? What about you? Deal it's a deal breaker. So triple digits. Triple digits for he's sure. really good and bad, but no diseases, but that's too many. That's too many people. That's you like him, and then after like the third time you had sex with him, then he tells you he's at like 200. 
Maybe I'm like, Dan, you fucked over triple digits girls like this? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I don't feel special anymore. You don't feel special. Okay. Got it. Okay. What, what do you think? Sorry. I guess it's not a deal breaker, but I wouldn't prefer it. Okay. Like I said it wouldn't earlier, be a deal. I like them to be more selective nice. or conscientious. For sure. What do you think? Uh, under mine. Huh? Under mine. You want it to be under yours. Mm-hmm. You want it to be the numbers to be. Okay. Got <laughs> yeah. it. Okay. Go ahead. I've never heard that before. Go, what, what do you think? Um, yeah, I don't. If you said 100, I mean, he's in, in Manhattan, you know what I'm saying? I mean, 100, I mean, yeah. 100 is like your first year there, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. I really don't ask guys their body count. I just prefer not to know. Cool. What do you think? Um, I don't particularly think that anybody that holds the values that I would seek out in a partner would have a triple digit body count, but yeah. I, it's not a question I would ask and really concern well, myself over. Interesting. Right. So again, that goes back to the, the, the right. Dr. Buss 37 mm-hmm. culture study. Women were always less concerned about a man's body yes. count than the other way around Wait, in so all what 37 about you, cultures. Mike? What's a, like the limit for uh, many... Well, whatever my girlfriend is at. Oh, <laughs> so romantic. There you go. Well, that's, 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 that's just... I, men care about a woman's past and women care about a man's future. There you go. That's what it there is. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's just There it. you she, she, it, she is definitely mm-hmm. pair-bodied. Let's just say that. She's very <laughs> excited every time I come home. Let me ask a question, oh. Mike. Would yeah. you, um, you know, would you prefer a girl who's a virgin? Man, I, I, so here's the, here's the only the only thing I'm gonna say about that. So I know a lot of guys supposedly would say yes. For me, the the issue is if you're 21 and you haven't been with anyone, I think that's such an unusual thing. I don't know, man. I prefer, I, I guess, I guess in a vacuum, the answer is yes, but most likely no, because I've had sex with girls that were virgins and it is pretty traumatic. So I don't what about know. in comparison to somebody that had a relatively like high body count? Yeah, of course I would prefer. Yeah. Re- to a high body count. But like the thing is like when I'm in my 20s, listen, maybe maybe one like this for you, maybe one like this for the rest of y'all. But when I was in my 20s and I was going to UT Austin and then I was working at a nightclub, I didn't care about a woman's body count because I didn't want to be in a relationship. I just wanted to have sex with lots of attractive women. Of I had a viewpoint, I had a point in my life, remember I'm 45 years old. So 20 years ago, I was looking to have sex with women and I did not care about their body count, what their religious preferences were, whether or not they were Democrat or Republican. If they were attractive and they wanted to have sex with me, I wanted to have sex with them. Now some guys out there might may, may not admit that you went through that phase too, but that was the phase I Most went through. Do. And mm-hmm. when I went through that phase, if a hundred women had said yes to me, I would have said yes back. Cause that was the phase I was going through. It's a whole phase. Now it's, it's different, yeah, whole phase, there we go. <laughs> there it was a whole phase. But the thing is now it's very different because I find less than 1% of women attractive because physical beauty doesn't mean as much when you host every bikini competition and you used to go to the Playboy Mansion. It just doesn't mean that much to me anymore. So for me, it's a little bit different. Like again, sometimes with Kylie and I, we're looking for girls to like go talk to and none, none of them are hot enough for us. That's an issue that we have sometimes. So I will tell you, uh, it's it's just like I said. It's a very different standard. It's a very different standard. Describe for men uh, what is hot for you guys. For us, in your we, we, just, we just have to we we have to both be attracted. Um, she has a slightly different look she's into than me. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm trying to think of an example. I like my girlfriend. Like girls who look like my girlfriend, I'm kind of into. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a question for you. And you sort of mentioned this when it came to the Jonah Hill thing that a guy can't handle a girl showing off her body. That's that's insecure. Um, do you think it's insecure if a man prefers a woman with a low body count? Or, for example, wa- wants to date a girl who's a virgin? I, uh, no. No, I don't think it's that. Okay. Um, Do you think it's something else? Um, it was more, I guess, when I, when I wrote that, it was more towards the Jonah Hill thing with not wanting his uh, girl being shown in a bikini. Okay. Um, so it was sure. more like that. Fair. Okay. But, um, yeah, we, we don't have to touch too much yeah. back on the Jonah Hill thing. <laughs> um, Oh, hey. Yo, Victor, thank you. Victor underscore Apostle donated $100. My wife was a virgin when I met her. She was 20. We're together for 15 years now and have a beautiful family. She was a smart, good-looking girl. Didn't have any red flags or weird things about herself. Didn't matter that she was a virgin but wasn't weird. Good yeah, for, for you, sure. Victor. There you go. Green there you go. flag, not yeah. being weird. No, nope, no problem yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah, and um, and Mike, you were saying how like yeah, if she's a bit older and she's still a virgin, maybe that's a bit. I just think I'm not again. I'm not saying it's weird, but it's like you had. I'm not gonna. I, I, it's so mean for me to say this, but you had a girl on here last time I was on here, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm a virgin," and I'm like, "She was very clearly autistic," and I was like, "Okay, that's why you're a virgin." Like it's you know what I'm talking about. Right? Shots fired. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's like very like she just she shots just, fired. It was very clear clear that she was on the spectrum, and I was like, "Okay, I can see why that girl's a virgin," and that that's the only thing I'm. Do you think? About. I think it, I don't know. I mean, she claims I, that girl was absolutely she, on the spectrum. There's she, no, I have no well, doubt well, it's. Uh, but I mean, I think what was more interesting, I mean, she does OF. Yeah. 
And I was like, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I would be concerned that someone's taking advantage of her. Like, that's that's kind of crazy. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> wait. Oh, should we pull that back up, that, that thing? Um, actually, really quick, pull, pull up that, um, that thing we were, because it's semi-related, the video of that chick. Right before that, the new one, or the next one? The... The Brett Cooper one, I, I don't know if it's, we, I think we watched most of it. Just pull it back up. This is where we stopped. Yeah, just, just pull it up really quick. Okay, so this girl, she's 23, and she says she hasn't even had a first kiss. So obviously she hasn't oh. had sex. So she's a virgin, 23-year-old virgin. <laughs> um, but, uh, okay, so, and then go to the next one really quick, though. Next one. You got to click, you got to click over. Did what? Here, F eleven, man. You got the beat. Keep it in F eleven. Uh, oh, this is her reacting to it because there are a bunch of fucking news articles about it. Actually, it's the next one over. One Nobody's more over. Nobody's gonna humiliate you for not. Man, that's crazy, bro. Nobody's humiliating this girl. Wait. She just oh yes yeah this so, yeah, this so then cat, bro. she's yeah, not being totally. humiliated for being a 23 year old virgin. Yeah. nobody's humiliating well, that, that, that's not really the thing i wanted to talk about though so she she like did another tiktok where tiktok where it's like me just waiting for a nice boy to come along to date i have impossibly high unrealistic standards and i'm expecting an epic fairy tale romance yeah, and in two years she's so gonna, in two years she's gonna realize she's a lesbian that's what's happening here bro like it's just kind of obvious like this is ridiculous oh, well. you guys yeah. i was telling you i had a friend like this she was gorgeous like 10 on 10 like not even exaggerating everyone mm -hmm. objectively thought she was beautiful and she just loved the tension also of not want like not letting any guy touch of being her and being super pure yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. we would ask her like why don't you just kiss you know whoever like you like him and she's like no 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 i want my kiss to be like under the snow then you know it starts to yeah, build up now ridiculous. it can't just be any kiss now you've waited till mm -hmm. 23 now it has to be special mm -hmm. with the right guy blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and she would lead guys on mm -hmm. all the time and then be like nope can't have me nope so she kind of enjoyed it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's was, it's uh, she had a kiss now before. Yeah, it's years later. Yeah, but it's kind of ridiculous. And then he cheated on her. Oh! <laughs> I just, I, I just Eeyo. guess. I just guess. Of course he did Eeyo. because her expectations were unrealistic. And she, instead of, she either found a top tier man who was going to cheat, or she found a guy who's really good at fucking running game. Mm. And then she, that's what she gets. That's what ends up happening. Whew. Yep. Yeah. But it, me in the middle somewhere. But it is Daddy. interesting. Like I guess in, in the original TikTok that she put. I, I, I'm trying to remember the exact clip. We watched it on the Brett Cooper channel. She's like, oh yeah, I'm 23. I've never had a kiss, blah, blah, blah. But like, and look, she's she's a cute girl, whatever. But she's whinging about, or it's not whinging, oh, it's but she's, say, she's saying romance. like, yeah, she wants this fairy tale romance and she has like ridiculous fucking standards. Ooh, and like, one? she's kind of an average looking girl. Like, so it's yeah, like, what do you fucking wanted, expect? If she yeah. wanted to go out and get a date, she absolutely could. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's the sure. thing. She could totally get a guy sure. that is, um, maybe not to her, you know, theoretically unrealistic standards, yeah. but that would be on the same playing field level appropriate for her to be going out with and she could get kissed. <laughs> I think at that point it was Isn't more it? so like a choice by her. I feel like if she's sure, really, yeah. like, and it, she's it's, not it's terrible a, looking. No, not at all. I mean, she could absolutely get a date, no problem. But yeah, I mean, it's totally fine if people are doing that of their own free will, but to sit here and be like, oh, boo-hoo, I haven't gotten my first yeah. kiss. I'm 23. Kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. Like Rapunzel and then, waiting for her king <clears throat> to come get her. Well, she's that, posting like, it because like, she wants someone to kiss her. You know what I mean? But she wouldn't be posting it if you didn't want someone to come. I think she just well, wants here's, attention. Here's actually yeah. the crazy yeah. thing. Attention. Here's actually the crazy thing is, she, I don't, I, time wise, I, okay, let's just play the video. Uh, pull up the one where she's like reacting to the news articles because there's a bunch of news articles. I don't know why this went viral, but. If it's a personal preference or religious reasons, that's totally ex like Go ahead. totally yeah, within that's totally her reason. Fine. But to sit here and just kind of be like, well, it's one of the videos. Me. It's already pulled yeah. up. As if no one's good enough, I guess, for her. Uh, yeah, but also you have to be realistic with your standards. No, but at some point. I, I asked you to skip over one, so it's the one uh, between the the YouTube video and then the last one. Also, my first kiss was horrible. Like there was nothing, <laughs> no fireworks about yeah, that. Yeah, this one. Saying that this is not what it was meant to be. The video was supposed to be funny. Yes, it's entirely true. I've never had a first kiss. I've never been on a date. I did not lie about it, but I thought it was funny. I was poking Can fun at myself for being a like weirdo. Can you skip to the 55 seconds, Mark? I... Wait. Sorry. 
fucking TikTok is so fucking dumb dog mine. shit. Whack. Mine was Whack. actually good. And I knew I was good. Sparks. Okay, I <laughs> it's, both had braces and my shit was fucked up. Like, all yeah. shit was, oh, is it not, up, it's man. not loading? Just pause it. I'll tell you what she says. So, okay, she says, blah, blah, blah. There's some stuff. And then she starts complaining because she posted this thing. The, there were some news articles. She starts whinging that, and, and this is kind of a totally different thread, but she complains that there were guys, she wanted men to stop DMing her saying, oh, I'll be your first kiss. And she's calling them creepy and stuff because they were DM DMing her being flirtatious, being like, oh, I'll be your first kiss. Welcome to and the And like, internet. that is such a privileged <laughs> position. Like, right. like if a dude was online, 23 year old man posting, I've, I've never kissed a girl. I've never been on a date. You think any no. thousands of women no. will be like, I will be your first kiss. So it's such a privileged position. And this is actually, pri like a lot of women will say, why don't men approach anymore? Why don't men, and I mean, there's a lot of reasons why, social media, dating apps, et cetera, um, men don't really have an incentive to approach in person because they can get girls online or at least have the illusion of the possibility of getting girls online. Um, but often women complain, why don't men ever approach me in person anymore? I wish, well, it's precisely because a lot of women will, if the guy is not like, if he doesn't approach you in precisely the perfect way that you would like to be approached, he's gonna get labeled as a creep. Case in point, this 23 year old girl who's had zero dating experience, hasn't ever had the first kiss, is putting these men on blast publicly that they're creepy simply just by DMing her saying, I will be your first kiss, which based off of the video she released is flirtatious. Now is the first opening line, hey, I'll fucking make out with you, maybe that's not the best, mm -hmm. you know, first opening line, but in any case, like, she is rebuffing, rejecting these men publicly online, and uh, it's interesting to me that uh, a lot of women complain that men aren't approaching anymore, yet here you have a woman who's never even had a first kiss publicly humiliating these men who are, she's not like yeah. naming them, but like, Still, yeah. that's, that's one of the big reasons why men are no longer approaching women is because they don't want to be labeled as a creep or even worse, have Very some sort true. of, you know, f false accusation, whatever, especially, yeah, especially yeah. if like guys are in school, like, Bro, there's a lot of shit going on in the uh, with Title IX and shit that's uh, no good. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, mm -hmm. I don't, never had a kiss. I, I, I was trying to Segways. segment that into something related, but it slipped my mind. Really <laughs> quick, I want to come back to your thing, uh, paying for the first date. So just a point of clarification, you want the guy to pay for the first date, correct? The first transaction. The first transaction, first date. Would you consider that to be a traditional gender role for, for a guy to pay for the first date? Yes. Okay, so you want a traditional guy? No. Oh. Oh, oh wait. Oh. Gotcha. What do you yeah. want? A traditional guy? <laughs> so you want a you want a traditional gesture? Yes. Okay. Why you, you? I don't want a traditional. You you want a poly? What what do you mean? You don't want a traditional? I'm <laughs> from traditional. To poly. You know, well, because the, then it's like, oh, well, then. I, you know, I want to be able to do my job. I want to be able to post bikini pics. Oh, that I would be saying. not traditional, yeah. you know. Right. So. But, so I guess I guess where I'm going with that is, do you, do you consider yourself a traditional woman? No. Do you? Okay, th that's fair though. You you did admit that you don't necessarily want a traditional guy, but you do want at least in this specific scenario a guy to adhere to his traditional gender role in the first instance of paying for the first date. Yeah. So are there any? Maybe you're not a traditional woman, but are there any initial? ways in which you adhere to your traditional gender roles, even yeah, if limited. Yeah, of course, of course. I Like, even with my ex, I would cook, I would clean, I would do the domestic stuff. I think okay. some stuff is just natural, right? What, even if you... Sure. But but it. so you but you do want that upfront traditional treatment from men. But, I mean, you you do... I'm, please clarify. I, it's not clear to me. You do OnlyFans? Yes. You I post... Do, like, do you post full nude? No. You post what? Panty Te hose or something, or what is tees, it? Tees, tees, ludes. Ludes. Yeah. Is that traditional? No. So why do you demand a guy adhere to his traditional gender role, but on the front, on the front end, but when he's first met you, you have your. I think it's more like a. I don't know if I would call it traditional. More like a cultural thing, almost. I don't. Know, is it? Would that but make but sense? isn't it? Like, isn't wouldn't? Couldn't you make the argument that culturally men? are not thrilled about dating women who are posting, can you please specify precisely what you, you have like, 
lingerie you post lingerie oh, photos I do, or i do pantyhose content pa- do you sell your pantyhose i have that's pretty non-traditional no i agree that's i'm not a traditional yeah. i'm not traditional i'm very like free-spirited and i hope like whoever my partner is and they have been in the past they've been free-spirited too just in this one instance and in some instances i think um it's the polite and respectful thing to do you don't want you don't want to try a little poly no. No. Okay. I'm I would say. I'm I'm fucking, why? I'm fucking but, with you. I'm but wouldn't with you. it wouldn't it be the polite and respectful thing to do when getting into a new relationship with a man <laughs> to not have not have your yeah. semi nude photographs online and well, have it's, it's have sent f- dudes who you don't even know your pantyhose? Yeah, I guess. No, I I agree with you, but it's not black and white. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we can't just put into a box either you're traditional or non traditional. You need to find someone with the same values as you and in this case those traditional like restaurant things and cultural things like that that to me is important and then other you know sexual things like you know showing a bit of skin on the line that's not as big of a deal as me him having multiple partners that's not as big of a deal as it oh so you you be polygynous you just want to be polyamorous i don't know no i what is polygynous when you're Uh, multiple women yeah i'm not but it's closed on your end yeah, no, I, I, I just a traditional monogamous for a relationship. What, what, wait, that's a good question. That's like, you do you guys said. prefer monogamous or polyamorous? Because in this times now, it's like okay, totally fine if you have like. Do you guys oh, prefer to be I, monogamous? I was just in a polygamous relationship. Yeah. Is that how you say? Closed on Polygy- one end. Polygyny. 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 So yeah, closed on my end, but open on his. Polygynous. Um, yeah. And um, I was really okay with it, like a hundred percent okay with it. But um, at the end of it things ended because like of my past and he like just couldn't get over it essentially so I had to mm. take the L on that one and um you didn't take an L no I did I did take, take an, an L. L I did I did um because yeah it, sweet yeah. Mm. by the way Mike Rolo texted me and this was when we were talking about like the girls who will make one guy wait and then make um Previous it's, guys, it's not it, wait. So, it, so this is from uh, Rolo Tomasi, the rational male. Women break rules for alpha males and make rules for beta males. Mm. So you'll make the the. Can you repeat that? They the make alpha, rules for the alphas alpha, and break rules for betas. Rules. Okay, so we, we touched. They, they make rules for betas and break rules for alphas. Yeah. They oh, make 1, rules for betas and break rules for. I'm a living okay. testimony. So, but I guess going back to what you were saying before you had said that you were not like quite as bothered with him having other sexual partner or him seeing other women as oh, sorry then, I, I think I uh, misspoke I meant like him having a lot of sexual partners in the past oh in the that's past why, yeah, yeah, oh, sorry. I, so I said polygynous I know, yeah that's why I got a bit mm-hmm. confused sorry, sorry, sorry my bad Nick can you pull up the twitch really quick and then we have two more things and then we're gonna wrap and then uh all right, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub if you have one. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. Oh, shit. We hit 1,000 subs. Hey, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Clue, thanks for the prime, man. Appreciate it. Okay, cool. Uh, so these are just notes that came up as uh, you guys had mentioned them earlier on. So some of you keep notes of the men that you've slept with. I think I don't know if you said it. I don't I know if you, you have like a notepad, so it's on your phone. Like what? Yeah, it's a lock note in my notes. Oh, just in the mic, please. It's, oh it, yeah. Is it a, a Google spreadsheet with like no, different it's attributes? Like, no, it's like in my notes app. <laughs> oh okay. I just, yeah, it's locked. so just show do, who has a note notes app of all the dudes that you've fucked, I guess. So y'all, just, that's why y'all boom, forget though. Boom, boom. Not boom. Me. What about <laughs> you? No, 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 no. No, I've like, like journals so about like my past relationships to compare. Y'all like, also y'all don't remember like how many guys y'all slept with. You know with. what red <laughs> flags are worth like learn about myself, but that was like a one time journal. Can you just tilt the mic down towards you a little bit? Sorry. So for for your for your notes, uh, what like you don't have to get into details, but like, <laughs> what what are the, the the different columns? So you have like no, name, it's just a list of names. Name, but what else? like dick size, age? No, it's what? it's not a spreadsheet. It's oh. just a, a, it's literally just their names. Some Occupation, people got spreadsheets. Social security it's got the little number. the sort feature up at <laughs> yeah. the top. The, the, sort, the sort of feature by dick size. It's right got here. a just cucumber emoji on Google Sheets. Is that it's what just it is? the modern you, version of a notch in the bed post. Right, exactly. Right? My yeah. to do list. Oh, it's a grocery list, but I, it's mine. Just names as well. Just names. Yeah. I have like time. 
time. At 4.30 a.m. 10.13. We came to the intercourse at Chili's. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like the times, like the amount of times. Oh, how many And then like what year. I think it's really important to keep track of that kind of stuff in case... Why? Health stuff comes back later. Oh, oh that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. All right, yeah. last, last thing here. A couple of you mentioned Ix, so that we're going to talk. Yeah. Last thing we're going <laughs> to talk about is Ix. So, 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 and you see, uh, a couple of you seemed rather um, interested in that topic. So, yeah. do you have any Ix? What are some Ix? Um, yeah. What a, what do, first off, what, does it, what is an Ick? What does that mean? Yeah. Automatic turn off. I Don't feel like deal, I need to right. think There's nothing else right I now can that. <laughs> about it. So sure. Just let me think about it. You go, next you, person. Oh, okay. We'll come yeah, back to you. Think, yeah. Any X? Can I say X? You don't know what they are. They hit you out of mm. nowhere. You're walking down with your your boo, and then you notice like. I seen this one on TikTok. His ear was flapping a little bit weird, or oh, oh, I know it. That's oh, yeah, ridiculous. Or, or, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like ridiculous. something that you didn't even know you didn't like until you. Or he see wouldn't it. pick up yeah. the mail. Also, we yeah. get rid of that that <laughs> motherfucker right there. <laughs> I was flapping. No, no. Nails fucked up. <laughs> Done. Peace, bad, bitch. bad teeth. You know, like bad. the bad breath. Yeah. With the bad teeth, Body usually odor. if you have bad teeth mm. in the bad breath, it's I don't like not like that's then. kind of like bad something I can't do. Real. Yeah, yeah bad hygiene. That's, 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 that's not an ick. An ick is like ooh. That is ooh. an ick. Is like trying to kiss me and you smell like freaking goat too. cheese. But like, like, an like ick, that's I feel like having bad hygiene. That's almost a given. Like yeah. I don't yeah. think anybody likes. You know, maybe I'm trying to think of a like an ick is like something that like you. In my opinion, like you, you're seeing your like one one girl said like I saw my man like get out of the pool and like he tripped and like that was a big ick. I think what? it's like seeing yeah. a man like outside of his masculine or like do something like a little mm. weird. We know it's like, let's like, say we're yeah. at a restaurant and he's talking stupid. to the waitress like not in a respectful manner, like oh, just yeah. like hey, That's bring me my food. Well, yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. that is an ick. Like, like because it's like why are you talking to people disrespectfully? You know, like you know. Mm. That's just I feel like icks are think, irrational. No, the though. biggest Not I feel like my that. biggest ick is like a, their mindset. Like you really think like that, and it's just like a, okay, there, there's nothing's gonna change that. No, now. I seen an ick where this girl she was swimming with her boyfriend, and then she put the GoPro under the pool, and his legs were going like really dinky. Like <laughs> that. Get rid of them. Yeah, there you go. That's definitely, that's, like an yeah, that's definitely a reason to end a marriage. That, <laughs> that's that's crazy. Crazy. That's that should so work. Crazy. Yeah. I feel like what is everyone's type? Like we haven't, we didn't say uh, like what their type was. Like, do you guys okay, have well, a type? We'll we'll uh, we'll do that. will be our last. Thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, why don't we start with you? Go ahead. With the with the type. Your type. What's your type? Um, yeah. I, I I don't want to be like oh, I have a type. But if we're talking about physically, I've noticed I'm attracted to like Latino men. Prefer like not preferably, but I my track record is like Mexican dudes that are like mm. kind of gangster vibe like. I think I like the very masculine, manly man. Okay. Shout out to And I kind of like ugly guys, like, Shout out like to a rough ass face. You know, like they look rough. Like Wait, didn't out you to say your, your, your four year situationship, didn't you say he was like loco? He, he, he was from Stockton. <laughs> oh, Ooh. yeah. So, so for he sure, so loco. He sells meth. No, no. Oh, he, that's all. He wasn't. Wait. He wasn't a trapper Wait. or anything he like got, that. He got bodies and not the sexual kind. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> not that. You know. Wait, no. was he a gangbanger? No, he wasn't. <laughs> like, I feel like every guy that grows up. Was in his address some... in Victorville? <laughs> no, no, no. He was just like, you know, I feel like a lot of guys that grow up in the hood when they were when they're growing up and as kids they kind of deal with like gang things because that's very prevalent in the hood but like out of high school he wasn't like involved in that i mean he had a little like sureño tattoo but you know it's like whatever he had a what sureño means it's, it's southern Crip. mexico it's like oh, oh, yeah, no, 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 like yeah, ha yeah half yeah, of the yard in california prison system is sureños yeah that's there's the, norteño yeah. sereno yeah. Yeah. yeah i just i didn't hear what you said the biggest group. i don't think i like cholo kind of guys anymore because that's why we're like you know it you had a bad experience or i just feel like sometimes with that like hyper like that very macho man it's like who they're around like they're friends you know what i mean the guys will act like who their friend group is and if they're always like going crazy and stuff there's just like so many things happening Wait, i don't know speaking of prison gangs um <laughs> what? isn't what there's also paisas yeah. That, mm -hmm. yeah. Is that, that's, yeah. So, so, so Serenios. So, so, so just, get, just, just so no. you just so we're clear, like, <laughs> mo it's mostly <laughs> your skin color, right? Well, well Serenios, that's Southern California. Mm -hmm. Typically, people are of like uh, Latin American descent, I believe. Yeah. Norteños, they're from Northern. Yeah. And then Paisas, isn't that like they're 
they're not, Paisas means they like a rancho, here. like they they're, own, like no, they're, they're, they're ranchers, like they're farmers. No, I thought like, Paisas, that's like, they, they're actually like from Mexico, like they were born in Mexico and they immigrated here. Most of the time, yes, Paisa, or it could be someone that like, they could be second generation, but they, their parents only speak Spanish and they're like, they could still be considered Paisa. It's like rancho lifestyle, like being okay. a farmer, you know, oh, but, okay. but definitely right. coming from Mexico and being here is Paisa. And regular white people are just called woods. And then oh, there's God. also white people that- No, they're called crackers. I mean, oh, no, God. <laughs> canceled. Um, okay, so that's your type is you like l- Latino I def- men? I noticed, uh, yeah, Latino men. Have definitely. you ever dated a white guy? I'm not, this is, no. I'm just curious. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying you are. I'm not like, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, a, no, I have it, but my mom says to because they're just more chill. You know, there's not like the lack of culture. They're just like, yeah, whatever, you know, but. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I, at this point, I am open to all ethnicities. I just noticed I did tend to like Latino, Mexican men or whatever. Like, you know. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Based. What's your type? I really like brutal honesty. Almost sometimes harsh. And But as far as physical appearance, I've always liked puppy, puppy dog, brown eyes, brown hair. I feel like we, there's so much you want to say. <laughs> Like, I feel like we got to get you back on the show because I know there's more. Like, I know you have a ton of shit to say, but. My number's open. But aren't you, you're in Minnesota, so it's hard to get you out here, yeah? I'm an artist, so. You know. Are you sticking around California or are you heading back? What's, what's up? There's a reason to. Oh. 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 So, so do you date white guys? <laughs> no, just for the show. I don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it fucking awkward in here. Yeah. Let's make it awkward. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's make it awkward. Wait, is your preference like, do you have a racial preference? Like, your last boyfriend was. I really don't have a preference. Your last boyfriend was. Black, period. What about before that? (laughs) I'm Mexican. Your last last seven men you've dated, what race breakdown? Go, quick. Seven specifically. In chronological order, go. I've dated a couple white guys. Couple white guys? Couple black guys. Couple white guys? Two Mexican guys. Okay, all right. Viva Sweet. Mexico. That's a solid roster. <laughs> uh, what's your type? Uh, my type is blonde hair, blue eyes, pale, tall and skinny. Oh. MGK? Bieber. Mm-hmm. Huh? MGK? Is MGK. That? Is that, yeah, it, he's, a, he's a bit too tall and lanky, but... Isn't okay. that literally what you just... Okay, Not like that. He's. I don't know how tall he is, but he's very young. Yeah. Okay. Word. What about you? Um... Tall dreadheads with tattoos. Tall what with what? Sorry. Tall, tall guys with locks. With dreads, tattoos. okay. But like a but like look hard, but like soft personality. I know it's counterproductive, but I don't know. You're blushing right now. <laughs> just even thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, he's okay. right here. Yeah. <laughs> he just walked sure. in the door. He's here for right. you. She's like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about you? Um, is it just physical or just like anything? Yeah, it could be physical, personality traits. Um, so conscientiousness, um, you know, nice eyes, nice smile. They have to be, like, care about their health and their physical appearance. Um, creatives, like, people who are creatives, they tend to be attracted to. And people who text me back right away or answer my call mm. or call me back right away. Like, I like that. I don't understand why some girls don't like that. Brian, you would call her back every time, right? Wait, what? You would call <laughs> her back every time. You would never, like, made her, like make her wait weird. for a text, Wait, you? you, just to clarify, you, you dislike it when a guy doesn't or... I like it when they're responsive, when they just call Ooh, she would not, me wait. or they you're text me, me back. Yeah, you're, you're I mean, it doesn't like, have to be like the point zero oh, one fucking, second, but like. I'm a ter- you know, I'm a fucking <laughs> terrible fucking. What if you're interested, you know, was, you're gonna. I was flying in. I'm like, am I still on the goddamn show? What's about to happen here? <laughs> no, I'm, I've, I'm a terrible texter, ask anybody. Um, and like intelligent, like we have to have like really mm. deep, weird conversations uh, that like, it's not like small talk. Word. Yeah. Why, wait, why are you, why are you like, <laughs> trying to set this up? I was trying She's to, got a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. It's whatever podcast. Right. We do whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's, no, she, I don't step on toes. I don't step Ryan's on down for whatever. That's why it's called whatever, whatever podcast. Whatever. Whatever. Title drop. Uh, I like gamers that are kind of low-key, so they're low-key powerful, but they don't have to boast about it. Um, ambitious, and I guess looks-wise. I normally lean towards guys that are six foot and taller, but I don't like necessarily need that to be a preference uh broad shoulders normally mm. dark and handsome mm. 
dark and handsome? <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend's <laughs> black. Oh. Oh. But I, I'll, I don't have preference on race. Okay. So. Sure. <laughs> Your boyfriend Chipotle. Wait, whoa, hold on. I think we missed it. No, no, that was fucking. Do it again. Your boyfriend Sway. Who's your boyfriend? Right. <laughs> That's me chomping on his leg. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> he has some uh, nice thighs too. You're tight. So um, I'm Puerto Rican. I really just date white guys for the most part. Word. Shout out to Brooklyn. <laughs> Shout out to Brooklyn. <laughs> Biggie Small is rolling over in his grave right now, looking at Brooklyn. He's like, "What happened to my? I know, what, what, happened to my the most gentrified <laughs> what happened to my borough? What happened to my borough? That's the truth. Didn't you write something to us about something about? Your Puerto Rican body? What was that? Oh yeah, the guy. What? The, the, I didn't say that. The, the the guy that I was on a date with that used his dead dad as like a reason to have. Jesus. Uh, oh, you know right. what yeah, with yeah. me? Okay, so oh. in your notes. Crazy here, story. Oh, he's trying to get sympathy. Story. Well, yeah. his dad was a bang. diplomat. His dad was a diplomat <laughs> yes. who passed away. He asked me out on a date. I went, and he was not like okay, and um. Like halfway into the date, he asked me how many kids I would be willing to have and whether or not oh, I would no. be like, Damn. if I would do surrogacy or not. Um, and Damn. then, um, uh, yeah. And then at the end of it, he was like, um, you don't want to go back to my place? And I was like, uh, no, I think I'm just going to go home. And he was like, but my dad but my died. my dad died. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I was like, you did not. I literally no. just oh told him, God. I was like, that is like the last thing you want to say to a girl if you want to get her back He was trying to make bed. that coochie wet with tears. So, like, well, so, 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 like, so you're saying the sex was bad. I didn't, don't even do that. No, I did but not. But his dad died. Can I we didn't. get a one in the chat? His dad died. I said, How I, fucked no, up that is. One in the chat if she should have just done this. Listen, in all fairness, I wrote at the end of that that I respected his efforts. I respected the fact that he was ballsy enough. Do you know who else like, would have respected it? His, his dad. dad. His dad. <laughs> R.I.P. Go ahead. R.I.P. From <laughs> Beyond the Grave. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he That's used dark, the man. dead parent card to try to get a later. That's Okay, so you like white Desperado. dudes. Do you also like men? Like who, do you like men in therapy? I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, well, yes, I like them white. I like I like them white and nerdy, um, and I like them a little bit older. Um, yeah, pretty much. I don't have like a ter- certain body. You like physique. them pretty older? Yeah, I mean, I like them. I like them a little older. Yeah. Like how you're maybe like like fine wine. Ten, fifteen years. You're 26, right? I'm 26, correct, but. Um, I'm also dating okay. someone who's 22, so. Ooh, cougar over here, okay. I know, I feel like it. I do. For the first time, I do. Right. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you helping him with his essays on the weekend? Or? <laughs> he's the reason why he's graduating. at church, Brian. <laughs> that means he's wild. I'm not talking about his homies, by the way. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> We got to put the camera on you. If, <laughs> if you hear her making noise, just immediately yeah. put the camera on her. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's five hours later, but um, okay, cool. Uh, Mike, what's your type? Uh, I like really physical, physically. I do like the Vegas type. I do like boob jobs. The girls who have like uh, really tight bodies, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I like long hair, green or blue eyes, but none of that's a deal breaker. I don't care if they're blonde. I don't care if they're brunette. I just really like, you know, I, I've been in Vegas for like the last uh, 11 years and the, the girls you see that work at the clubs there, the cocktail servers that have the $240,000 a year job, those girls are my type. Like just fucking incredible bodies, that's what I'm into. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like a man that's ambitious and devoted to his craft and his career, um, Christian, preferably. Uh, yeah, definitely needs to take his health seriously and physical fitness. What about taking well. super chat seriously? What are, are you, <laughs> one of them? Yeah, because you got oh. nine of them after you right now. Oh my god! And they, apparently, they have money too. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I guess okay. so. All right, I'll get mine. Uh, definitely not a deal breaker, but definitely prefer short women. Hmm. If her height doesn't start with four, she ain't the one. Literally shoddy. <laughs> but but I mean, jokes aside. Uh, <laughs> I'll date a girl who's taller than me, like six five. What? I don't give a fuck. I'll date a tall really? girl, but if if I'm leaning in one direction, preference for like four foot eleven, four foot ten, even shorter. Get me That's a dwarf. Crazy, what's up? Man. That's great. I like dude. Short girls 
Go for sure. speed. Like, would you be with a midget? I just don't look for him. <laughs> I'm not a midget. You know a little midget? person. Can you so hook sorry. Up? So Do sorry. you know yeah, a midget? Do you know a midget? I know. I see little. Wait, oh people. shit! Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dwarf. 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 Oh my god. CJ. I'm so tired. CJ Miles. CJ Miles is like four foot eight. CJ Miles should have one. I'm sorry. We're gonna get fucking. Because four eleven. Four eleven is considered. I think little person is considered four ten. Or is it four nine? I think four I nine think and below. Four nine and below. I don't think that makes you a dwarf, though. I think that, that you can apply for like handicap status at four ten. Yeah. I but I don't think something. that makes you. Have you been with like someone really important? Sorry. Something okay. Like, yeah. I just cut me off. Really go ahead. Important. No. Go keep just going. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just go. 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 I got there and they're like, we don't have any cars. And I'm like, what do you mean I don't have any cars? Like, I need to get from here to Santa Barbara. Mm. So they I called up my boyfriend and he like just, I was literally like having a panic attack and he just made me laugh and it made it better. And then okay, I, so and then I Uber yeah, here, so that important. sucked, but mm -hmm. I got here. Uber here from Los Angeles? Oh, what's yeah, up? Well, how much is that? A lot. Because <laughs> I was like, if, I was thinking about it tomorrow because I got to fly to LAX to two hour from LAX to uh, it West Hollywood. It's it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's well, uh, just just to let you know, I don't know if some of these girls are might be driving. Back I'm driving your home. Okay, we perfect, perfect. We are driving to LA. Yeah. Lovely, Which lovely, lovely. Great, okay, so I'll I'll continue with my type. So let's see what else. <laughs> uh, slight preference for dark hair. Again, not deal breaker. Slight preference dark hair. Slight preference blue eyes. Again, not a deal breaker. Or light eyes. I mean green, whatever. That's fine. Um, her parents made her do at least three years of violin or cello. Oh. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that's okay. That's kind of me. Like it has oh. to be strings. It can't be like piano is kind of mid tier. So how is going on right now? Man. Why piano's did you do the most piano? I literally said trip? that earlier. You said like when we went around like saying like what makes us happy. Plus I was like playing piano. <laughs> Are you a virtuoso? Are you good? Yeah, I've been playing since I was eight. Can you do Chopin? Yeah. Okay, let's oh. talk after the show. <laughs> What's up? Period. But, uh, going on let's right see. Oh, large labia. <laughs> What? My the fuck, bro. Wait, are you bro. asking us if we have large labia? Large labia matter. That's huh? what he's saying. Oh, I know. BLM. 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 Are you he's serious? Large labia matter. Like how large? The bigger, the better. Or look like What's that. What's the largest part of the have, 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 have you ever have you seen the number three on the Arby's menu? That's what he's talking about right oh. now. For real, roast <laughs> beef. I don't eat at Arby's. No, no, I eat healthy food. Like, is there I'm a reason or like it's just this. I believe that. that. What is the largest <laughs> labia? I'm being like, serious, have Brian. You seen the movie, what is the largest have you ever seen the movie labia Alien? Hand when it size to your right face? now, finger size width, like here, two inches, three inches. How low did it go? <laughs> this is real talk, and I know you know. I know you, mean, you like, know. Like, who I, yes. I've been with? Oh, no. Yes. How long? How big no, was the labia? The biggest labia you've seen I feel been like in between be... your teeth, just gnawing on oh, it. How stop, long? Stop Hold it. on. First I'm off, cringing. I'm cringing. I know you know oh, who she is. First off, I'm thinking about her right now. As a gentleman, I, I feel like it would be unbecoming of me to. You're like, not saying who she to is. Do like a hand. No, <laughs> we do the same thing for dick. So why can't you do it for say ladies? Say the inches. Say say it. I don't. I don't measure the shit. But no, it's give me, like give me. Numbers. You know. Say you know. This, say this girl's it. labia. <laughs> this girl's labia. <laughs> no, what? dead ass. Like just a oh, rough haram. estimate. Like. Haram. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen Alien? You know the thing that sits on your face <laughs> yeah, and it's like got it. the little he hole. He knows. I know like, he knows. I know you know oh, who know. it is. So just, just give us a little about something right now. Give us a little something. Yeah, like, you, you can't, can't you know, see yeah. shit. Yeah. Tell you what. Too much. Tell you what. Why don't you tell me where you fall and then I can. <gasps> oh. No, it is not a rhetorical <laughs> question, sir. That I asked the question. Any, it's not rhetorical. In your Audi. In your Audi. In your Audi? In your Audi. For me? No. What no. you got? I'm, I can't. I can't. I can't. You got to go on the OnlyFans. There's also out. MIDI. You got to go on OnlyFans? <laughs> I said any. Oh, shit. Huh? I said any. I'll say it. I don't care. You're any? Yep. Never mind. <laughs> Not interested. Take your piano over there. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Okay. But you are. How like, tall are you? Crazy. I can't shot. out my I vagina. Know. You're shocked. Wait. Right? How tall are you? How tall are I'm you? I'm five feet. Uh, yes, he's going back and forth. You're, you're unsure. Uh, Turn the lights off. Just pretend that there's, <laughs> pretend there's a, you know. Okay, question for you. Are you circumcised or uncircumcised? What the fuck? <laughs> Are you circumcised or uncircumcised? Oh. I'm, mm? Hold on. You need to answer first, then I'll answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, nah. you didn't answer the question. I Answer. Man, because I asked you how stupid. big her labia was, and you wouldn't give me that. So I'm not going to give you that until you give me how big the labia was. 
Yeah. No, but, yeah, but you. I did ask that question first, so you're you're telling you're me my me question is not as valid as your question. Uh, yeah, 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 but uh, you know, I asked you. Then your then the yeah. circumcision thing was in well, who rebuttal. Who started this, Brian? It who was in rebuttal it? to my <laughs> fucking like thing with the. Listen, my DMs are open, ladies. <laughs> DMs are open if you have a large labia. Hit me up. Wait, Brian, have you ever gotten? <laughs> I was just vagine pics. The oh. one? <laughs> no, not that's not what I was going to ask. I was going to just ask if you've gotten DMs. Like, yes, I do. Yeah, do you get picture? Proof. I wasn't question. asking about yeah. pictures, but <laughs> I I have had yeah I've gotten Bro, some oh, really. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Well, oh. if I see you one like that, I'm gonna send them to you. <laughs> yeah, please send any my way, man. <laughs> oh, um, my God. It's it's hard out here, you know. It's hard out. No. <laughs> it's so hard. It's yeah. large out here. <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem that he's having is that it's not right. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Uh oh. Is that? I'm wait. I'm confused. <laughs> She said it's large out here. Like Mike. And I said, uh, I circumcise or uncircumcise? <laughs> circumcise. I'm, oh, okay. Oh, this right. Yeah, I'm, us Protestants do that. Oh, yeah. yes. So that's why it's pro, pro, prostates? Protestant. Protestants. <laughs> well, you know. You're really far. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, okay, what else? Other preferences. Uh, Big I like lips. peace. I don't like combative oh. women. I prefer. I, I'm. I consider myself a bit more introverted, so I prefer women who are a bit more on the introverted side, who are a bit more calm, relaxing. I don't mm. like. There's some chicks who have like that crackhead fucking energy, and it's, <laughs> to me, it's just fucking way too much. It I is. like calm, like so mellow much. women. If if you're like super energetic, <laughs> super intense, calm. super. I don't like loud women. Um, like some women talk really fucking loud, so. <laughs> I prefer more like almost like kind of shy, nerdy type chicks. Uh, and ASMR mood. I guess, <laughs> sure, ASMR is cool, but uh, women with soft voices is pleasant. Um, mm. If a woman has like a really good voice, that'll like bump her up like one or two Sex. points. If she's got like, I'm sure it's so the same what, What's guys, a good voice for guys. you? Like Marilyn Lowe? Like, oh, Brian. Uh, like if Shadi can read audio come look at my bad for wings, Brian. <laughs> Come look at my roast beef. Brian. Come look at my roast beef. I find women who are like kind of more nerdy or shy or introverted, they tend to have typically very Big pleasant, ladies? Oh. No, pleasant voices. Um, I prefer no makeup, little makeup. Uh, no, I don't like plastic surgery. I don't like anything fake. Um, yeah, you had the longest description. I know, I know. Wow, picky. you was really in that. Picky. picky. Can I give, can I give that's not picky, though. Yeah, let me read the numbers. Yeah, just list. pleasant, low body count. That's pretty much it. <laughs> that's a that's a tame list. Come on, guys. Yeah, it is. I, I just I'm not said like. Nerdy. I'm not saying she's got to be a fucking ten out of ten. She's got to be a smoke show model. Just fucking have a large labia. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay. I'll pay. Yo, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna end up finding someone for you. Someone for you. <laughs> Yeah, Mike, if you can be my, Kylie, my Kylie's large gonna be pussy like, hey, you're never going to believe what I just saw. Like, what, what's her name? Okay, I'm going to send her to Brian. Shit. You want to go on a big podcast? Just go meet Brian. Let's set it up, dude. BLM. How BLM. do you fucking, you know, it'd be great if like that would be a socially appropriate question to ask a girl just point blank. Like, yo, you, what's your pussy like? <laughs> are we talking about chop brisket? Are we talking about, are we talking about, are we talking about, chop brisket? We talking about you know, roast beef? Are we talking about bat wings? So what are we talking about here? Yo, <laughs> all of the <laughs> above, <laughs> dude. All <laughs> of the above. All of oh, the above. I feel like you're so serious right now. Dude, I'm 100% so serious. serious. <laughs> and I think, but here's the thing, right? I, I Like women who do have Audis, it, like I, I know I, you might think I'm kind of being facetious or joking about this. I don't. It is actually kind of like, like a lot of women do, like in you're the, U insecure. hold on, in the United States, uh, 10,000 women per year literally mutilate their, their own genitals. They, it's called a labia place, plasty, where they like will literally, if they have an Audi, they cut the lips off. And I think that's like fucked up. That's so ladies, number. I'll talk you out of that shit. But, uh, <laughs> but like women will get shamed for that. One, there's, there's a myth that if they have like large labia that they, that means that they've been stretched out and they, mm -hmm. no, that's, that's fucking bullshit. That's no. not, that's not how the anatomy works. Um, but women do get shamed for it. And I, I'm against it because I'm also against men who get shamed if you know they are inadequate in that department let's say men will get shamed if they have a small penis i don't think that's fair that's how men were born that's how women were born mm -hmm. i don't think we should be shaming people for their exactly. natural anatomy how they were born M men can't control the size of their dongs women can't control the size mm -hmm. of their hoo-ha let's not shame women you know yeah. and men let's not shame anybody for their hallelujah yeah. so uh my DMs are open. Just word <laughs> labia check anybody anybody want to labia check i got the gripper 
She goes, oh my god. What? She said I had the gripper. The, yeah, gl- the glitty left. gripper. This is my it's gorilla glue up in here. Oh, Wait, she never came out. I was like, I don't. Uh, my brain. I don't know what like processing. Is that <laughs> what does that mean? Like? <laughs> yeah, if it's out, it's, you, oh. it's out. Oh, you know. Oh, you're so su- sweet. Wait, what? Me? No, no, I was like, wait, what? wait. I, I also, was, I also she, was confused. I was too. really confused at what she said. <laughs> she until didn't get the gripper. Else she was like, like uh, grim reaper. Okay, wait, what? Like big lips is the gripper. Big oh, lips. I didn't know. That. I thought it may. It was just you like, learned something. Oh, that's right. what I, I mean, thought too. Yeah, gripper. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I can get too into that. I thought gripper like, meant the inside. Well, like no, where it can, like, there, like, when it goes in, you can see it, like, I mean, you ever have someone not been able to come out? They're like, dude, I can't even pull out right now. I mean, any, like, <laughs> anybody can be like that. But. She said, I can't even, she said, I can't oh, even pull out right now. <laughs> Oh my God, man! You talk about some child support vagina. That's what that is. I'm like, don't you fucking come uh, in me though. Wasn't there some chick that went viral because she claimed she had gorilla grip pussy or some shit? What? We gotta test that theory. Probably. Yeah, yeah probably. How? Probably. Yeah. 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 We'll send Brian. I don't know. Like, you know what? You know what? Though, Mike. Like, Brian. like, bro, most most pussies tight. Like. It's pretty rare to like. Have you guys been you. in loose it's pussy? Pretty, like, is that actually? I've experienced thing? like oh, really? one or two girls, but like, it's pretty rare to have like most chicks have tight pussies. Like. Well, it's like yeah. fluctuating. It's like it. I feel like it's an, it's it more grip. of an age thing than like a. Uh, have uh, you been wet now? Has lubrication, natural lubrication, been a thing, or have you noticed like dry pussy? Like some people be like that bitch's <laughs> pussy was dry. I mean, like, <laughs> we're, talking about, we're talking about like a lot of cocaine <laughs> and fucking alcohol. We're talking alcohol. about like SpongeBob on the table. Maybe like. Maybe Fly like out dry. Yeah, maybe you know? like like coke and, and, and <laughs> water. I need it. <laughs> Hydrate. What the? F- I don't need <laughs> it. I don't need Yo, it. somebody hire this chick for some for some zombie noises. Did <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you do? Did you I, do? I produced the Walking that. Man of Dead soundtrack. Based. The Walking Man of Dead. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, All right, yeah. cool. Let's let's wrap it up. All right. Um, <laughs> on that note. On that note. <sighs> Gorilla okay, grip. Guys, last last call. <laughs> Hit the like button, please, on your way out. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who so graciously super chats, donates, and supports the show. Your patronage is uh, very much appreciated. Thank you to the wonderful panel. I know we went late, guys. Thank you guys for sticking it out. Um, Thank you to all our chat mods. Big thank you to Britt, who is helping with our timestamps. Thank you. Any women who want to be on the show, DM at whatever. Uh, And uh, we will be live again Thursday, we're doing a special debate edition of the Whatever podcast. It's going to be earlier on, and I think we're aiming for 3.30 p.m. Pacific Thursday, Destiny versus, uh, I'll keep it a mystery, Destiny versus Mystery Guest on a topic uh, that is also a mystery. Um, let's see here. And then then we'll be back to the dating talk next Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Um, did you have anything? It, it sounded like you might have had something. Yeah, yeah. So, so this week, uh, if you guys are interested, I'm, I'm hosting a charity event in uh, Los Angeles on Thursday. It's uh, Babes in Toyland. We do one every year for Animal Rescue. We do one for troops overseas. This one's going to be for troops overseas. We do one uh, for uh, breast cancer awareness on October 15th, and then we also do one for homeless children at the Midnight Mission. So it's a bunch of uh, influencers. They come together, and we raise several hundred thousand dollars for charity. So if any ladies who are interested in coming to that or gentlemen interested in coming to that, message me. Also, uh, for any of you guys, what we talk about, uh, Puffy Bay, Vegas over there. If you guys want any, we have a free school server. If you guys are interested, we fix people's Instagrams. Uh, and we also have a, the first four steps of my course, Men of Action, are also on our free school server. Message me on Instagram at Michael Sartain, and I will definitely, I mean, we are we are the originators of any kind of social circle game. Nobody's ever done it better than us. If you guys want to come check it, check us out, just go message me on Instagram. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, cool. Um, uh, and this isn't really for the viewers, but I think I mentioned it earlier on in the stream. My downstairs neighbor is a fucking Karen and has been been a fucking thorn in my side. It's a long story. Maybe I'll get into it in a future show. In any case, she's been complaining for the five seconds at the end of the show when everybody gets out of the chairs. She claims that we're moving a bunch of furniture around. She's a fucking Karen. She's causing major issues with my landlord because she... It, I, I'll get into it at some future point. So... and. So if I can ask everybody, as we're getting out of our chairs, if we can do so slowly so the Karen downstairs doesn't freak the fuck out. And so just uh, quietly kind of scoot back and then quietly get out. And I know some of you are in heels, so if you can, if you can tread, uh, I know this is boring for the chat to hear. If you can tread quietly and try not to stomp as, as you go. All right, guys, that's it. Um, we'll see you guys 
next time. Good night, guys. And uh, hope you guys have a good